Are you guys interested in learning about financial literacy and investing? Financial literacy and investing. <laughs> if you guys want to learn more about financial uh, knowledge and literacy, check out Viral <laughs> by MJ and his team on his YouTube channel for free financial content. But if you want to dive deeper, you can check out their SIB course. Course, course, course. <laughs> for 247 US dollars. Only. Yeah. So I think market rate is about 5 to 10K ringgit. Mm -hmm. So for 247 US dollars for a whole course to kickstart what Basically, what, investing basically is. what MJ, if I'm not mistaken, they're trying to do is they're trying to make this accessible for all Malaysians. Yeah. Yeah. So we do understand that this kind of things is something that I think most Malaysians are very interested to know. Yeah. But because of the outside cost, it's actually a large amount of lump sum to actually learn in depth. Mm -hmm. And that's why they have come up with this, uh, this package and this course so that yeah. you guys, us Malaysians, are able to actually learn this in a very affordable manner. Yep. And it's... It's been very effective. He have gone through. Show, he shows the up and downs and everything very well through. So, yeah. if you guys are very interested to get to know more about this, check it out. And uh, actually, out. a lot of uh, our Yamcha sessions viewers also subscribe to his course after listening to his podcast. Yeah. So, if you're interested, do check it out. There is also a ten day refund, so it's risk free. You can check it out. But uh, if you guys want a ten percent discount, key in the code YCSSIB when you check out, or you can click in the link in the description. All right. All right. So remember, when you guys are rich, buy us coffee. Hundred <laughs> percent. Spend two hundred fifty dollars. Earn <laughs> infinite. All right. Sounds like a deal. Yeah. Okay. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the podcast. Love you, long time. <laughs> That's the two things you don't reveal. It's oh, the where yeah. he stay. Yeah. And uh, how old is he? <laughs> Actually, I a lot of people Google where you stay. Like one of the Google things, the most highest Google search, right, for regarding me, like it's my age. Oh, is it? So you still not got a reviewer? Actually, it's, it's open. It's out there. Oh, shit. So <laughs> how old are you, bro? I must know. 28. I'm, uh, 88 means uh, 34. 34. Uh. Oh, year of dragon. I'm a rabbit in the year of dragon. Oh, shit. So I, I just, for no reason, I couldn't pack with <laughs> <laughs> all the other students. Like, uh, that you, like maybe you're we we still taking UPSR, ma. Uh. the hall needs to be double the size. So on like our seniors, when they take the hall, when they take the exam, right, the hall is like half of it. Uh. But for our intake, it was packed. And then we need to take some classrooms. We need to take some whatever. Wow. That feels mm. odd, similar to our time. So um, because we are 30 right now, my UPSR was packed. We had to do it. All the entire school is it? just UPSR only. Classroom, classroom, classroom. They want to book a. Ah, yeah. they want to book a so. Yeah. But, but, but the, my one was because of Dragon Year. So, Dragon Year, everyone wants a Dragon Kid. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's very yeah. hard to plan for a Dragon Kid. It is quite difficult to plan for a So, so <laughs> let's say it's like eight years away. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, right, eight right. years to get a kid. Yeah. Right, uh, so, it's very hard to plan. Why everyone Dragon Kid? Yeah, why? Because uh? it's cool, is it? So, no, 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 okay, no, so no. there's this compatibility among Zodiacs, right? Yeah. So, like, mouse and horse, tak ngamun. Yes, tiger and monkey, tak ngamun. Ah, tiger yeah. and monkey, tak ngamun. What the fuck is this? You really open the Chinese Zodiac, ah. it's opposing means cannot match, right? Yeah. But only dragon is friendly to all. Oh. Is it? It's like yes. prime, lah. Ah, yeah, so it's like a... <laughs> I know dragon, monkey, rat is compatible. Mm. Four, four, four. Every mm. four years, the compatibility is very high. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so so they are like some companies, right? Especially like construction companies. They <laughs> hire people like that. <laughs> yes, so I, I'm serious. That's like they, they look at you like, what zodiac are you? Uh? Oh, and that's a f one of the first questions people ask. Wow. wow. Drew, you just open Chinese zodiac. Bro, in, what's my wife? Uh? In Google Images. Uh, then I can show you how to read it also. 94. Just open Images. Then you open oh. anyone. Uh. 94 uh, is what? You uh? see, uh? Dog, so you, uh? you look at, okay, so for example, rat, opposite the rat, right? Directly, it's horse. You notice? Yeah. So that's your opposing. You normally wouldn't work well with them. Mm. Yeah. But every oh. four years, so if you look at Iheng, is dragon. Right? Dragon is here. Ah, he so is, I mean, no, he's not oh. dragon, he's rabbit. No, I'm a rabbit in a dragon. So if you look one, two, three, four, it's rat. Then one, two, three, four is monkey. Mm. You realize? You count? 
Oh. Wait, uh, I, 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 why do you count this way and not this way? No, either way, count sorry, backwards, okay. Sorry, uh, Christian, what do you mean four, four stuff? No, so meaning four, four years apart. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So like, like rabbit, tiger, ox, rat. Ma. So uh-huh. rabbit and rat would be okay. Yes. Oh. Hey, no, 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 not rabbit and rat. It's dragon and rat. You so, count oh, one, what, two, oh. three, four. Uh. Uh, okay, so okay, okay. If I am a monkey, I'm okay with you and a rat. No, you're okay with dragon and rat. He's a rabbit. Oh, he already a rabbit. said so. So for the listeners who are listening to this, right, we're looking at the <laughs> Chinese zodiac. <laughs> Sorry, uh, like mm. a circle, circular gi- Chinese zodiac. You can I just see. Google it, Google image it. And then if you look opposite, so for example, if you're born in the year of the dragon, you wouldn't work so well with the dog. So, so you're telling me monkey and tiger cannot ngam. Yeah. Well, that's and why me and my person every time fight. La. Oh, is he? My younger brother is tiger, bro. Bro, you know in my life, I know three tigers. Oh, I don't work well with them. I don't work well mm. with them too. So, so this ah. is the thing, right? When Bye. you don't know, they're like, yeah, I don't care. La. No, it right. doesn't make sense, right? Oh, what the hell are you talking about? But when you actually you think back, right? Hey. Maybe. Right. Correlation. You know the, the, the meme? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> then there's a fire element thing, some of the wood. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know that stuff. Huh? So, like, Different years, like you are a wood dragon or a water dragon or a fire mm. dragon, that adds on further things. Yes. Yeah. Wow, this one also. But that one is deeper. Cool, that one is quite deep already. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty, pretty yeah. deep. I don't know. Yeah. My friend has like nine fires in him, man. What does what? that mean? Nine fires. <laughs> yeah, what does that mean? It's like he <laughs> easily can make money. Like, I, I think some people say like you lack of wood element, then you need to Something buy like some that. stuff. Like, so, for me, some Chinese seafood told me I lack gold. That's mm. why I bought this shit. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Like so, so then there's also like uh, elements tied to your career. Oh, uh, there so, we go. So like if you are oh. like fire element, so you'll be good with uh, like F and B. Uh, like anything involving fire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then if you're like wood or earth, right? Property then like when you do properties, yeah. Like yeah. you do whatever, then right. it kind of make more sense. Fuck, I don't know what's my, I think I'm water monkey. Yeah. Mm. I forgot already. You're a water monkey? Damn cool, bro. I think so. La. But if I'm water monkey, <laughs> you are water like monkey. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but I need to find out what, what monkey I am, bro. I'm you can just type your year, then it's, it, it pops out already. I'm a f- Drew, can you check that out? You're I'm 1992. I, I must be a fire monkey. La. You wish. Uh, bro, you can't choose, bro. You, you just are what am you I, are, bro. Am I Googling this right? <laughs> uh, monkey type. <laughs> yeah, water monkey, la, I guess. Oh, I'm okay. a water monkey? I told you, you're the same as bro, me. Bro, wh- we're all born the same. Bro, same year, but oh, same year. It's not the oh, it's the year. Okay, even okay. if it wasn't the year, we we're born the same month. So right. Oh, lucky. I don't even know what you're trying to aim. <laughs> lucky. Huh? The number is different. Oh, number is it? Oh. Oh shit. Ah. Oh, you are fire rabbit, bro. Yeah, I'm a fire rabbit. Amaterasu. Yes, here we go, go. lah. Mm. So we actually tak ngam Oh, we tak ngam ah. Wait, I, I thought monkey can ngam with rabbit. No, no then ah. the fire oh. and water. Oh, opposite. So so oh, so, so so there's like. Uh, serious takngam and mal takngam. So we are serious. Bro. You better check your fucking wife. La. That's the real. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good point. So, so when we are like planning to have kids, right? Mm. So uh, if you can, then people plan. Like, like, yeah, so yeah, like you need to plan. Yeah, true, true, true. So I can, I can plan uh, which year. Mm. Then like when it's closer, right? Then you can actually, uh, if you're doing a C-sec, then you can actually pick the date. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep. Because because within the day itself, it's uh, divided into six different hours. So oh. Chinese time, that's like, every two hours is one si chen. They call it si chen. Right. So their hours is every two hours, like more than two hours. So they, you get to pick which one is better for you. Yeah, the that's what my mom did for me actually. Of the Chinese element is just insane. I just want to let you guys know we are talking about properties today, <laughs> but somehow we just <laughs> flew into Zodiac stuff, which is actually pretty interesting as well. It's something that I've never thought about. Must talk about property, man. I can talk about life also. Last time we talked, it was four about. hours, bro. It was a lot. Hey, a lot everything more is tied to everything, man. It's yeah. like, I remember our conversation about marriage, right? I still yeah. hold that very dear, Maham, like, I should do my own photography also in some way. But at the same time, how you, how, how, all yeah, these type of questions. Yeah, yeah. But when it's so tough, right? It's so memorable. True lah, true. The challenge is worth it. Yeah. Even yeah. that time also, I told you, you, I remember you asked me like, hey, when you gonna propose, right? Yeah. Then I said, I will propose only when Japan open, bro. Japan finally open. <laughs> yeah. After fucking three years. Yes. yes. <laughs> so I will confirm, remember this, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's this? Oh, secret friend. Secret friend. John, our secret snake. friend is snake. Yeah, I know. This My- one I also know. What? Yeah. But then I don't know why all the girls I did all born year of the shit, man. Bro, we metal, bro. How do you read who you are? I, 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 I confuse So, your outer ring is who you are. Uh. Okay. So, if let's say you are rooster, is dragon. Then, if your horse is goat, if your snake is monkey, etc. Mm. So, you are born, you have the pick, right? Your secret friend is tiger. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I sound like a feng shui. I'm not a feng shui no, guy. No, no, no. So like it's just happenstance, I know this. <laughs> Maybe you want to go into the Aquarius, the Scorpio, uh, and, uh, that one even yeah, more complex. Got sun, sun, yeah, moon, moon, what shit also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And got then, sun, moon dynamic, right? Yeah, got, yeah got, so got. like wow. after the stars, at that particular moment of time, where's the moon? Uh. Where's Jupiter? Where's Saturn? <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, bro. Shit. But it's quite funny, la. the memes are quite funny. Uh. It's like they will say something like when the Leo is peace, then the Leo will just judge you or uh. when the Libra is peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that shit as well. Right. Yeah. Uh. But uh, if you think back, all these are just algorithms. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. actually, uh, like code. Yeah, so like when, <laughs> when this person is peace, these kind of things align. Right, 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 right. Uh, so it's they, like learning so, a pattern. Yeah, yeah, so after a thousand years, people finally figured out when this happens, <laughs> That guy would be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of things also, right? I feel transition back to original what it was. I mm. was like listening to a podcast about how Egyptians use, uh, what's that called? You know Pyramid? the pictures one? What's that called? Uh? Pilography. Uh? Ah, uh. ah, ah, ah. Then then, right, in the future, we all develop language. So it's uh. like Roman alphabets. Fucker, now emoji. We are back to square one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Actually, everything linked back one. But don't you think certain things that you know, like let's say like, I'm a Libra la. Yes. So when I was a kid, right, I used to read the fucking horoscope on mm, the star. Mm, mm, mm. I should stop I should stop cursing. I remember the mm. last podcast everybody was just like, this guy don't know how to. Yeah, like <sighs> they judge you, bro. Yeah, but you Libra, you, you fine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somehow there's balance in this. <laughs> I used to think I'm a very fair person. Mm. So I model my whole life, hey, you have to be fair. Mm. So sometimes maybe when you read it, you mold your personality based on it. It's not exactly you are what it is. But, but talking back about the swearing part, you mind? Did you mind all the comments and all? Actually, I didn't mind. Uh. But I mean, people are here to learn. Mm. So like, if they are not comfortable with it, yeah, I should also try to tone down. Uh, maybe. Is this maybe a it's, change? It, yeah, it comes with age. Uh, maybe. Like, I can curse once in a while. Uh, maybe yeah. if I'm really angry. Uh, yeah, but yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. it comes off as maybe you're a young kid. Who doesn't but know. after like, I think within the third hour or something, I also start... Cursing. <laughs> <laughs> no, you curse can. You can. <laughs> no, no, no. I look like the bad boy one. All the all the moms yeah. all look at hey, this guy. Uh. No, then when the edit, right? When we do the short version of it, then uh. you, you vape across the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that guy vaping? Yeah, yeah well. Ah, yeah. uh, fuck. <laughs> hey, but now, uh, I, at the last two, three podcasts, I don't vape also. Eh. Mm. Yeah, man. I don't know. I think I, I fell sick like a couple months back. Mm. Then uh, I don't know why, right? My throat, everything feel terrible, you know? Then I damn scared. Mm. Then I tried to vape after that, I just couldn't do it. Yeah. Then you realize that why you put poison in your own cell. Yeah, kinda. I mean <laughs> hippo I'm It's okay, it's okay. I haven't get haven't got sick in a while. So okay. I, but so. I'm a hypocrite because I smoke once in a while mm. because I feel like I, I can't I can't I can't justify this lah, okay? And it's terrible, so you shouldn't listen to my justification. But when I'm with my colleagues and we are working, you know that day you walk by my office mm. and you saw us carrying heavy stuff yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit like that, right? Sometimes when you have a cigarette with your colleagues, right? The bond is closer. That's a hack. Like like when yeah. I was in corporate. True. Uh to make friends is to learn how to take cigarettes because yeah. it's weird the norm of having cigarette breaks. Yeah. Mm. But other break cannot on. Yeah. Water fountain break cannot. Mm. Toilet break, why you toilet so long? But cigarette, uh. they can pass you. Two yeah. cigarettes as well can. Yeah, so like hey, mm. uh, cigarette break. Uh. In the meet, middle yeah, of the yeah. meeting, then okay, then everybody go, then like all the <laughs> non-smokers, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is weird. Then like, I don't know like, but uh, it bonds. Hey, then like purposely don't bring lighter. Mm. Hey bro, you got lighter. Then when it comes to cigarette, right? Oh, it's f- very friendly when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh my god, please let, I'm, uh, let me offer you my. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you see one or not? See one or not? Uh, actually, why, which department are you? Uh? Oh, then uh, correct Actually, uh, uh, you remember Kenneth Tan, uh, the merchant's thing, right, Kenneth Tan? He gave you a cigarette? Thing. No, he, he's the one that recommended me you should always bring a lighter. You That's before I started smoking. Mm. He said, if you bring a lighter with you, bound to be, right? If you meet a smoker, you just offer him a light. Done. Then you have a very long conversation. You don't need to smoke, you just bring a lighter. So last time when I hang out a lot in clubs, oh. <laughs> right. Who I like, were I like, you? I like, where we, I like where we are going. <laughs> yeah, so like that was the easiest hack. Right. So whenever girls just take out a cigarette or whatever, right? Just go like, oh, oh, then you look like a man. You know? Did you smoke before? Yeah, oh. but, but it's a social after smoker. like a, yeah, just smoke just to get sober only. Oh, to get sober. Does it really work? To me, like, because oh. I, I'm a non-smoker, so the nicotine kind of like wakes me up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, but ends up, I'm always the guy that carry the drunk flus out. 
That's yeah. me too, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I am that drunk friend that you carry. Uh, yeah, like, <laughs> always is like, oh, yo, why am I doing this? Might as well go leave with. So. That's why <laughs> you are there, bro. They needed the safe guy. Uh, yeah, you are the safe guy. Uh, but I feel like that cigarette thing. It had like linked me to a lot of things, mm. like connections. I got a job from smoking as well. Yeah. But then after a while, you just feel like I don't just know. want to do a PSA right here. We do not encourage smoking. No, I don't encourage it. It's just sure. life story. Mm. I don't Maratau, encourage you, you know? for sure. But, but I think coming after a long way, because my father quit after smoking for 15 years. Oh, he just cold turkey or? That's What's the revelation? Yeah, Sometimes so he, it's like that, bro. No, he just decided he wants to be healthy. Mm. Fair enough. Okay, yeah. fair. Because right, yeah. you imagine how many cigarettes a year you put. Into your body. Per day. How much is one box now? 26. What? 17 ringgit. Oh, 17 ringgit, 26. Okay, let's say, okay, let's calculate lah. Then you calculate that amount a year. A lot. Then when you look into medical bills now. Oh shit. Mm. So one day I see you like um, an uncle just say, hey, one day, thousand five. Yeah, man. Just but actually the worst thing is not cigarettes now. I think it's vaping. If you ask me. Mm. Because I vaping is an easier gateway. Yeah. Isn't vaping yeah. supposed to be much more healthier compared no, to- No, I seriously doubt it. It's right. mass manufactured in China somewhere, cutting costs left, right, and center. Yeah. And God it's fucking knows what they put in this. Like, at least tobacco is a goddamn plant, like, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least it's organic. Yeah. At least it's God's green earth, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. go to gym, guys. Uh, yeah. Just because live. Even kids do the vape thing now, because they think it's cool to like blow out a lot yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen those car engine one? Yep. Yeah, I love cars, bro. Mm. No, the car engine vape, bro. It's literally like huh? the size of a car engine. Then you vape, and then the smoke that comes out is like mad, or like cloud. Like. Isn't that a shisha? No. I was just going there. Like, <laughs> no, is, right? yeah. Isn't that shisha? Is it? Yeah. No, 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 no. It's a machine, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's for competitions, and then they have a huge nozzle, and then it becomes smaller for your mouthpiece, ma. Then it's like a huge generator. Then they do, then you like blow. Uh. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's to do more more like rings uh, and all that, mm. those performances. One. Ah, performance. Yeah. yeah. So it's like damn big, but people do that now. It's quite insane, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. But I think vaping is worse. Uh. Cigarette, at least, like like you said, it's natural. Then it's people blunt, can bro. roll. So, mm. yeah, man. Now, what's your take? Like when you go to gym, mm. like, so that's a clear definition of difference. What's fit? What's healthy? Yeah. Oh, bro, I do both. No, and that's what I'm trying oh, to understand. Okay. Like why? Like everyone knows it's bad. Yeah. Right? You give that then the picture on the cigarette box is like yeah, that it's maybe or some or whatever, shit there. Whatever, whatever. Literal then, like, cancer. Bro, that picture an- alone is enough to like, whoa, I don't want to do that, you know? I think I read uh, somewhere statistically that after they do the image, more people smoke. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's quite weird. Even Philippines just changed it, I think, twenty thirteen. And twenty thirteen we all long time already had those grotesque images. Uh. Yeah. 2013, they changed it and more people smoke. But oh. Malaysia is, I think, one of the few countries that after 20... Yeah, you're going to stop. Yeah, after 2012. Uh, 2012 is long past like ago. That. If you're yeah. born after the year X, then yeah. you're not allowed to buy cigarettes. Yeah, which is quite crazy. Like, I feel. Wow, nice. I think it's good though. I, think I love genius. it. I think it's genius. My kids yeah. Do, yeah. won't have the... Oh, no, I think New Zealand is the same as well. Mm. Yeah, I think New Zealand is the same That's as well. It's good. I love it, man. Yeah, it's about time, like, actually, I feel. Maybe it's on hindsight. Like. When you look back at it, you're like, why did I do that? Like? Did I have to go through that whole phase? Uh? That I start to wonder all the money I spent. Yeah, just like Dalai Lama say. Uh? Weird. It's weird, very weird that we exchange health for money, but in a later life. <laughs> oh, yeah, you pay me back the money. Yeah, we use money recover, to get back health, health. Yeah. or to recover from it. <laughs> what wow, Dalai Lama some good stuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the like, health is always top priority for me. I'm damn scared. Uh. I have this like mini lump on my leg, right? Yeah. I was terrified. Then my mom's like, can you chill the fuck out? It's just a knot. Just go and stretch. I'm like, mm. oh, okay, 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 okay. I thought I got cancer or some shit on my leg. I don't know, bro. I had a cancer last time, so I removed it. It's not cancer. It's not cancer. Bro, the doctor literally says it's a harmless growth in your face. But yeah. don't you think- That's, that's not a cancer. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it's a cancer. <laughs> don't you think post-COVID, a lot of people actually give a shit about, about health now? Before this, uh, nobody care, one, you know? Nobody care about diet. Nobody care about exercise. Nobody uh, care about getting sun or so. It's just what they have been brought forward. La. Like, I cared about health long ago. Even you as well. Yeah, la, but- yeah. It needed this stuff. This pandemic. Drastic shit. For it's people. always a drastic thing. Like something drastic happened, then there's a change. Something drastic happened, there's a change, you know? If you see in Malaysia. Cool thing. Yesterday I was in uh, coaching that I met all my bosses, all my directors, and mm. all. Then a table of adults, like 40, 50 year olds, right? Oh, nice. Right. These are the people with huge success cars, Porsches, yeah. Rolexes, pro- multiple properties, careers, right? Hey. My hair dropping, how? 
Wow, bro. Hey, but it could be the vaccine, bro. No, no. So, just saying so that. these are the discussions that is yeah. having. Hey, oh. You think that the taste bud is changing? Uh? Hey, when's the last time you test your ears? <gasps> hey, then like, hey, your eyes drying. Uh? Then like, hey, the low, the low fa, low fa, call what? Uh, Eyelashes, lashes. Lashes, uh. Huh? Eyelashes, is it? It's, no, no, it's old, old eyesight, right? Uh, old eyesight. Uh. Uh. Yeah. I can't believe people thought it's eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> because he like, this up like, yeah, you were like, so, so like when you, when you see phone like, people like, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, it's old people eyesight. Yeah, uh, old people eyesight. I don't know what they call it. Uh, long sighted. Long or short lah. Uh, it's uh, long sighted. Uh, yeah, yeah long sighted. So all this kicks in, you know. Then <sighs> that is the conversation. So there's this saying when I don't know, listen to which podcast really. At twenties, people tend to compare salaries. Huh. See who has the highest salary. Then 30, see who has the fanciest car. Is it? Shit. Mm. Quite happy with my Proton. Uh, then, okay. then, Honda's then best. You get sponsorship, is it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, not bro, yet, not yet. One, two, so <laughs> I okay. You are trying, one, so I okay. Then at 40s, you will try to like compare wealth and all, right? But yeah, at 50, 50s, health, like, health again. see who looks the best. Who looks the youngest. And Wait, shit, I'm not going to fucking lie like you. I feel like my group now, uh, hey, we'll talk about hair loss with him, bro. Mm. <laughs> what? Already? Really? Uh? Yeah, bro. Like, Who's having hair loss, bro? I better not say on the podcast, but like, like four of us. Not including me. I think I have abundance. Like we I can have donate. four friends having hair loss already. Yeah, bro. It's the top. It's recession. Like you, mm. your hairline recedes. Like Benzita. Like that. Like so high. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Benzita until now is still the same at least. Benzita you know. still got same hair. Bro, that's just a widow's peak, bro. It's not like a receding hairline. Like, chill so out. <laughs> but bro, he's not real, bro. And uh, I won't disclose who, but you know, because you're watching this, mm. right? He has a very, very thick beard. Mm. But then he said after he got the the I think he got AZ if I'm not mistaken, mm. bro patches you know hair just fall out on you know, yeah. fuck man I tell you when I heard that shit I fucking scared way. Before this uh, vaccine I like I quite skeptical but then they say hey Japan only allow people vac- I straight go take the vaccine la. For <laughs> me I'm a sucker la, right. Then after he told me hey can lose hair one you know, and it's permanent unless you get injections too. Uh, wow, grateful I'm, I'm grateful my hair still live. Yeah man. Scared yeah. man. Hello so really? things like that you don't really care, like uh, complexity, hair, mm. things that you huh? take for granted. Then after it's, that. It's limited resources when you're 50. Yeah, man. Limited, true. Only resources. Yeah, when, man. when you have <laughs> all the money that- Cannot buy back your health. Go mm. Korea, just do plastic surgery, I guess. You think? Cannot. Well, I, I, I was watching this uh, Netflix show called Cyberpunk Edge Runner. Yeah, yesterday. I thought there was a new, mm. recently it came out. It's quite unique on uh, the story. It's about in the very far future, how people replace body parts. Yeah, we know I think it's yet. oh cool. What Anita? Is I think we spoke about this also in the last one. Where is it the <laughs> shit. Uh, the stem cell technology? I oh yeah, bro. yeah, oh my god, bro. The stem cell shit I've been listening to on Joe Rogan is insane, bro. Yeah, you listen to that guy, uh? yeah, brother. Like, like now mad. people are cultivating their own hearts, really. Yeah, man. Holy shit! What you just grow it, uh? Yeah, but you don't need to. You you can take from other wi- other women as well, and then but it has to see whether the placenta is like. Yeah like capable of merging with other people. Then you can inject into your arm to repair. So Joe, Joe Rogan, he fucked up his shoulder. Yeah. He was doing like clean presses or whatever. Mm. La. Then he said he tore his rotator cuff, mm. which is like a half year recovery. Oh, that one, you know. bro. Then Ooh. he like, oh, you have no choice. I better go and try alternate ways. Because once you damage your, your cuff, right, it's very hard to gain back original strength. Can recover, but original strength is very difficult. I know. So I think he recovered in two months after stem cell injection. Yeah. Two months, bro. Take half year, two months. Uh, then the doctor was like, this is, I've never seen shit like that before. Because they just keep injured. Bro, you know in Dragon Ball where someone gets injured and they, put you, in, no, they put you inside this chamber of yeah, recovery. Yeah. One. Uh, uh, that's the fucking future right there. <laughs> <laughs> you tear your rotator cuff, you put inside the liquid chamber, you know, then you just breathe. I think this is better though. This one just inject in. Yeah. Uh, uh, true, true, true. Like, like, Tony yeah. Robbins also injured his, don't know, shoulder also, I think for- or oh, skiing. skiing. Uh, then they say, well, you're going to cannot recover already, whatever. Then he just did it also. Stem cell. Mm. It's just the US has this whole pharma, big but, pharma. But they do, cannot do it in US because it's not legalized yet. Yeah, FDA so not. And uh, then they go somewhere else, Colombia or whatever. I see. Yeah, Panama and whatever. <laughs> it's well, also because of pharmaceutical companies, they own a lot of it and they tie together with insurance companies. So every mm. time you have problems, right? The insurance companies will make sure, right? It's a very difficult process for you. And the- <laughs> You the, just the, listen to the latest one you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> copay is damn high. So copay is basically if you go to the hospital and then you got problems, then you the insurance pays for you lah. So they make sure right your copay is like damn high, and the time the doctor has for you is damn short. So mm-hmm. the doctor will have no time to recommend you because he need to see next patient. Then I was like, bro, that's some fucked up shit, man. Sorry for cursing. Mm. 
Yeah, you don't need to say bro. sorry, bro. Why are you saying sorry, bro? <laughs> yeah. It's a fucked up shit, bro. Okay. Yeah. But then when you come to Malaysia, right? Clinic, uh, you sick also can just walk in and come out in like half an hour. <laughs> Again, I'm very grateful of Malaysians' healthcare. Yeah, damn grateful. Yeah. Best. Goodness. This is what wow, this is a very huge topic. Like, like I see like lately some aunties just send me emails. Uh. Like, my audience range now is like 62. Aunties send you email. I <laughs> wanted to ask about that. <laughs> uh, 62, 65. Then they come to me, hey, uh, I want to invest in properties. I want to grow wealth. I want to do then right. I've got no insurance. Then like, mm. why you cut off the insurance? Like, it's not a lot, lah, right? Let's say I don't know how much you are buying, but the basic is like two, three hundred a month. Yeah. yeah. Right? Oh, let's save it. Like, so like it's not never gonna happen anyway. Then I'm like, mm, there we go. Why? Because our public health care is amazing. Yeah. I mean, can, but you should have the option. Yeah. La. So there's this trend that I, I really encourage people to get protected. Yeah. So this is like, need to emphasize a lot la, because uh, you just never know, bro. I saw one of your recent videos. There was mm. an auntie who wanted to, uh, like exactly what you said, la, mm. no insurance, mm. wanted to buy a property, yeah. and stuff like that. But no insurance, my God. At that age, you should should you not be worried? But it's higher to get already. But at that age, she insurance. can't get insurance. You, you can, you can. Now right? I get sixty five to seventy. Can they have already? In, oh, they have you can. Okay. Even yeah. like loan, I can take up to 70, 35, 75 now. So wow, nice ah. Yeah. So last night I was driving really hard to qualify for thirty five years loan. Yeah. Mm. So I got a forty years loan. I got a thirty five years loan for a few. Then my money installment is the at low, lowest lah so far. Mm. Then like oh, if next year thirty five, like, I need to start cut. Cutting down my yeah. loan tenure already. Mm. But now they jack up to 70 again. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Blessing in disguise. So <laughs> you get wall, uh, that's why. Nice, uh. Very nice. They increase a lot. But the rates also they increasing. Are they planning to increase the rates again? Uh? The it's, interest. It, it, it only makes sense to increase. Oof. Because we are at decade low. We were at decade low at 1.75. Mm. What do you mean by decade low? Uh? Meaning in 20 years time, the mm. lowest interest rate ever we've seen. Now? Uh, Was. During COVID. Oh, oh during COVID. Uh, so that time, like for those who couldn't qualify for housing loan, they can afford, but they cannot qualify. Suddenly they can because the monthly installments is so low I see, against I see. their income. Oh. So it makes total sense to get it then. Because now, even if you can afford, but you cannot qualify for the loan. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah, so so here means your income is not really what is dilapokan. La. <laughs> right. Reported. Yeah. Uh, so one is disclosed and one is not disclosed. One, la. I see. Yeah, so these people can really qualify, got money, but then their loan cannot go through. Uh, tough, man. But then now it's going. It's only going to go higher. Mm. So lately I just signed uh, another loan. I just refinanced my property. Oh, nice. Yeah. So like after like almost a 10 year thing, so we spoke about like from the previous mm. episode, right? The apartment that I bought, now uh, the loan amount decreased after paying 10 years. Now I pay like the tenant pay for 10 years already. Technically, yeah. Uh, so, so, so there were equity built within. Then the capital appreciation, the price increased. Increase, yeah. So now I go to the bank, I want to refinance it. So they refinance 80% of the market value. So uh, I can still cash out around 40, 50,000. Oh, nice. And my my current rental can still come cover the new installment amount. Oh, brilliant. Wow. Very nice. You get, you yeah. get money, basically. Uh, so then suddenly, Damn. I just take out 50,000. Like and then that. the rental still continue. Everything and still I still don't care. Yeah. Then yeah. I take this 50,000 and put into an, another property. property. Yeah. Mm. That's uh, essentially good planning, man. Yeah. Actually, I was looking yeah. at your, your Insta post also. I think it was like yesterday about how like there's a lease for 999 years. Oh, I just came back from Kuching. So that... Uh, yeah. Because East Malaysia shares different uh, land code. So in uh. Peninsula is national land code. So we have the freehold, leasehold, yes, everything, yes. compulsory acquisition, all this kind of thing. Uh, in Sarawak, it's different. Because it's a chum chum of different lands, is it? Uh, it's the whole regulation around land is very, very different. Oh, because of the the, the, the forest, the forest, the lakes no, no, and all that, is uh, it? It was not commonwealth ma, last time. Oh, I see. Uh, the, the law formed was different. So when I go there, uh, the first hour, I was kind of uh, interviewing this legal person. Mm -hmm. So how do you determine what's freehold here? What's leasehold here? Uh. How do you get uh, approval? What's strata? There's no landed strata there. Oh, oh. interesting. Uh, so it's like the old school way of individual title, like, uh, Yellow terrace right houses, place, uh, then uh. they add the gate and all. And everyone needs to sign a separate agreement to surrender the rights. Then only they do this. So it's a, in appearance, they look the same. Landers, strata, gate, right, and gather the right. same, but 
the backstories are so different. All the documentations are different. Wow. But it's all under the same neighborhood also in, in a way. La. Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. So yes, it's in the same neighborhood uh, physically. But if you look into, you want to dig down, right? You want to dig really deep. On paper, it's not wrong, technically. Uh, yeah. mm. Damn strange, man. Yeah, but it's so cool. Then suddenly I go there, the culture is so different. Coaching property is expensive, man. Again, I go there, right? I come back, I'm looking for properties to buy again. Well, you're going to be motivated because you have to consider them cheap. <laughs> a coaching <a> property <laughs> is more expensive than a Mong Kiara property. What? Huh? Why? Wait, are we uh, okay? Okay, so for comparison sake, right? Mm. Are we talking landed to landed? No, condo, condo to condo, 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 condo. Mm. condo to condo. Uh. So, uh, so they were launching. <coughs> so the company that I work with, the makeover guys, now they kind of upgraded into a uh, developer. Mm. So they joined develop a uh, landed property. A terrace house is nine hundred and fifty thousand huh. in Kuching. Not prime prime city center. Uh. Jesus. In Kuching. Yeah. Whoa, bro, 950k is quite mad, right? Then the semi-D is 1.82 mil. I saw that one. That one is somebody can afford a 1.82 million semi-D house. Then I got them. Then I'm like, okay, who is buying? Yeah. Oh, our existing buyers, 25 to 45. 25 to 45? Like years old? Yeah. I assume, yeah. Yeah. Can afford 1.8 uh, Baller, right? These people in Kuching. What they do is sell wood. Uh. I don't know. Then, uh, so, so that is when the, it's <laughs> so obvious that it's the, Cross generational wealth thing. Oh, I see. It's happening. Yeah. Shit. You like son? You like oh daddy pay, and it's not like our one got package package discount discount. I think I pay one thousand and I own mm, right? right. No, all solid ten percent. Ooh, cash one you know <laughs> means. Oh, you like ah? Uh, you like ah? Uh, then I drop a hundred eighty thousand cash there. God, I, th- I think to them it's like charm change also in a way. If they can do that uh, and the prices are like that uh, that means it's charm change to them mm. Technically. And the culture there is so funny. Like when I go there the first day only, this statement of, do you know who is his father? Wow, chill, man. So so that 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 is a very common statement. So I met somebody, hi, then Sean, I watched your video. Hi, thank you so much. Hey, I saw the episode, episode, whatever. Then I just walk off, right? My colleague would tell me, you know who is his father? Who's his father? Some major architect for some firm, then got uh, he's a Dato Sri or whatsoever, whatsoever. Okay. Then I go to another project, then I go and review. You know who's our owner? Who again? <laughs> <laughs> no, then one of the best hotels in Kuching, two of them, this is the son of it. So when a developer builds a project, right? Uh, what they do is uh, they get the land, they buy the land. Yeah. They they treat the land into the bank. Right. Charge, like, it's called charge. Then you give me a loan. Yeah. Then I will use the loan and get contractors to build the property. Mm. There, don't need- Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is it recording? Yeah, something, but it's not no. the usual. Yeah, there's no the, there's no audio it's line. Podcast transfer mod. You click back, bro. Back, back. Oh, it's recording. Right. <laughs> this is where you over fucking things. <laughs> no man, because I had a feeling of like I kind of I can't see it because the laptop. I normally cross check that. Like, am I? Yeah, I think I think I think it's good. I think it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you that, put the laptop you down it. just in case? What happens if it's not? Then we re- then we, we just had a good talk, time la. We just yeah, talk yeah. more la. We just talk over. <laughs> so, yeah, just had a good time la. Yeah, that's okay la. It's yeah. happened before. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. But I don't want it to happen fucking now <laughs> la, to you. Your time is gold, bro. No, then, then then coming back is uh, so they get loans to build the properties and mm. all. So whenever the if the project is not sellable, then the developer will be in trouble because I cannot I don't have money to pay the contractors. Yeah, right. There, they don't take loans to build. It's all out of pocket. My God. Wait, capital they come up with a deal. <laughs> they have the capital to build a development. And the capital, right? Here we are talking about six, seven hundred million. Wow. Jesus. I'm trying to analyze and just- You know, I feel like at the amount of wealth, right? To you, you're just playing Monopoly or some yeah. shit like that, right? Then at the launch, uh, I was the, at the launch event, I uh, just sitting there, you know, like isolating myself, do my work. Uploading right? a video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> then some audience came over my channel like hey are you this guy no and i'm like yeah, uh, yes anything i thought like you know like, i still have that paranoid mindset like did i say something wrong no oh. no 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 my wife asked me to subscribe to you and you are here right anyway like well we are from australia we bought a few then we want to buy Genting. Uh, Genting. <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> that's how you know uh, then like oh then, okay okay then we bought a few thanks to you we really like your style keep doing what you do then the keyword says a few Genting. Australia. Wow. 
That was your keywords ah, in your uh, head. Then, then I'm like, okay, then I go yeah. Okay, then uh, suddenly I off my phone, go and ask around. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of people in Kuching or Cebu, right, invest in Australia. Oh. And it's very common. But I think in, I think a lot of Malaysians invest in Australia. Like when I was in Australia, mm. they advertise a lot. Like, yeah. you know, own a second home or whatever. They're like, that's kind of strange. Then when you're here, mm. they say buy a home in Australia. Mm. It's, I, 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 see, I see that pattern. Uh. Then like, yeah. wow. Then like suddenly, Oi, should I go to Australia and review? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, bro, why not, man? Yeah, actually, I, I, I was thinking of it. Like, so I go Singapore, I go Australia just to review. Bro, it will change like everything, you yeah. see. Because I think property everywhere is so different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So like now, Landscape. I just went to Kuching, then I thought, hey, maybe I should drop in KK. Bro, you yeah, know what yeah, yeah. I would kill? I would kill, right, for you to go and go review in Japan. Just mm. one place. You will see how fucking small that place is and yeah. you'll be like, I am so fucking so I'm going back by 10 properties. <laughs> but the population is not supporting it. So the property there is actually in decline. In uh, in Tokyo la, uh, or in Japan as a whole? Uh, Japan as a whole. Because yeah, we've got population. Nobody yeah, yeah, has yeah. kids through yeah. that. But it's so like, it's weird because I feel it's a cross between like architecture slash interior design slash location. Mm. Because it's so compact, they have to find very unique ways on yeah, how yeah, to yeah, solve yeah. it. Mm. And also if you go, if you take into account earthquakes and typhoons, their safety protocols are very unique. Same with Australia as well, actually, if you look at it. Yeah. So how I see Japan, right? Because now I'm doing this reaction series. I go and check. Yeah, it yeah, out. yeah. I've yeah. seen that. I've yeah. seen that. So the Japanese one is like, in suburbs, right? Property prices are declining mad. Mm. But in Tokyo, it's so steady. Rental rates yeah. is crazy. People right. don't even think about owning really. It's not yeah. even a conversation. It's a rental market now. Yeah. So then it's also about natural disaster. Mm-hmm. These are the few keywords, right? That I see, eh? Hey, isn't this what we spoke about in the previous podcast? Is it? Yeah, so like- Natural disasters as well. We'll So so like now, like the requirements to housing, right? Apparently is you need to be in high ground. Oh, because of floods. Yeah. Oh bro, I'm so sorry what happened to your place. Okay, like second time already. (laughs) And the weirdest thing, when I go in, right? I can go, so the water level so until my chest. Yeah, oh man. my I god! I saw you were holding shit up also. Like Swimming that. pool. <laughs> uh, oh, that's really then hard. they are holding broomsticks. We cannot. We cannot see where's the drain. Yeah, oh. you might drop in. So yeah. we don't know what is under this one. You pop, 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 pop. Then when I go back and in, then I go into my house. Say, hey, mom. Hey, you're here. You want coffee or not? <laughs> <laughs> Your mom <laughs> has <laughs> second nature. Adapted. <laughs> like, it's the second time. Oh, she's just chill. Uh, then I have friends who just dropped like two, three hundred thousand in renovation. Are you? Oh, after the first time. Oh, the second ah. time, not. So this is before the second. Ah, time. okay, okay, okay. Then second time wrecked it. Oh, yeah, man. You just look at it. So got one even got one neighbor, halfway through the deal. Ah, yo. So the market rate there was around five hundred ish, six hundred for a fully done up uh landed terrace house after the floor. Oh, right? six hundred. Uh. Mm. So like because you, they dropped in like hundred and over thousand for renovation. Yellow, yellow. Mm. I buy. Then we are in the midst of the deal. Then flood. Then, flood. Flood. then when you get the house right. <sighs> It's only worth two hundred eighty thousand. Wow, that's how much damage, ah? No, because it's based. Oh, because, because the price the is based on demand and supply, ma. I see, I see. So after the flood, everybody lucky don't buy that. Hence the yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayo. So, so this really shows also like whether the house quality is nice or not, right? Mm. It has no correlation to yeah. demand and supply. Right? Yeah, yeah. It's brutal in that sense, also. Yes. They don't give a fuck about it because if the market is like that, the market is like that. Yes. Yeah. So, so then when we go into like normal people, when they buy houses, you have the workmanship, like shit, lah, this one, you see the ceiling leaking, lah, whatever, right? It has almost zero correlation to your market price. Yeah. Because it could change also. It could peak because of sudden new things that pop up there. And it could decline because of, let's say, yeah. natural disasters or let's say a mm. bad group of people move in there. Then yeah. But people just pick yeah. on. Build quality because yeah. it's easy. It's viewable, yeah. man. Nah, the it's tiles are so blah, the piping are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand where he's coming from. Nah, but then mm. like does it affect rental? No. Does it affect the market price? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's actually mostly I feel it's about the, the location, I feel. It's yeah. the convenience or so. Mm. So I think if more or less, right, if it's near a lot of places within reach and all that, quite safe. But then you can always just pay to fix things, ma. Do you, yes, yes, you know? exactly. But you can't pay to change location, you know. You cannot just uproot shit and then move, ma. I, f- I swear to God, man. Why he's so frustrated? Why he's so mad? Why, why, why he didn't? Yeah, bro, Chill, bro. Because, the, because the conversation that you hear amongst a lot of people is the same thing, recurring thing. But then yeah. you always like just look at them, then mm. you just okay lah. But actually, it's, isn't it location? Just mm. yeah. So like, it's part of it lah. But then they equal, it's almost the same problem yep, to them. Yep, yep. Then yeah. when we talk about like during uh, the last episode or so, uh, during COVID, I bought 
a few, right? Then now, uh, building costs increased, inflation yeah, yeah. increased, everything increased, everything increased, right? Mm. Suddenly, you made money. Uh, I was having this conversation last True. night. Actually, I slept at two a.m. lah. What right. park is it? Yeah, I was at the park. I was a drink. I was. I, I didn't drink, but I was with people drinking. So I was mm. drinking tea lah, mm. which people judge me a lot for. Mm. But fuck you guys, okay. Mm. So anyway, I was drinking tea and then they were telling me, so everybody's getting married now. Lah. Yeah. And I'm the last person to get married. Clearly because of fucking COVID. Lah. Not, not mm. that it matters. Not that it matters. Not, not that it matters. But then uh, they told me that, uh, one of my friends told me he got a 0.5 carat ring for I think 7.5K. Mm. Then I was like, what the fuck? 7.5K? Mm. Then they're like, damn cheap, right? I'm like, not really, man. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Then he said, why? Uh, why you think so? Then I'm like, bro, I got mine for like 5K only, man. Mm. Then he's like, oh, you got yours before COVID. Bro, diamond ring increased 2K, bro. Half, half carat only increased 2K. Everything Just after increased, COVID. Uh, everything, everything increased. increased yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure about gold though. Gold, gold, it gold didn't increase much there after COVID. I don't know, lah, but I, I compare zero. Point, diamond. Bro, I bought from retail. He bought from supply to retail. One. Oh, shit. 7.5 is supply to retail. No, I buy from retail, no, 5.5. Granted, like, mine is on sale. Mm. So I could find a good deal and I know the person. Yeah. So she gave me 5.5. But that one is the supplier to the retailer, bro. Give 7.5. I'm like, oh man. But it's so hard to buy a ring, the diamond ring for me. I it took, is, but I took four months to choose one. You took four months? No, yeah. I took four months to earn one. <laughs> oh, we're going that different shit. Uh, okay. No, it's not, I couldn't afford my, those are the times that I was yeah, really, yeah. really days, yeah. uh, shitty, right? Mm. Shitty uh, situation. Then like you pick one, then you, there's no equity, there's zero, zero equity, you know. It's just worthless stone after you buy. Um, it's clearly not an asset, la. it's not going to make you money. It's, it? yeah. it's strange because, right, okay, so you would agree with this with rings and all that, right? But you know, like, you know, the, okay, you know the Cartier Ballon Blue? Mm. The watch, mm. Mm. right? It's funny how like nobody really care until Rosma wore it. Yeah. Now it's the Rosma watch. Ma chow hoi, tell you now I fucking wear that watch. I like, you every say it's a Rosma watch. Like, you have that watch? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. But then like, if you if you if you have a ring or you have a set piece or you have something and then people equate it to something famous called value already. So it's example lah. Mm. It's like Audrey Hepburn in Tiffany and Co. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is an equation of va- of value. Correct. But it depends on the story, right? People like that story. But it only applies if you go that level of expensive. But got niche one. So, so it's like car, you know, like, so yesterday uh, was like, uh, uh, like, it's either you go for 911 Porsches mm-hmm. or you just go normal Japanese. Anywhere in between, right? <laughs> then you're wasting your money. La. No yeah. one cares about a five series, right? Yeah. Or an E-class yes. or whatever. Yeah, so if, like, it's either you go for Casio for watches or you go Rolex or Rolex Parte AP. Uh, or Vacheron Constantine. Uh, that one also like, oh, is it shit, man? It, 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 it all goes, it all came up, popped up, right? Because uh, Rolexes, APs, but they couldn't, they will ruin any yeah. pieces available. Yeah. People then, so this is like the ripple effect. Meaning like, oh, the main one I cannot get, I get second right. or yeah, yeah, yeah. settle for something else. Ah. It's strange, you know, but uh, you know how a lot of brands can somewhat shape it as well. Mm. So example, I want to equate the, the whole jewelry aspect. Uh. If you look at Cartier, right? Mm. The, the brand. Yeah. If you look at watches in Cartier, people are like, wow, Cartier was fucking sick, all that mm-hmm. shit, right? But then if you look at the Cartier like rings and you look at the Cartier like, it's called Pantera, yeah. La, right? Yeah. A lot of things like that, people have an association of like, wow, it's quite nice. And until now, my mom, uh, she she loves Cartier, mm. right? And the rings can increase in price or so. Uh. Yeah. It depends on 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 the brand, right? It depends on the value, right? And it's what you set the value upon it. So, so it's very strange. So, so like my, the point that I was going to go to is, is either you spend 350 bucks for a ring <laughs> or 3.5 or, or you drop 38k <laughs> on a ring uh, anywhere in between right Un- unless yeah. story or something la. Yeah, like right unlikely i'm not saying it's likely i'm it's yeah. unlikely but it's possible mm. it's possible things like that so like you were small percentage but ring la, ring is normally is the value set by the wife or Nima, is she is her appreciating? But she right, could totally right. sell that shit off also <laughs> in the future if she. That's really like, if for me, I would totally if like if I were to get married again, right? Would you like a watch or gold ring? La? It makes a lot more sense. At least it appreciates in value. At least as market. You hey, better better get not not the Casio one la, you know? uh-uh. <laughs> So because like, let's say if I were to drop uh, let's say a fifty grand, la, let's say you're feeling wealthy, right? You drop fifty grand on a watch, right? On your thirtieth anniversary. I oh think, yeah, man! Oh my god! You take that watch out, right? It's still relevant. Yeah, I think the best part. Okay, so 
this Wing Kiong is the one that uh, fucking poisoned me. Uh, yeah, 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 shit yeah. Lah, right? Shout out to Wing Kiong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right after the podcast, then he reached out. Oh, is it? Yeah, and then we became like kind of good friends. Oh. He's a cool guy, man. Wing yeah. Kiong is a cool guy, man. I like his hair. <laughs> oh, his hair is fantastic. Yeah. We took yeah. pictures together, we both got long hair now. Mm-hmm. All right. Then uh, he was telling me how like, you know watches, right? It's so, it's so liquid also, you know, yeah. technically. Then I was thinking, actually he's right way. And then you don't need to take care of it in a way. Because huh? I, I, if I'm not mistaken, he's the one that told me that even if it buffers, or, no, no, sorry, my friend Doug is the one that told me, if you scratch your Rolex, even if it's on purpose or whatever, right? Mm. Shouldn't buffer it. Don't buffer yeah. it and make it nice again. Just sell it as scratch. It's higher value as well. They're like, no way, bro. It's like serious. That's why you were telling you scratch sad. in the construction site. So, so, so I just got a new, uh, a, a 1990 uh, Santos, a Cartier Santos carry. Right, oh. So that's the name of the brand. Like. So it's a very old piece. That's, that's why I buy it. You want to you wanna search that so that everybody knows how uh, it looks like. So Cartier Santos. Uh, 19 what? Uh? 19 uh, C-A-R-R-E-E. Carrier? Carry. Oh, carry. But it's in French. So it's carry. I don't know. No, it's carry. Santos. Santorini. Santos is the square one. Ma. Yeah. So Santos is the number, the first ever aviation. Yeah. Although co- it's not... Very applicable to aviation because aviation watches need to be bigger and clearer and not mm. in Roman dials. Yeah, so so I kind of get something like that, but it's all full stainless steel. So the second one, uh, ah, the, mm. so, I, so I got this, Very nice. uh. and it's I think it's this exact piece. I think it's because of I got it from Carousel also. Oh, so I got it's it. Literally this one. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Nineteen ninety one. Uh. Yeah. So it's so scratchy. It's so beat up. Like it's that. actually I think intentional for it to be like this to get the scratches. No, 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 no. Bro, it looks like it's so wide, bro. Don't you think it's so wide? The rims, the the strap, the bezel. Uh. Yeah. It's almost as if it's begging to be scratched, bro. And somebody explain to me why would you want to scratch this watch. No, it's, it's just not intentional, oh, it's it's Over time, okay, la, you know. Okay, but okay. it looks like it's inviting to be scratched, bro. But to me, as a collector, right? So we will talk about watch collection later. But <laughs> it's a very long journey. Then when we when I got this piece, it's because it's so beat up. You like the, the uh, fact that then when was... I start turning it, it broke the crown. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> then they are sent in to the service center, right? They are sent it in. Then they were like, I just want to change what's spot, right? Mm. Then uh, when they when it came out, it was like perfectly new. Oh yo! Then the salesperson is like, hey, you know, now it's so it's just like new. If I want new, I can just buy new, right? Are you fuck? They're so long. so so when it's when it came out, right, I was really like suddenly, my uh, you upset? Uh? Damn upset! You got yelled. Why wouldn't him, you uh? be upset? You got? You, were you? Were, did you? No, I just walked off. Your... I just walked off. Oh. But it, actually, people in the company actually know my existence right? because eventually everyone needs to buy property, ma. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so, the easier way to say it. Uh. <laughs> so, Which so, cartier you went into? Uh? The the. Can we say this like anyway? Can uh, like, like gardens one. I went to gardens one. Mm. So then, because the bracelet is so vintage, not er- only the other branch has the technicality the one, to uh. open. I it. see the uh, pavilion so, one is. Uh, 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 mm. Then like, oh, oh my god! Then like so frustrated. Then like, oh. go scratch yourself. Uh. Whoa. I'm not. I'm not actively, uh. actively scratching it yourself. Mm. <sighs> then like 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 this. I'm. I buy this because it's discolored. Yeah. This was originally red. Yeah, bright red. Uh huh. It's like it, so it peeled and peeled and mm. peeled. It's the sun also lah. The uh, sun. Then it became pink. <coughs> then there's this like in, within the indices. Yeah. To make it glow in the dark. So last time they used this uh, called tritium. It's a so type of uh, material. And uh, right? it burns itself. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So to so give light lah. Yeah. But it only lasts like twelve and a half years. Then after that, so it's gone now, la. And yeah, so there's no glow in the dark one. So oh. at night, I just use my phone, <laughs> <laughs> But now that it turns way milky, it turns. Creamy. And that's why you bought it because of what is it uh, because is right it now. will age with me. So when mm-hmm. when I'm fifty or when I'm eighty, when I look back, this will look different. Oh shit! But the brand new ones now is so clinically done. It's so perfect, right? You buy one and keep the next eighty years or hundred years, so it's going to look, gonna the look the exactly the same. I don't know lah, but even the designs now for a lot of the Rolexes, mm. I feel looks modern. It looks quite china lah, bro. Wow. I don't know, man. I don't, it's just personal lah. I feel mm. like, have you seen those faces, right? With shitload of Rolex word on it one, the gold one. Oh, that one is a little bit intense lah. There's no shit. Oh, okay, okay. You know, the, it's the like Rolex, 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 Rolex. The, Rolex, the, Rolex, the Rolex, dial, Rolex. The, the computer dial one. No, 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 no. It's the, fa- the, 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 the face. Is that what it's called? The, the dial, the dial. Oh, it's called the dial. Uh. It's like so many Rolex, Rolex, Rolex. Yeah, so it's, uh, they call it a comp- uh, the computer printed. Oh, is it? Uh, so it's in, so they laser print. The it's so ugly, la, I feel. Hey, I that's your watch look. right there. 
Eh, so now we had what? <laughs> Drew, go back, go back. It's okay. So just yeah. that one, like, the the CYT, that one. Ah, oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's that. Like. Oh, it's printer. Uh, I don't know. I cannot handle it. Uh. I think it doesn't look. Yeah, you see? Oh, this them. See me. what I mean? It looks quite bad, right? Don't you think? But, okay. So watches is one thing where on picture is one thing. Oh, on but in real life? On, re- on your wrist is another. Oh. And, and like, so the whole journey is that when I get my uh, first 20,000 subs, uh. I got my uh, Seamaster. Wow. Oh, like the Ome- Omega, Omega Seamaster. Uh. So it was like a celebration. Mm. So I got it. Then it was a, it was made famous by James Bond. Yeah, in the Casino Royale. Yeah, so I bought the aluminium one. When they, now it's, it keeps constantly like decolorized. La. Yeah. Then like, wow, okay, okay, okay. Then for the 30,000, yeah, I got my first submariner. Wow. Oh. Right? So then I buy it. And when I buy it, it's not that expensive only. And when I bought it, it's like 28,000 only. Oh, it's okay. Oh, 28, very cheap. Yeah. That's actually very good. What is it now? 60, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> right? yeah. That's insane, dude. Oof. But I don't like Omega. La. I uh, feel like Omega is a bit try hard. Uh, so so I opinion. got it. So I got a, like for people who play watches, then I was so into it, right? I, I got a, like Submariner 14060M. Zero. There, this one. 14060. 060. 060. Uh, Very nice. Actually, how did you get into watches? Uh? Uh, <laughs> not really. La. So we, we got together because of watches. Oh, but, okay. Uh, last time, it's an architecture thing. Is it? It's like, a, like, like sometimes I look at my men lecturers, right? Uh. All the same one. They dress really down, right? But then the watch is like, oh. then they play golf. They have a, <laughs> then they have a mm. BM. Right. And it's like very class. Then the, yeah, so it's like very cool. The, the vibe is very, very strong. Man. Oh. Then when, you know, uh, when lecturers, they will scribble on your design. So yeah. we, we do design creeds and we consult them, right? Hey, our teacher, this is my, uh, design. Then they'll take a marker and it just on top. Uh, uh, it, regardless of how intricate you designed it to be, Sorry. you should do this. Your parts space should be here. This one, the column here, remove. Then it, in the end, right, you just have one black piece of paper because he scribbled everything. <laughs> and then you right. also your drawing can't see shit. Right? Yeah. So so the more obvious one is that watch in front of me. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, it's flexing low key lah. Yeah. Uh. Then after I get that Rolex Submariner, right. Everyone tell me it's like how liquid, how liquid, how liquid. I didn't know, I don't understand, right? Then when I go, then I tried just to sell the watch, right? I walk into the dealer, like after eight months, really, it go up, it went up to 38, really. An instant 10K, you know? Yeah. Then I'm like, why am I putting my money in FD, yeah? Yeah, man, 100%. You watch, lah. Uh, then, like, if you really like watch in the first place, lah. So with that, then suddenly, okay, I have some money in FD. I go Take get an, watch. Then I go get another <laughs> one. Am I then then it needs to then it's only it's cooler when it's tied to a story. Yes. Then never look into that piece. I know when I get it, when I get yeah. it, when I get it. Uh, so watches are only cool um, are cooler when it tells more than just time. Uh, so so then, oh, then you go into it. Then the more you go into it, is that very obvious thing where men really like things. Like, I think it's a mechanical thing also. Yeah, like it's like cars. Yeah, they like how things operate, I feel. Yeah. Like that's why we watch all those like how-to videos. Mm-hmm. Then you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but so generally yeah. men like things. Women like people. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. What? That's Not like, women like things? That's why women are nurses mm. and shit, right? Professions are skewed that way also. Yeah. What? <laughs> men- <laughs> There's a percentage of engineers on site are just more men. Of course, they are still women, but they are minority. <laughs> yeah. Does like nurses? So the, I think the professor spe- uh, speaks a lot about this. The the very oh uh, the Jordan Jordan, Jordan, Jordan bro, I love his video by the way. <laughs> yeah, I watched that shit at once. Yeah, yeah, he 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 makes a huge argument about this. That how men like I like things things. Uh, things yeah. So we can like <laughs> this is funny. After hanging out with Wing Kong, then you see a group of men, successful men, all around, like, all talk around a piece of object. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's so mind blowing. It's blue. <laughs> then you just look from a hindsight. You're like, you know, I'm very conscious. They're like, okay, mm. <laughs> all right, I see you. So it's blue, <laughs> just like my Adidas shirt. <laughs> <laughs> then you see, like, oh, then you know when they're 41, they now turn, they launch a 39. It's mind blowing. They're like, you know, two mm only, right? Yeah. 
Hey, but then in watch in watch <laughs> top though, though, it is crazy how they even make it smaller, right? Yeah, yeah. But all the parts have to like really still work in that same way to create the same movement. Yeah. And it's the same series, but it's just smaller. So it's actually quite mind blowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's no battery, bro. Mm. Bro, <laughs> what does, how does that even work? But then as a stranger sitting next table. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell are these? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You all went to a cafe heaven. somewhere or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> then they were like, then you see it. Just two mm. Yeah, then. But this is the interesting things after you achieve abundance. Soon, soon, soon. Then after that, it goes back to health also. Yeah. <laughs> when you're 50, when you're 50. That is a discussion who looks younger. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like now you, you are so healthy, you got so much money, you get to really spend time with the things that you like. Like they, I think they 24 seven hold you watch on you one. Wow. Every conversation is about watches. Every conversation. <laughs> So I, that's why I kind of came out from the group earlier a bit oh. because uh, watch was something that dulls me down. Like after right. I finished my video- No I, pun intended. Uh, so, so, so that, <laughs> yeah, man. Then I just like finished the videos at two, three o'clock. Uh. Then you just stop thinking a little bit. Then I go into watches. Oh, then you go and look at- a Yeah, it's a form of rest, videos, la, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, right. But then it became, then Stress. now I actually uh, get a lot of questions, but I don't put it up. So because talking about watches is borderline flexing. Bro, you know, right? I swear to God, right? I feel that Paisa to go and take Insta story of my watch, man. Why? Okay, so you know, I always wear an Since Apple watch. Since when John Paisa? That's bro. why it's only close friends whenever you post your watch. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> always close friends only when I post watch. I fucking, yeah, yeah. I cannot, because, okay, so to be fair, I didn't buy it. Mm. My mom gave it to me mm. as a gift. She actually wanted to give me her Santos. Mm. Then I was like, mom, I'm not taking this watch. This mm. is, I cannot handle this type of responsibility. Mm. Then she insisted that I want to give you a watch. Mm. I think it's good though. I know, but I feel very bad. I I I, I like to earn. Like, you earn, really, ma? <laughs> what is definition of earn to me is like I earn, it, I get money, I it's save. Not right? to, it's not to you, ma. It's to her. I know, but yeah. it's just personal. Okay, so you can, you can ask Andrew, right? since I was a kid, right? Yeah. Every time my parents want to buy me something, I feel them pie, say, just save money, you don't need to buy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like that. I just don't me too, like. Me too. I just. Half, like, like how I wish my parents would buy me stuff until they really buy me something I don't want. Yeah, oh bro, <laughs> same shit. It's a different feeling, man. Yeah. I know it's a very privileged conversation to have, mm. but there is that feeling. Like. No, yeah. I feel fucking guilt, bro. When I when my mom, she okay, it's a company car. Mm. And it's not even a new car. It's like a six-year-old car, BMW. Mm. She said, you can drive the BMW. Yeah. I'm like, I don't think I deserve it, man. Yeah. She's like, uh, you need to because I'm selling your saga anyway. Uh. Then I'm like, okay. <laughs> but then how to justify yourself, right? When you look into the tax exemption. <laughs> <laughs> to give you it's not really like because I love you we're gonna write off in tax yeah, anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just it's just I feel it and then I hate it when people judge me like oh this kid is just spoiled oh. so I just don't like to do it even my watches when I mm. wear it I want to close all my rings first on my Apple watch ah, only yeah. I deserve mm. to wear a nice watch mm. I deserve to have a choice today mm. so after this podcast I'm gonna go back and gonna wear my nice watch ah. but I don't know like, I'm gonna look at it I'm like what should I wear mm. today yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't like to install it because you're right. Yeah. It's like the flex. I, I cannot the do that. The entire B40 community is judging you, right? For deeming an Apple Watch to be a low tier watch. Bro! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't thought of that. Wow. Bro, first of all, my Apple Watch uh, is Series 4. Okay, it's like the oldest shit ever. It doesn't matter. Bro. And, and now, if you go to every store, so, uh, it's installments, so everybody has an Apple Watch. Just saying. I don't know, man. Bro. Everywhere I go, I go Burger King, all that shit. People are like preparing, all wear Apple Watch. Maybe you go to Japan, right? The people, the rickshaw, what no, so all wear Apple Watch. You don't compare with Japan, like, we compare with Malaysia. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere has, everybody owns a smartwatch. It's either Apple Watch, Samsung, or Fitbit, or Garmin. Mm. Maybe, everybody maybe owns you have something. not gone to the right place. Like, there are places I go where people don't have Apple Watch. Not the true B40 community. Yeah. Like, nah. I suppose they wouldn't be watching this podcast anyway. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. so I just don't like to flex, uh, in my mm. personal opinion. I just, it's, not, no, it's not whether to flex, you know. Sometimes it's just like, I want to share knowledge. <laughs> I tell people, okay, I got, I got, I got an like X amount of properties. Uh, people, an see, yeah. No, people couldn't comprehend. Yeah. Uh, like if you know, like if I would really tell you like how many properties I have, like, you like, hmm, okay. Don't really care, like what? But then when you have a Rolex, or suddenly you're like, oh, wow, this is a rich guy. <laughs> yeah, wow. right, 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 right. It's a status uh, thing. Uh. But then like, if you don't know about watches, then you look, look at cars, it's just like how you drive a, a uh, BM or a Mercedes. Mm. By default, you're rich. Although it's an old car. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Mercedes though. Uh, Some yeah. brand thing. I think it's a brand yeah, thing. Yeah, so like so. the brand part of Rolex, if you know how Hans Wildorf, which is the founder of Rolex, yeah. it's uh, 50 year to 100 years away from uh, Steve Jobs. 
Oh shit! How he revolutionized the entire industry. Same. Do you he, think about marketing? He, Oof. Mm. I think I, I read somewhere he took like a really long time to think of the name of the brand. No, no, no. Uh, yes and no. So right. th- there's a lot of version of it. And uh, what really amazed me, right, is uh, he was the guy that because of him, he, he was an orphan because the, yes, yes, the yes, parents yes. passed away. So he right. got sent to a school. Then because of his multilingual, uh, multilingual ability. ability, he got sent into an internship of a watch company. Oui. Then he started developing this interest. Then he tried Beautiful. to find out everybody was in the pocket watch yes. time. And then, then he put it war. on. Uh, then war hit. Yes. Then the supply increased. Yes. Then you their could. office was in London. Then because of tax, they go to Switzerland. Yes. Then because of the quartz crisis when uh, Japanese invented quartz movement, yeah. yes. all mechanical watches not valid. Like 500 Swiss companies, Swiss watches all die. Then yeah, all the workers feel. for cheap. Yeah. All looking for a job. Compete, yeah. Then he mass produce. And it, I, if I'm not mistaken, he did it in lieu of the war or something. It's yeah. for soldiers to look at the time. Mm. So you know when to attack and shit like that. Yeah. So, and it has to be clear. Mm. So he created it. I'm like, wow, that's so fucking crazy. Then how he ties all his time pieces to main events, like the woman uh, swimming through the channel to demonstrate the waterproof. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So yeah. Then the person that climbs the mountain, don't know mountain. which mountain, then wears his watch. There's a story tied to him. Uh. Uh, he knows one. He then knows. that the pilots uh, of Pan Am all need a dual time zone one. To show where you're yeah. from. And so where that time going. media was on newspaper. Uh. The then, image. Yeah, yeah. Then it's the post, you know? Yeah. Guy is like, <laughs> it's so, the post, bro. But now it's like all videos. Uh, so we are so used to videos. Yeah. So if I just think about it, right? A lot of people like uh, Steve Jobs for his vision and all. Yeah. If you understand the story of Rolex, right? It's just a different era. We are dealing with mechanical and print. But this is the digital. One. Digital and IPs and all. I was I was talking to mm. Winkyong about Two Door, mm. the watches, mm. right? Mm. And then he was saying Two Door is one of the worst fucking videos. Wow. It's like the cringiest shit ever. Then I like, how bad could it be? That bro, bad, uh? I watched like five all cringe, bro. Dude, can, you, can you play one? Can you please play one? I don't really watch Two Door, so. It, I, think, I think it's the it's the the copy that he wrote. They, they, the voice artist but, but the existence of Tudo is also to me as a marketeer right uh. it's a genius move it's the entry for Rolex ma. so like because when Rolex is too expensive right you have your yeah so it's like okay instead of having a cheap series within Rolex I create a sub brand yes that is by Rolex yes and I, I heard from him as well and I, I don't know whether you should quote mm. okay wait let me just, we'll just I'll just read the the, the Tudo explore unfollowed trails. You choose nature. Walk straight ahead mm. if I you can. Makes- Bro, walk straight ahead if you can. What the fucking copy is this? Mm. You cannot walk straight because you're drunk, is it? What the fuck are you talking about? But I think only it's because you guys are from agency land, right? You guys care about copy. <laughs> I, I as a regular consumer, I couldn't care less. Yeah, I was like, oh, cool. It's cut drone th- shots. Bro, cut through nature respectfully. Wow, see. <laughs> Defy Whoa. distance, meet new boundaries. Oh, FPV drone. Whoa. <laughs> and Bro, here that's is a the good sea. shot though. Explore the sea. Only do what? it in that direction. Oh, man, if, I, I, if I'm a regular consumer, I'm like, damn, that's fucking scary going down. <laughs> bro, <laughs> that, bro, the Why copy. Got no fish? Uh, Why got no fish? The yes. copy is if dark, use lights. Mm. Take a picture, leave a gentle trace, head up. Bro, find more to find out. Again, again. <laughs> the fuck is again. Again. So, so this again. demonstrates, right? Your awareness of your knowledge determines what you see. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. Right. That's true. Mm. If you if you really ignore it, then yeah, no, I guess. I'll be like, wow, cool, <coughs> mm. cool. But if I'm blind now, listen to it, it's worse. <laughs> you wouldn't listen to an ad, I guess. You, you braille. True, like, actually, you wouldn't want to watch because it can't even look, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, there are watches where you can feel one. No wow. way. Are you serious? Oh How do blind people bra- go to see the time then? They're braille watches. Uh. Yeah, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, actually, it, it makes sense. It, it wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if there is. Uh. True, true, true. But he, okay, so Winkian was telling me, and mm. I don't know whether. She- yeah, and, and it's not word for word. Uh. So he was telling me how Rolex is actually going into the upper tier market, like yeah. the PPs and all that. Hence the two dollars is going to replace the Rolexes. Yep, yep. So, hence so everybody's fighting for that spot. Yeah. So now, like for those who don't understand, right? 30,000 can't really get you anything really on Rolex. Yeah. 
Oh man. Normally 40. Um, yeah. 40 can. Uh. No, 40 if you get it from retail. Ah, yeah, la. But yeah. there is always that whole. Yeah, so the retail you cannot get because it's a waiting list or whatsoever. Yeah. However, they justify it. La. So they, uh, like personally, I get two mm. from retail. So it exists. But just that a lot of people get it in, getting in to flip. The flip culture is destroying it. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Same with the shoe as well, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you have all people line up or bots buying the shoe online. Right. That's why it jacks up. So yeah. the that's why I don't see a watch as investment. I see it as a hobby first. Oh, then. Then just so happen my hobby makes money. Even if it doesn't make money, right? To me, I'm fine. Mm. Yeah, so that's the toy. Chris, you, you inherently enjoy watches, lah. Yeah, right. That's the baseline. Mm. So, like how hundred and fifty three pieces of metal works together to tell you the time or the date, a metric of, of time. Yeah, right. Cool. That's actually quite freaking wild, man. It is, man. Without battery, you know, like in yeah. the, in a world where everything we understand is in short in circuits mm. and motherboards, this shit is literally metal on metal moving yeah. Yeah. via springs and shit. And you're just like, what the hell, man? How does this work? Mm-mm. And it's intricate because even if you bang it, it still works. Mm. That's how crazy it is, you know? Uh, and because of the quality, it's so good, right? People stop talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you know. <laughs> that's how you know. Yeah. You just yeah, yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah. T- it time, telling the time effortlessly. Yeah. Effortless, effortlessly. Uh, that's so, insane. Yeah, so like, oh, this watch is from 1996. Cool. Have you ever heard of a phone that's been working since then? <laughs> Bro, yeah, 2010 uh, also phone cannot work yeah, already. Yeah. A car. Yeah, so right. so like that uh, appreciation for these kind of things really, to me, very interesting. That's how like I, I wrote, a, I think an Instagram post about it, like how men together, right? How what? Men. How men together? We're going to talk about a car, Uh-oh. like vintage cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, you know, have you seen the, what well, the new Cayman or the new whatever? Okay. I don't. I, I absolutely not no, guy. not car guy at all. Andrew's uh, a car guy. Boy, he also is a car guy. Yeah, I'm yeah. not a car guy. I, I just I, I think it's too. I think maybe it's too complicated for me. Mm. I don't. I can't even tell like when I should change the oil. Technically yeah. For me, I just send for service and then I make sure alignment. I think that's the practicality side of things. Yeah. But like like but when you want again when you're in the abundance state, right, uh, yeah, then you then, want something more. Yeah. Than yeah. just. Car is not to get point A to point B. That's not. Wing Kong, you know, used to be a car person. <laughs> yeah. He used to love cars and then mm. he kind of just like, nah. And then he went into watches now. He's a whole new. Oh, in, in Kuching? Uh. Uh, like in a place where land is in abundance. Right. People don't want land. <laughs> people buy apartments for car park spaces. Holy shit. That's what you call real old money, man. Wait, wait, wait. They buy the condo apartments. Uh, because so car park space, yeah, so they in, park all their cars in. Because at home got no space to park. That is insane, man. <laughs> Even my condo got a, by uh, the way. Uh, yeah. I fucking seen the Porsche uh, park in multiple different spots. Uh, and you know, you know, in, in condo groups, right? People fucking toxic one, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone has only complaints. Yeah. Okay? There's never any good things about the condo. Mm. <laughs> right? So if someone park at the wrong spot, con lan firm, this fellow gonna complain uh, uh. in the group. This Porsche, I've seen him in six different spots. No one has complained before. Uh. So it's clearly his spot, <laughs> right? And I'm like, dude, his Porsche is like, a bright baby blue, almost a tangy green kind of color. Okay, mm. so that's it's very unique. it's very easy to see la, from afar. So this guy clearly bought it just to park his car whenever he want. Mm. Maybe it's closer to the lift la, a bit. I uh. don't know. I'm not sure. Wow. Yeah. La. But it's kind of thing of it like crazy. Wow. Yeah. I think wealth is really reflecting now. You know what? A lot of people like complain the ringgit very low, mm-hmm. all this stuff shit. Then you go carry it to wow, fucker. Why so many people traveling? Yeah, to? yesterday I was <laughs> I was just standing there a little while, then like, then you got people hecklers. I want, hey, you mau pergi mana? You mau pergi mana? It's, it's for travel, cause you see one, yeah. how they dress, everything. You're ready, you're prime for Bangkok type of shit. Right, uh, uh, right, right. Yeah. right. They're like, oh. I don't oh but the first time, right, because I was coming out, then like grab line would be insane, mm-hmm. right? Then like, hey, let's give grab executive a try. Oh, uh, you tried, huh? Uh, then I, I got a Valfire. <laughs> nice. And then I was back in like, oh, this is, then I realized the convenience. On the way back, instead of me driving, I made like six posts. Yeah. Right. Actually, yeah. a driver is one of the biggest, it's the best investments. It's the time you save on yeah. parking, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And then the maintenance, because the guy sends service for you. Yeah, the yeah, time yeah. you save is quite mad. I used to think like a driver is damn stupid. I don't want to have a driver for what? Yeah, buy a good car for him to drive. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I'm not going to drive that. Mm. Mm. Then yeah, nah, actually, uh, you save so much time and save so much on parking. Yeah. Really? Because the guy can park them far and he can't pick you up. It's a question of how much value your time brings. Yes. Huh? Yeah, so right. it's, it boils down to that. Then that's why lately, right, I set a goal for myself. Instead of having X amount of KPEX, 
mm. I think in the OPEX form. I see. So if I want to uh, upgrade my life, it's to add a home assistant, a house assistant, or a driver, <coughs> a chef. Do you do your own chores, uh, bro? I, because I stay with my in-law, so oh, uh, my oh, wife oh. and the mother-in-law, they okay, do okay, okay. so I'm spoiled a bit, but I'll get an assistant to do it, then it'll be- Yeah, they'll be free. Yeah. Uh, then uh, like a chef, then a PT, a uh, fitness guy. <laughs> chef is, I think also. Yeah. The chef, I feel, is it saves a lot of time and money. But obviously you pay for manpower, but your your the health benefits are so good. Yeah. Health benefits so are so suddenly insane. when I think of this, right? Instead of me getting a brand new car, a brand a bigger a semi or a bungalow or a mansion of 70 million, right? Whatever lah, I would target all this first. Then it helps mm. you grow to that next level faster, also actually. It's true, man. I swear I see it now because I want to save money on a mid sometimes. Mm. So when I have time, I like look, I need to take a half day, I can clean the floors and shit. Mm. But I think about it, actually six hours like I did like three videos, you know. Mm. I oh, fuck actually wasting. Yeah, but it's after you clean, right? You got no more mood to do the rest. Yeah, you're, you're tired. tired. <sighs> That's why that, like now the conversation that I had, because I have this new series where uh I have audiences into my channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw I that. that. I see uh, that. Home so, first home buyers. Yeah, yeah. So that's well then very mind blowing when you like, see people listening to your work, right? Speaking your words in front of you, then like Ooh, they oh. quote you, uh. Yeah. <laughs> so weird. You quote the person. Usually, we quote people who are dead, right? Yeah. <laughs> then, like, so weird. But then, like, why three thousand square feet? Why do you really need three thousand square? Feet? Do you really need thousand six hundred square feet? Actually, we don't need a lot of things mm. by right, lah. You know, like by right, you just wake up, ma. You just mm. need a place. You need literally a coffee only, ma. Yeah, 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 yeah. With aircon, la, mm. or a fan, la. Then mm. you're okay. Really, actually, you just need a small place. Yeah. The add-ons are what, like, kind of. I won't say small in place, like I say enough. <coughs> what is enough? Depends on your, your likings, like, like for me, I personally feel with my lifestyle and my wife, mm. a house of at least nine hundred square feet will be sufficient for me. That is because mm. you can only afford, or it's, you haven't seen a three thousand. I've seen a three thousand. Mm. I I'm like, whoa! I don't think this is for me. But that's the, because I know what I would like, but. <coughs> or buyers out there, sometimes they don't really know what they want. So I had uh, conversations like that. The yeah. owners like, like, God, why a mansion? I need to park my cars, ma. <laughs> like, okay. Okay. <laughs> like, like, how Fair. many cars okay. you have? Mm. 38? The- <laughs> Buy a parking lot. La. You know, like, wow. I see. <laughs> <laughs> then Actually, I- he should get a multi-story parking. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But this mm. it's not available. Oh. There's no such products. Yeah, ho. Oh. Then like when we went to this uh, project in Nilai where they sell by land. Oh, right. I guess you can, for those who follow, they know. La. <laughs> I review a uh, bungalow lot. People are trying to save as much as to buy the land. Then they want to build their own home. Mm-hmm. Your neighbors are horses. Mm. There is an equestrian. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. owner buys like several lots to put his horse. Mm. <laughs> totally different tier, man. Isn't oh. it? Bro, you different. So there's like different two horses or three horses, then per horse is like 1.2, 1.5 million. And you need to walk the horse. So it's common. Did bro, someone say horse funny. is an investment? Nah, bro, it's <laughs> damn funny. Because of that, then I went into, then I deep dive into it. What was it? Then I went into, <laughs> really? Like, Seriously? Okay, like, what species is that? Like, stallion is it? Uh, stallion not, is just male. Uh, it's, it's, uh, so it's like a racing breed yeah, or okay. a lasher breed. Mm. Or the jumper. Uh, yeah. You know? <sighs> So you then you, oh then you like, okay then who gets this all the races then like by hour or by trip then vets how then all this kind of thing then like oh where do I get one <laughs> whoa <laughs> <laughs> then like how do I then like you get from young then you train, train it up then right then you gotta see breeds you gotta know which type they are like humans right? have you seen this movie called Nope and OPE bro you're talking about that uh, what uh, Key and Bill for the Jordan for the yeah for the movie bro you watch it yeah I watched half so far bro, it's I, had to, I, had, I had to stop for a moment because it's quite mind mind fucked up la. oh you stream it yeah I'm watching streaming so I I, I think you need to watch it in cinema but personally uh, I feel that way la. but I think you should watch it it's quite unique it's a very operations based movie also but by now I need to cut off a little bit because uh, I got into watches to distress. <laughs> Now it became part of stress. Yeah. Every, not not stress, I like became part of my life. La. Uh. Then uh okay now during MCU like okay, I done enough properties, enough watches really. Let's try what's this NFT thing. Mm. Then I launched my own project. Yeah, I saw that. that and now the, it's in yeah. operations. Then right, right, right. It's in Ethereum, right? I think you're saying. Yeah, Ethereum. it's in OpenSea. Uh, 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 then yeah. I sold 20 of them. Then like all of them became friends. Then 
every now and then, they, because I'm selling access, uh. they get direct access to me. Now uh, then I meet them up for three hours, then we go and see properties together. Lor. Oh, nice. Wow, we should do that. Yeah, I'm just as you should do that. Yeah. So, so <laughs> then, <laughs> fuck. Then, uh, then everyone keep asking for launch. Then, because some people who, after the consultation, they felt that, okay, it solved my problem. Oh, 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 then I that's all that I really see again. Then somebody else who needs that consultation or my time, then they buy it secondhand or subsale. Then every transaction, I get 10%. Oh, you, oh, oh, it's based on the the the, uh, the, the NFT. Oh. So like now you buy this, you do one already, you put you it up or whatever price or market price, this guy grabs it. And then you have- 10% royalty yeah. comes to you. Comes to me in perpetuity. Ooh. Damn. Sexy, bro. You need to do that, man. I feel. Then, then if you are confident enough of your own brand, like uh, this is where I find it very- very interesting also. When I came here, I was at 40,000 subs, I think. Now you're 60, right? I think? 70. 70. Uh. So you guys were 400, now like 3,000 plus. Yeah. It's benefits of you and side and what lah. No lah, so yeah, like- 100%, bro. Then uh, I was thinking like, oh, I think I carry more weight. <laughs> because from 400 over to 1,000 plus, 2,000 was the harder part. Is it? Was it harder for you? No, no, f- yeah, for me. For, 400 to 1,000. Uh. Uh, 400 plus, the first 1,000 is damn tough. First 1,000 is the hardest, man. Yeah. Actually, yeah, now that you say that. Because after you hit the 1,000, then the YouTube algorithm becomes different and because more people you, watches. Mm, yeah. Then there's this mentality like, this guy, how many subs? 1,000, uh, okay, la, I think let's, let's give it uh, a try. Right. People, j- now when you watch channels, <laughs> right? Not for the channel, like, oh, I see. Or this guy. <gasps> You're right. My habits Why? did change. Why? You see subs, ah? Uh? No, no, no. I when but I the see the weightage of your speaking, yeah, it may be like mind blowing. But but you got two sub. I uh, fuck up lah. <laughs> no, not reliable. But <laughs> but now uh, I think I when I see too many subs, I don't watch. Mm. Also the other way. Yeah. I now when I see too many subs, buy I, subs. I I feel like I don't need to watch his video because he's going to hit a majority message. So I'm not going to learn much. That's what I feel uh. mm. I know whether it is yeah. everybody feels the same way. But when I see people with like 10k, 20k, I trust that one more. Mm. Under 100K is like the sweet spot for me. I'm like, it's new, it's niche. This guy has a new perspective. At least what I think, you know. Yeah. Sean, you better stop me. Get yeah. close with you. Hey. You're almost to 100K <laughs> before John answer up from you, you know. So, so, <laughs> so, so I figured out, right? Like Malaysian, like 33 million people. Yeah. Right? T20 and M40s are my audiences. Uh. How many percent any? Hello? 60, yeah. Uh, 60% of it. Yeah. Then like, how many people are interested in a guy vlogging around properties? <laughs> Right, I think at mm. Max, so that's with, there was this car reviewer, so like uh, he has sighting, he hit 100,000 subs, 200,000 subs, and that's the peak really, cannot go really. Local. Local. Which car oh. review is this? Uh, Tai Zhu Yi, I think oh. the, the car guy. Can you Google that shit? Uh, but he's- uh, YouTube really, that shit. Uh, really? Tai Zhu Yi? Like literally in like- like T-A-I-C-O-O-C-H-O-O-Y-E-E. Is it in Roman or is it like in Chinese? Tai, Tai, T-A-I. Zhu. Giant. Typo, typo, typo. Uh, oh, yeah. Tai Chui. Oh, I watch this guy's videos though. Yeah. I, and it's wow. in Chinese. Can you believe it? I still uh, watch it. Uh. <laughs> subs, ah. Uh, I can't recall if I sub or not. Uh. Mm. No, I mean, you read the subtitle, is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh. So because like they do cars, man. I do properties. Man. So cars, you can just drive off the gallery, then mm-hmm. you go and do somewhere, else, right? Yeah. But for me, I need to drop go there. in the place, man. So that's the difference. La. But cars by default gains- uh, Higher. Mm. So but like a lot of people want to do. As I know you see media launch for cars, right? Yeah. Goodness. Now influencers can like, you have your few minutes, huh? To shoot. Wow, after that, so short uh, time. Uh. Because after you is next him. After him is you. Correct, oh correct, yeah. Correct, correct. Then, yes. then everybody is in a competition to get the the, the best content shots, yeah. out. Fastest or something. Uh, so it's about who has the fastest upload speed, not who has the best. Correct, correct, correct. So put your part, oh, because part. the first the first video that comes up, people click on that, and then when they click on that, they don't need to click on the second one because they already know what's the first one. Yeah, because it's all pro uh, information based. Yeah. It, it, but yes and no, I feel with cars, but then if you look at tech, like you look at MKBHD, mm. when mm. there are people who are faster than him, when it comes to the iPhone release or the Apple Watch, mm. I really don't care about the rest. I really only value MKBHD. Yeah. Because of the way how, he, there's two things I like about him. One is the way he packages the information. Mm. It's a very unique perspective all the time. Yep. Always different. Like the out, the, the Apple Watch Ultra. I'm mm. like, I'm obsessive about that <laughs> shit. La. Mm. And the AirPods Pro 2. The way he has a perspective on it is very different from the regular YouTuber. So I will discount the rest. But you have to re- really reach that level la, yeah. of creativity, of how 
to form the video that way. So he is also like part of my philosophy when I was doing my videos. Oh, MKBHD, yeah. Mm -mm. So it's going to be really clinical about like why they could not take out the audio jack, why mm. they choose this, why they choose that, because the chip position, yes, yes. effects, whatever. Ma. No one talks about that. But the way he he phrases is very yeah. simplified also. Yeah, so the, the yeah. art of simplification yeah. is a very complex manner. <laughs> Ironically, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then when you listen like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the, like the refuse chamber collection, the, yes. the location, the corridor. Bro, after you said that, right, every uh. condo I go to, right, I'm uh. like, where the fuck is the refuse chamber? <laughs> where the Bro, the first thing I did when I got my keys, uh. where the fuck is the refuse chamber? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> is it close? Is it close uh, to yours? It's not close. Okay. Yes. Also double door. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I, all these are like no ventilation though. Yeah. I, I I know your SOP. <laughs> <laughs> but and, these and, are things. And, uh. That's why when you like as a designer of a building, so many times from a reputable developer, where's the air gonna go? Yeah, yeah. man. And and what's the cost to just have a hole? Right? Yeah, bro. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally, right? Yeah. They don't think of this, you know, when they do that. It's like okay, like just have no. Just because been. like it has always been the blind spot. Uh, you buy property, right? You don't see that. Yeah, at most, how many kappa? Do people ask where is the kappa? I, I know I did, floor? That's, that's thanks to your videos uh, I did, uh, la, okay. Uh, yeah. so, so like, oh, yours, because the, the, the cheaper unit you buy, the, the higher low, your kappa location. Travel, yeah, uh. yeah. So like, if you park at level nine, then what is the design of the kappa? Is it the circle, circle, go up one? Uh, or is it the like that and like that? Yeah, the ramp yeah. one is oh. the ramp one. So, so now there's this uh, popular design of super ramp. Yeah. Set. Correct. It's, it's like you go into Aeon malls, you want to go to the rooftop, right? There's this huge ramp all the, uh, way, uh, all uh, the way on the side, on the outside one. Then yeah, you go yeah, all yeah. The way it's up brilliant, here. bro. I love it. Yeah, so if the site can allow that kind of design, then at level six, my car park is fine. No difference. Yeah, yeah no. I don't have to. If it's those like the- Circle, circle one, then, no, go, those, then you go down one. Those oh. half one. Up. The half one painful. Oh one. yeah, man, the mezzanine floor type of shit, right? Oh, you, I hate that. Then now uh, when you come out, right, you have a choice to go upstairs or downstairs. Then you uh. forget, did I go up or down? Uh? Uh. These little things are really, like lot 10. Lot 10 uh, is yeah, that yeah. problem. I hate that shit. Then like, oh, uh, oh, it's bug level five. You need to go through twice, you know, 10 right. rounds. You know. yeah. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So stress, hmm? so stress. Then but the car park, then the columns design. Is it like those conventional beams and columns or is it like a flat ceiling type? Yeah. If it's a flat ceiling type, then you put a normal light, it will reach or, further. But, but then if, if it's the a beam, then block. Uh, then, you you. Dark, then you've got a lot of columns, right? Then you don't know who's behind the column. Or. Yeah, right, 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 right. It's always this feeling of uncertainty. I mean, it's safety, yeah. like, you yeah. know, and thing. Yeah. But yeah, of, uh, actually, what do you think of mall designs now? Uh? Because uh, like- I was just going like, I, 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 I was going to get an Insta uh -huh. 360. Like, and, like, walk and, and, and I start reviewing commercial areas. Oh, and you should oh, la. nice. You know what I feel right? The the latest pavilion right. Bukit Jalil. Mm. I really don't think they put a lot of thought into it. You know, I or is I I, or maybe it's the attendance. I'm not sure. I think it's the stage. Like uh, like I stay quite close la, Right. Oh. Then I go there almost uh, every week, and just to observe, mm. like which tenant comes in, which tenants. Much I'm like so shit on the tenants. The machines is so far, uh, you know. You know the Apple machines are. It's really it's, far. So I imagine like, if Mid Valley today mm. was as empty, we're gonna complain about the same thing also, because the journey from your car park when you come out to the place you want to go is far. Mm. It's far only because it's empty. True. Oh, yeah. fair. Yeah. If you got things in, in between, in between they'll keep you entertained. Hey, you see, or oh, carrying is here. Hey, you see the mm -hmm. jewelry. Hey, you see Tudo is here. Hey, you see the. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, wow. Then you go, go, go. Hey, oh, which really. Yeah, it's out, right? So it's that point A to B only, right? Yeah. Whoa, far away. It's far. So it like, feels that way. Malls almost feels like that to me because I don't shop, man. Oh. <laughs> so I only go to watch. <laughs> 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 and it's all at the, the high luxury area. Uh, so so when I, I just come out from the car park, I only go to the shop. You don't get go groceries or anything? I just go to, uh, then I stop by Jaya Grocery Center. Oh, oh, oh. Then my, I go my wife. La. Then I'll just be outside with the coffee. Waiting. Uploading, uploading video. Uploading video. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm the cook, la, so I am the uh, one that goes in. La. Yeah, la, so I guess that's the entire yeah. experience. Maybe so, maybe so. It's a lack of tenants that make it feel like it's a So La La Pot? Oh, I hate La, La, La Pot so parking, so. bro. I, I went in when it was just handed over. Oh, damn. Mm, yeah. Absolutely empty. Oh right? yeah, you were part of the media that went in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I uploaded because it was empty. <laughs> 
So then everyone said like, so gempa, so gempa, so gempa. Um, I'm telling people gempa. you go in, right? Eh, what's so gempa about it? Eh, don't you think uh, when the handover, not handover, uh, it was the beginning stages when mm. I visited, it's quite dirty also, you know. They left all the construction stuff at the side. for Actually, for- technically, it's not complete yet. Oh, is it? Uh, so there's this debate of when to handover. Mm. The faster I open up and get the news Better, out, uh, yeah. then people will not like, oh, open, I go one. Ma. It takes a while for people to go. Ma. Yeah. So there's this work in progress stage where it's happening to Pavilion also in Bukit Jalil. I heard they're having challenges finding tenants. Huh? But uh, because in proximity, right, just to think about it, my house to Pyramid mm. is like 10 minutes. Uh. To Pavilion, more 10 minutes. To Mid Valley, is like 20 minutes. Is it? To Pavilion, book the, the KL, it's another 15, 20 minutes only via Max Highway. Mm. Uh, yeah, la, yeah la, that one is true. Yeah. But Mid yeah. Valley, 20 minutes for you. Uh. Yeah. yeah, you got to cross the major so highway. It's the traffic. The traffic like that. Uh, I need mean, to oh, go through yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, Oakland yeah, Road. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But like, you think then in between, if you want to just sideway a little bit, you got Sunway Joe, you got Parkson, you got all the smaller ones. Parkson no more, bro. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> so, for it, for it, for it, for it, yeah. so, so you go into all this, right? I want to go to a grocer. Which one should I go? Uh, per point. Yeah, per point. Uh. My yeah. answer is per point. Uh. Yeah, so you have these in-betweens and whatever, right? Then uh-huh. all then there are segmentations to malls also. Neighborhood malls. Yeah, yeah. Commercial malls. Uh, what kind of F&B malls. But I think that area, the Bukit Jalil area is going through like a shitload of development, like the WCT area, right? Now, but much oh. like forever, like they never complete. No, I thought they, they stopped for a moment. Because uh, right. the main shareholder, they had conflict. Mm. The owners of Pavilion also owns WCT. Oh, okay. So part of it, like the shareholder. So if you build a mall, you're going to- Cannibalize my sales. Huh? Yeah, you know what for? Yeah. And we are since we are same brother, don't build another mall, build something else. La. True. Then so that's why condo. they stopped la, for a while. Oh, wow. So they're uh, gonna redo the planning a little bit. Actually, I, I kinda know inside info in that mm. way who right. is like working there. Mm. And he said that there's a lot of changing to the floor plan and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta change. No, because <coughs> apparently like a lot of budget cuts. Mm. And because of budget cuts, they have to redo the entire floor plan. Then when you have to read, it's like version don't know how many, and they mm. went through a few firms already. It's la. it's normal though. Is it? Mm. Are you I, so sad? Nah? Uh, there was once a very funny story. I was proposing my building facade to be yellow uh-huh. when the whole uh, company's color was red. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then they then I, I need to go through like eight Layers meetings of, of presentation <sighs> why yellow makes sense. So <laughs> how did you sell it? Pray tell. So the, I forgot what I did really. Go through all the meetings. Okay, we get yellow. All right. Fantastic. <laughs> Such a drag. But that WCD has been there, that, that lot, la, sorry, that mm. empty lot, has been there for almost a decade already. Yeah. It's like nobody improved it. Man. Speaking about it, right, because now uh, I, I'm i going to go there almost every day. I'm going to be at your office area every day. Already. Oh, shit, serious? Well, my kid, uh, he, he's going to study at the- study Kirk, there, uh, Oh, I see. Uh, the then, one is next to the temple one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Then uh, you will see like houses that, like a lot of people are like, oh, you just buy individual title house, right? Mm. <laughs> we go back to properties right now. <laughs> then uh, you spend a lot of money back then and you do renovation. Right behind your house, right, is going to be a new apartment. Bro, and I bro, is it I that, know, bro. The WCT. Uh, yeah, right. la, and not only that, you hear the, the bro, construction the, whole fucking you time. You have VIP seats to Parlings. Yep. To Parlings, what's that? Huh? Sorry. Pilings, oh, piling, piling. <laughs> yeah, bro. You're going to see the thing. VIP seat, la, like yeah. right outside your room. La. And, and dude, that relate. is literally me. Uh, when I was staying with my parents uh, in my room, uh, I opened my curtain, I faced boom. the back of the house. Uh, it's piling. It's li- what, literally in front of me, uh, uh, maybe 30 meters away, uh, walking distance. Uh, you see WCT, the big uh, vast land there. Yeah. Then, of course, I'm working from home, uh, yeah. COVID, right? Fuck, they renovate. Uh, you can feel the earth, <laughs> the home, yeah, the earth, the, you the can found, feel the thing being pounded in. <laughs> yeah, the, the essence of earth, you know, yeah. right? Just mm. gumpa, bro. Mm. My room, right, shook like nothing else. It felt like an earthquake. Mm. You can feel the structure, you know, the reinforced steel, right? It's uh, like shaking. vibrating, you know. Yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. like, holy shit, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Not only that, it affects a lot of the home condition yeah, as well. Cracks, cracks and cracks, everything. Yeah. Very bad. It is severe, man. Yeah. It's not like your neighbor drilling, you know, then you just hear the sound. This one is like in Shake. your bones, you know. 
Then you, are, then you have old residents. Like, by right, they cannot. Ma. By right, they shouldn't develop. Ma. When money comes into play, right? There's no by right, by left, really. Yeah, yeah bro. Got money, no money. Capitalism. What you're going to see is they're going to put like a, a... What's that thing called? The one, huh? Kami Banta. Oh. Pembinaan. So oh. Like, no, no. They all Banta, but no point, right? Yeah, the, so you see... The that. most they can do is just have a space in between there that they call it like a walking path. And then you still can feel the piling one. Bro, piling can feel from fucking far, bro. Yes. You can feel from highway one, bro. I got major concerns on the traffic in the coming years, bro. Yeah. Piling is the Actually, that area, sure. I feel, is very, very bad. Because, right, I don't know whether you you, you feel it now. Mm. Where my office area, you know yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. It's so bad already. Mm. So, they don't even, first of all, don't even talk about potholes now, okay? Mm. Number two, they don't even juggle the parking. You know mm. everybody there double park, and bro. Yeah. Horrible, yeah. horrible place to be. Mm. And then, over there, now when you exit and you go into it, Spooky Jardim, yeah, yeah. right? Wow, bro. The I I legit. You know where I stay, right? Yeah. <coughs> if I go to Mid Valley, uh, it's the same time going Mid Valley uh, to get as to going to Family Mart. You know. Yeah. It's insane. you know where Family Mart is, right? Uh, the, the Family Mart up yeah. there, one near the Cafe Ma yeah, Store yeah, yeah, and yeah. all that. Bro, same time go Mid Valley as today. You know. The traffic is so bad. You don't forget. There's Legacy coming, and then another thing from the Parkson. They bring it down Parkson for another condo. Yeah. I don't know how they plan this, you know. They just whack, 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 you know. So, <laughs> this is when town planning or township development the of, versus the normal individual title one. Yeah. So, when you buy an individual title garden or a condo whatsoever, right? Your jurisdiction is only like there. Yeah. Roads has nothing to do with you. But when you stay in a township. Like strata then? Yeah. So, that's, that's why I just bought a strata project. Oh, congrats. Uh, so, but. I got more control lah. Yeah, and and now the project that I bought, I, I announced on online also, right? Then now it's now got Starbucks really. Wow. Ice cream wow. Robin, Project Grocer already. Wait, is, if you don't mind me asking, which strata? Sorry, and, I didn't watch. Uh, Tropica. Oh. In Bukit Jaya. Tropica, Bukit Jaya. Can you Google that shit? The one opposite the park. The opposite. park is next to Pavilion, right? Uh, then next to it. The golf course, in between golf oh. course and the park. Oh. Mm. Do you know? Was it the last know. the last uh, remaining block? Is it you bought the tropical? No, I bought the first block. You bought the first block. A lot of my co- colleagues, friends, ex colleagues uh. told me that, hey, uh, I heard you moved in. I'm like, yeah, hey, I heard you also moved in. Yeah. Oh, uh. then, I, then I asked my, my friend or colleague, or whatever, hey, where you buy? Oh, I bought Tropica. Uh. Then I was like, oh, why you buy Tropica? In my mind, I'm like, oh, do you watch the uh. Chantan? And then he's like, oh, I bought it because I watch this YouTuber. La. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then I was like, gee, why you watch <laughs> And uh, I bought it. Uh, with the intention of own stay. Is it? Oh. So the whole, the the whole uh, buying this, right, took like 15 minutes only. I walk into the sales gallery. <laughs> I walk into the sales gallery that, and it's so rare that the salesperson don't know me. Wow. Then like, okay. In nice Perfect. Thing, you get the raw expression, raw And then like, okay, I want to get this unit. And then uh, MCO time, they, the, they slash my salary in half. Means that in calculation, because mm. I'm in a high risk uh, right. industry. Mm. So I couldn't qualify for a loan. So I took house keys. Mm. So house keys is like this kind of rent to own kind of schemes. Then I bought the unit and I just closed out. And then my wife is like, you pick units, uh, pick project, uh, pick whatever in 15 minutes. Uh. <laughs> but you did I mean, all your you research. You did the research. Did. Did. Wait, yo, uh, does she watch your YouTube channel? <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not really. La, but, but the whole intention that like, we just go out and buy coffee or whatever. Then like, hey, go in. Uh. Oh. It wasn't really go and buy kind of thing. Oh, I see. Uh, then like, oh, since I'm here, it makes sense now. Okay, let's just get it. La. For all the reasons. So it's, when I unpacked it into six episodes, there were so many things I considered. Meaning like, Such as? because when you buy a property, like the location, mm. how, what is the right location for home in between your in-laws and your family? No? I, True that. I would consider that's the ideal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then it also needs to match your lifestyle. Yes, whether yeah. it's you go bookstore a lot, you go cafe a lot, you yeah. go mama a lot, then it needs to be that kind of location. Uh-huh. Then uh which project? That one like in the whole I think the whole area got like 15, 18 high rises. Mm. Which one? Right. Which one is con- okay? Uh, then like new or old. Then when you okay, I want this project. You want high floor or low floor? Okay. <laughs> you want three bedroom or two bedroom? Mm. Three bedroom and um, three bedroom got two types. You want big Living room or small oh, living the, room? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you want facing the park or you want facing golf course? Uh, then you pick everything. You what kind of loan you want? You want flexi loan, semi flexi loan, or full flexi? <laughs> okay, you want MLTA, MRTA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the whole thing, I unpack everything, right? Then only I know, oh, I just went through a lot of things. In 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, then my wife's like, 
Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you, your wife went, hmm, rare. <laughs> then uh, because of that video, the salesperson actually benefited a lot because I don't want to do deals. Ma. So then everyone goes to the salesperson number and I think she closed a lot of units la, because of my video. Oh, fantastic. Go get commission. No. Very right. proudly, until today, I got zero commission. Very proudly. Why do you say it's proudly? Because if by any uh, commission base, right, regardless what I say in the future, it's biased. Because the end result has benefits for me. Right. So I don't want, I don't ever want that to happen. Mm. So your buy has nothing to do with me. Whether you buy or not. So yeah. when I make videos now, developers pay me to make, but it's for the slot of discussion. There's like gazillion projects, right? Yeah. Why must I put yours up? For discussion. Ah. Mm. So you're actually uh, buying the slot of exposure. True that, la, I think. Mm. Not the- my opinion though. Right, right. Uh, you're right, not right. buying my opinion. That's why not all developers like me, ma, we spoke uh, about this also. Ma. Yeah. So because of that, then everybody buy because of me. But if I were to be business, to have more business sense to it, I would buy it for way cheaper because you guys are going to get so much from so me. So buy buy as the same price that my neighbor buy. Mm-hmm. I'm buying at retail. I should be buying it. I didn't exercise cost. my own rights. I didn't exercise yeah, yeah. my channel yeah, of yeah. connections or whatever. I buy at retail. Then to demonstrate that, now suddenly, whoa, Sean, you foresee, huh? so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's why now I have a problem, kind of a concern. I, I spoke to this, um, I spoke to my wife a lot about this. Like, everyone in the development is going to know our kid. Oh, oh shit. Burrito, bro. Mm, burrito. Uh, everyone is going to know him. <laughs> then like, is it a concern? I don't know. But now the monthly installments and they are going to pay is like, like mm. 1,008 only. But rental there is around 2,008. Oh, eh. shit. So, oh, that's how you posted the beam. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> and then it's like, and I haven't fully furnished yet. Then I work with the makeover guys. I don't need to furnish my own house. I don't have to maintain my own properties. So, all cultivate. Yeah. All cultivate. And profits more. Ah, uh, profits more. Do you feel worried about your kid? I don't know. I, 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 is that's the real answer. I don't know. Yeah. Because I'll now, see la. because now, like when he goes to swimming class, you yeah. know, so then when we meet in malls, then people, people recognize him first. What is oh. it? Yeah. Why? Because he, people follow my Insta. Ma. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. All right. Then, okay. Uh, then we see, <gasps> where is Sean? Yeah. Sean is around like that. Mm. I get very concerned about that too. Like, you know, when your life is on YouTube or on social media and shit. But don't you think? that's two ways to look at it. One, you are so famous, right? It's almost impossible to catch you. Huh? What do you mean? Meaning like, when you are out with somebody, right? Oh my God, John, or whatever, right? Uh, it's very hard to do bad things with you. Right? I, I, I agree, right? But that day I was in gardens. Mm. Okay. Mm. Then I needed to take a shit. Yeah. Good. Okay, it was quite bad, bro. Uh. Like I had a lot of like, but uh. Oh Okay. No. Then, uh, information. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's fine. <laughs> then, right. So, so I was on a roll. A few people have been like, hey, uh, because after the Mahate podcast, a lot of people notice also, mm-hmm. to be fair, mm-hmm. right? Uh. Then, <sighs> I was, I was, no, I have another bottle here. Sorry. Here, come, come, come. Mm. I didn't want to block the, the view. So anyway, I was walking, to, I was going to the toilet and you know, gardens, the mall, right? Mm. You have to go quite to the end yeah, to the yeah, toilet. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was so scared someone would stop me, you know? I was like, hey, John, you're the guy for, I was like, oh my God, I cannot tahan my shit already, bro. <laughs> Just that tell, is the real just concern, tell them, bro. Wait, I need a shit. No, day. I think if I stop right for two seconds, I might shit my pants in the mall. No right? la, again la. So that's the that's, that's the, a that's a fear la, You know, and if you say something wrong uh, uh. like you said uh, you can be held account. Even if okay, so we are all human beings. Mm. You see what what they see on YouTube is the fact that you are a show mm. or like an entertainment yeah. source, but they don't realize that a lot of things that you do can be considered as mistakes. Yeah. Like for example, there was a podcast that I was on mm. with Poige. Mm. Is it the the woman stuff one, is it? Yeah, and I was saying, I think people look at very uh, clickbaity stuff yeah. and they don't really think about perspective. So Be one of them, okay, <laughs> one of them was, this lady was in a, in a parking lot and then one guy asked her where she lived, mm. right? And then she felt very uncomfortable. And then she just passed oh, it you, off. You la. must say it. First, he said, don't mind me. Mm. Uh, but I thought that you were beautiful. Uh, then he, he should have stopped there. Because mm. after that, he asked, uh, where do you live? Mm. Yeah. And then they post. she posted this on Warp, a word of was. And then th- then people are like, oh, this is some sexual harassment shit, la, you know, basically. Mm. But I was like, yeah. how you know? 
how you know whether she said the right story? First of all, how you know whether the mall said the, the right story? We all don't know all this unless there's proof, unless it's CCTV, and then you see that happening and all that shit. If you have that, then all the but how you know? Maybe she just want attention. You yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My 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 consideration here is you should think about it first. You should read the whole article first, mm. and then only you understand. True. But that's what I was saying, bro. People took, mistook that as you don't even care. Uh, women's rights. Mm-mm. Wow, bro. I think Re- one whole weekend. Read the comment. Oh, wow, bro. Damn toxic, you know. Mm. Serious. They're like, wow, I hope your parents die. What this type of shit. Then I'm like, but that's the. Like, like now lately, sh- Gary V has this approach of showing empathy. Like, okay, I think that's level to it. One is you care. Oh my God, now I, my life gone. Like, everyone hate me, like, whatever. Then I walk around and worry people know me, like, right? Uh. <laughs> Second stage is ignorance, really. Whatever. Mm. This is part of my career, part of my life. Let's go with it, mm. right? Next to it is when people say hateful stuff, right? Then you ask why. Oh, then maybe they were brought up differently and all that. Not, right? Just because, like, do you really need attention? Like, why such hateful? Like, is, did it happen to your... Uh, oh, the so that you it's love? coming from a, pl- a place of empathy, like, is what you're yes, saying. Yes, yes, yes. So, like, when... Uh, okay, so that's different. Like, one is hateful, one is just... Uh, ridiculous comments la, yeah. right, like, right, race, like trolling uh, uh, troll, t- t- besides trolls right? when people say what you say is untrue or whatever or whatever. Like, why or because my auntie did the same thing from another property guru he said the same thing so you all guru like that but I'm not mm. then like oh I thought you collect fees no then why are you giving free advice because I love it mm. now then they That's mis- right. for everything now. <gasps> I am sorry. If only everybody was that com- that comfortable with saying sorry, lah. Yeah, actually. yeah. So, yeah, so I, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. So that's the, the mode act- that I'm actually going in. Uh, coming from a place of empathy, lah. Mm-hmm. But quite mm-hmm. quite sad one, eh? It so, is quite sad, man. It so, is quite so sad. Imagine a person who takes so much time, watch all your videos, and make a remark. Because let's face it, like all of us is. Even ourselves don't understand ourselves hundred percent. Yeah, man, that's the thing. Your decision, your decisions change based on your life, you know. Yeah, yeah. Then how do you expect a person to understand and make a comment about you based on a three a second clip? Yeah, man. So when you know that weightage, right? Then you look at the comments with some perspective, really. Ah, uh, then what do they really want? Or what has happened to them to make them uh, say or write this in, type of thing? In things. their job. So like we spoke about this, like the hierarchy of needs. Mm, Maslow's hierarchy of mm. needs, yeah. The first one is- uh, Fire fire? No, it's food, right? Uh, food oh, then Then one. shelter. Food, water, shelter. Uh, that's uh, the base. Yeah, after that is rec- uh, recognition, uh, not recognition, the- No, 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 no. it's- uh, Significance. Uh. Chill la. I mean, Information. Uh, <laughs> chill la, okay, Google. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, it's shelter. No, it's food, water, then shelter, then- Psychological, is it? Love and belonging. Mm. Maybe they don't even have that. Self actualization. That was so, top. Yeah. So that's why, like, there will never be a shot of crime one mm. in the world because that there's this need of being significant to somebody else. Mm. I see. So when I have a gun in your head, I'm significant. I'm the most significant Can person in. Uh, shit, uh. Yeah, you know, so so and yeah. that's that's what Tony Robbins put out. All oh, the, the school shootings and everything, like, that's what he's trying to allude to, is it? Yeah, uh, there, there was a very, very old clip because before all this shooting was happening. Oh, is it? Mm, so the, a lot of people has this need, right, to really be acknowledged. But we have, like, we have YouTube, we have friends and family, <coughs> we, have, we have colleagues or whatever, so a normal yeah. person would get a fair share of it. What if, like, your family is broken, Ralph, don't even talk about it, right? You are just merely in existence. True lah. You already solved the first two lah. So that's why you need that sense of like justification. Hence the the need for likes on Instagram yeah. when you travel to Paris or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then that, that's, why I, that's why I post this thing also. Like, do people dress up and travel and go to fancy places just for likes? Is it crazy to think like that? What if you go, will you go to Paris or Japan or London but not post about it? Oh, bro, I was damn close to doing that, bro. <clears throat> Because it's, I needed to. So, so it's gonna be a clear. It's gonna be a clear clarification of, of you really like it for it. Yeah. Or you just want to show off. Yeah. Or you really like the attention of doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Because I see like okay like obviously I don't dress well. <laughs> I think you dress fine. Enough. Yeah. Uh, but like the amount of comments like Sean, you got no money, man. You know what? I've always seen this comment. Sean, can you just shave a little bit? Why you look so messy and shit? Is like it? That? Yeah. 
just a few in the comments, and I'm like, bro, chill the fuck out, bro. Just what if he like his? Oh, they asked you to shave as well. They asked me to not crack my lips. Wow, fantastic. Oh. Let, me just, only, uh, let me just here. switch that off <laughs> and then I can uncrack it. I didn't right realize now. it was switched on, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's the that's the that's a reality, lah, right? But so people to me, thank you for noticing. That's just how how can uh, you so uncrack like, your lips? Oh Sean, then then there will be people who like can you I don't like him because his lips so crack. Like uh, it affects when I watch it in my phone. <laughs> Hey, really maybe not. he just go OCD. Like some people cannot stand that uh, whole whole tripophobia. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever like, Just listen to me, lah, can ma. Spotify. So, so the that's the whole perspective, right? After doing this for four years, then come to think of it, none of my clips, and not like yours, you know, none of my clips went viral. Bro, God lah. God lah, bro. No, okay. Let's define viral la. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, Hey, like, you've gotten a few clips on mil, right? Say TikTok, yeah. On TikTok, that's like TikTok is like short one minute, ma. Mm-hmm. Okay. But on YouTube, right, for a twenty-five minutes video to be viral is very hard, okay. and it's about property even harder, mm, and yeah, about yeah. Chinese dude who with no equipment. <laughs> we okay la. We crack lips. Ah, uh, yeah, we crack lips, right? <laughs> so, so the 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 in the influx of subscribers is really really organic. Mm. It's really a people. I want to see properties. Like, why must I listen to this guy? Mm-hmm. So so then the depth of knowledge of people right then like now the development of audience is when somebody said something stupid, then other people correct, <laughs> other people whack out him, then like well that's the moment like okay I think I kinda you've achieved that yeah that achieved point. it already mm. where like now I always share the positive remarks that I receive yeah you always in my that, Instagram yeah, uh, yeah. what those what the karangan is very long one eh. I've, uh, there was this recent. Actually, I'm 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 okay with like mm. these type of remarks. I just don't like it when people judge based on appearance. Is it aha oh ho? So, so uh-huh. judging that's two. One is based on like performance, like, like write writing. Uh. I can say shit to you on line one, yeah. but when it really comes to face to face, they right, don't dare one. It's like the dogs behind the gate, you know. Yeah, they yeah, bark yeah, only yeah, one. yeah. So so to me, I just get it like okay, but then there's this another thing like, do you want to keep the negative? Uh, comments for algorithm sake, or you really just want to pure purify the right, right forum. Right. I don't like violence only lah. So recently, I I deleted one guy's comment. Uh, yeah, I share about it. Yeah, so violent, bro. Mm. What did he say? Bro, uh, what? got some parang and she, wait, what? You didn't read that crap? It's quite hardcore, bro. Mm, it was I, a little bit intense. Yeah, and I said you come on podcast, uh, you know, I'll come on your podcast, I'll uh, fuck you up. I mm. I noticed that wow. John deleted the comments. Yeah, like John, it's not safe, bro. Don't delete lah, just. Leave it there, lah. You know. Yeah. So I left it. Yeah. Then you just kept I, on going. I feel like people needs to know that there are these type of people out there. Yeah, bro. That's that's what I'm afraid mm. of the most. You because you don't you, you don't need to be afraid of one hundred people. Mm. You should be afraid of one crazy motherfucker who can mm. take a knife and just because he knows how you look like now, how you sound. Mm. Mm. Lucky we stay as a tapa, lah. <laughs> <laughs> the emphasis, right? <laughs> <laughs> but but that, that's why also like if you know like. Back then, like I quit every year, I throw letter every year, and it's always after one very small matter you quit one. Uh. Every time if you have quit before lah, <clears throat> so when I go out, right, you I will be as kind as possible to everyone mm, because okay. you might not know, right? You if that guy be, is your next employer or employee, you will be the it. next straw to them. Or off. cracking, yeah lah, yeah. They just they break lah. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. suddenly because you just cut him off, right? Oh. Bye bye. He could be a gangster, bro. Yeah, no, he whole day shit really. Yeah. You are the last straw. La. Yeah, man. I yeah, feel, you I feel never know how many straws are left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I like, go out, right? Okay, no matter who am I, right? You are nobody. The worst thing about influencers or KOLs or whoever they call it, right? You think you are bigger than people. Elanja. But actually, all people are capable of doing a lot of things or so mm. on. Yeah. Good or bad. La, you you know. know who am I or not? When the, the matter that you. <laughs> the, the, the fact that you need to say such things, right? You know how many followers I have. Uh? Then like, you think it's a social card? You receive the kind of comments, bro. No, no, no. Oh. So when I go out and hang ah, out. Ah, okay, all right. Uh, so like, because sometimes I go out and hang out, I, like, I really admire David Beckham for oh. lining up for two and a half hours just to pay respect. Yeah, mm. man. In front of the her, right? Everyone's the same. Mm. Right? So like to go that that is the spirit. Like when I go into projects or whatsoever, right? 
I get very weird out when people like, hey, this is a drink. Hey, you want me to get you something? I, I, I get very weird out. Man. Same here, man. I feel that too. Then when too. Like you, a lot of people, like when they reach that level of fame, it's expected. Right. So when it's not met, right? Then Ooh, disappointed. Yeah. And you get all diva and bitchy about it. La. Then you see, very sad. Actually, very, very sad. In the first place, right? Who brought you? Who, who made you there? You know? Te- mm. Technically, you did also. You uh. kind of wrote the the you kind of you kind of put work into the dream you can't wake up from after that mm. you know yeah, so so that's the, the the phenomenon right so like when we go go way back right like my kid i think i'm going to make a decision like maybe after three years old right don't record him lah bro no i'm going to record by his own personal use yeah, i'm not going to put it out so like the face development now baby all baby look the same mama. <laughs> But your, your Says the guy who's like, hey, Sean's kid is here. Sean must be here. <laughs> Every kid looks the same. Yeah, la, your kid looks quite distinct really, right? I think. I'm with him, man. I feel like all kids look the same. Babies look the same, la, okay? Uh. Let's be real. Like, cute baby, ugly baby. No, after two, can see. Two, yeah. I think, can see. So, so after two, then maybe it's like less. Lo. No more like his yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think so too. I damn scared. This t- because kidnapping uh, is one of the things mm-hmm. I'm so scared Yesterday of. Yesterday I saw a video on Facebook. Some dude getting kidnapped in a wildfire. Huh? Yeah, y'all didn't see the clip? No, no man. Are we in the same Facebook? I thought I'm not even on social media 99% of the time. Yeah. So. Because he works for a social media company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, was it a kid or what? No, they were kidnapping some adult. No, what? <laughs> in the middle of the street. Why kidnap an adult? I mean, I didn't know why, but it was live. But people recorded that crap, bro. And so I'm, 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 I'm like, can he not record and just go and help? You know, because those two guys, I don't know whether they got guns or not, or safety or fault. Open a welfare, they started a road, just trying to get this guy inside a welfare. They got him and then they just left. Then some motorbike trying to be a hero. He was chasing and recording the welfare la, in social media. It's always the abang riders, bro. Yeah, it's riders, bro. Quite intense, la, but broad daylight, la, getting kidnapped. God damn. Okay, like not to play, I, I don't know what's the story about, but it's so easy, right? That you just cast the story of that guy being kidnapped. How you know? Maybe uh, it's yeah, a how, pri- how I know maybe he's not being kidnapped, bro? bro? Maybe birthday surprise, bro. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I was thinking that <laughs> maybe it's that guy like did something really bad. Oh. Uy. Yeah, and bro. Maybe owe money, yo. Uh, maybe trying to run away. Yeah. Or uh. he's just like some mental one, then like he, he's very far away from home. He just don't want to go home. Oh, I see, see, I'm I'm the victim of social media right now. Yes. I'm the victim. Yes. Fuck! <laughs> so, so, so this, like, the, the the very famous guy now that used to be famous, like Andrew Tate. Oh yeah, my of course, God. Bro. The whole conversation about it, right? So, Andrew Tate. <laughs> that's Jesus a word Christ. we have not heard for a long time. But the, la- but the last words of his father, I think it's very huh? enlightening. What was, what what was the father say? So the, the, the translation of it is, uh, you, uh, you, you, you should <laughs> let in all this information you should know that they are trying to brainwash you. Yes, and then you create then, your own narrative. Then you narrative. make your own narrative to things. Oh, that's yeah. just like what that's the that's the the same advice my dad gave me like long ago. Because mm. I was like, can't believe the newspaper is really tr- controlled by the government. Yeah. Then he was like, so you're saying your online news is not controlled? Mm. Then I'm like, oh shit, you're right. See, I'm that's an why idiot. <laughs> yeah. So so like that's when you grow as a person yeah that the independent thinking yeah, skills yeah. right like what well, is it necessarily bad when a person slap you it depends i slapped jen young before because he touched my hair i <laughs> know so uh, <laughs> that's a shit reason <laughs> i know i know i know you shouldn't I have know. told the full story at least people got empathy towards you yeah yeah so so that's the narrative law. like then when you think about us behaving like that then when you have you when you play the, the feel on the other side people reacting to what you do and what you say First of all, it's powerful where people react to you. That's good, really, like, in a way, right? Because uh, you, you you kind of created that reaction. Yeah, but just that there's no awareness of the responsibility that comes with it. Bro, I, did you read those violent comments or not? That one, the Mate Pokas one? Uh-huh. Hey, yeah. open now, put it up. Bro, you gotta read or not? Not even I, I read. It's bro. quite intense. It's like, quite hardcore, bro. It, the one that before- I, the I, one, When I read, yeah. I think the comment were in there. What is it? Uh-huh. It's quite death threat level. I think you know? bec- because I, me speaking from experience, a guy, uh, I think- in one of the developments, uh huh, there's the surau that was a bit too loud. Okay. Then the there's this dispute between owners of different races, lah. Okay. Then they were not happy. Mm. Then they tried to hey, can you tone down a little bit? Okay. Oh you my God. Whatever. That's it, lah. Uh, that's it. So that's then it. Uh, my videos were dubbed as viol- uh, uh, enacting violence. Or uh, so whatever, so he put out my video. Then somebody dubbed. The voice over. No way, bro. Uh, then uh, they say something. You datang sini lah. You datang sini. I akan 
panjung you apa 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 then like it's very obvious that, that it's dumb. <laughs> then uh, the, the, there were audiences of mine that they clarify the matter. Mm. This guy, the YouTube link is here. He talks about property. <laughs> it's not the original clip or whatsoever. <laughs> this is a f- clip that was three years ago. They wow. used me just because I was Chinese and in they use it as a uh, tool. Like, you don't go I meet you sini. Uh, kita. They're like, Social media guys. Mm. Just the fact that you said that now, mm. right? They're going to use your voice now to doubt that. Uh. No lah, but <laughs> so, so how do I go against it, right? Is to make uh, kindness louder. It's so difficult to do that when people see negative. People that's the thing, the right? Bad, mm. Just, just, just how And you know, don't, don't you? I don't know whether this is just me, lah, right? Mm. So ah, there we go. every time I see like, every time I see mm. a lot of positive comments, even in person, ah, people say, "Hey, bro, nice video, bro," mm. right? But then, ah, you see one bad comment, ah, the whole day it sticks in your yes. mind. Yes, is it? Yeah, for me, lah, for me, lah. Sure one, ma. Like, did you calculate how many good comments? Yeah, bro. There was one guy uh, who literally said, right, you're changing the podcast industry in Malaysia. Mm. I'm like, I don't think so, but thanks. I think so. <laughs> I personally don't think so, but thanks. I appreciate uh, so the compliment. Uh, uh, uh. But the one comment I remember is this dick face over here. Mm. His name is O. Who said we don't think English is important? Of course, English is important, international especially. After that, he will say some shit like, you know, I will stab you and all that. We but I think him. the fact that we are discussing, uh, I, I refuse to discuss about this now, right? Because giving it, him attention. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Let's la. close this. It, 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 scratches, <laughs> it scratches his itch. Yeah, it's true. La. The fact that I have significance now. Yeah. Like the, these dudes now. Next time he's going to be next shooter or some shit. Uh, right? So he, these dudes now are really, like there was a phase that they don't even uh, say out the name of the convict anymore. Oh person. yeah, that's true. Oh. They it don't say anymore. Really because if I want to do- It gives him attention, fucker. Yeah. Yes. It's, his, it's his fame. La. Uh, so like people now don't even want to bring it out because like, you're doing this for attention mm-hmm. clearly mm-hmm. and I'm not giving you that. <sighs> that's why I celebrate kindness on like a, 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 a small appreciation note. Like, hey, thank you, Sean. Uh, because of you, I'm having a hard time and your work is really motivating. That's what- Oh, I should do that more often. I should screenshot. I should, I should screen. I should screenshot and just share that shit. Uh, I swear to God. Uh, and then like as like, last yesterday when I was at the grab station, then everyone like there was this guy like you look really intense. <laughs> <laughs> just what does that even like, mean? What does that even mean? So I was really intense because I was trying to say thank you to every single comment on YouTube. Oh, 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 oh when okay. I'm free, when right, like wait for the everyone to come up on a plane, I will have like that like, maybe three minutes. Mm. Three minutes I can say thank you to seven people. Yeah. Yeah, I, I reply to every comment. Yeah, same. I so, have to. But yeah, you know, so that's the, think about that, right? That's the main reason like, I'm so pr- really, right? I'm so proud of you guys, you know? Wow, bro. We're talking to who? Gonna us fucking or the audience? Oh, you weren't around it. No, like, I just, <laughs> <laughs> No, because like, <laughs> okay. because during that, the, that, that, that episode that we made, uh, that, uh. that episode that we made, uh, everyone was very, why did you spend so much time with yeah, bro. These gentlemen, that what? How many subscribers they have, huh? Bro, to this date, right? Oh. People still say, "Oh, this guy cursed so much, uh. Uh, Oh, fuck. So you think about it, right? But to me, I said yes to almost everybody. Yeah. But now, now cannot lah because now really got the kid ready, right? But I will say yes to any podcast. So I'm so many podcast first guests. Hey, true, huh? Oh wow! Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perspective, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a first guest to a lot of different podcasts. So whether they fail or not. It's up to them. Uh, yeah, because they don't know how to leverage or they don't know how to build clips, right? So, all right, after the clip, then we spoke about, then he wanted to do, you should do TikTok. You should do this, you should mm. do that. Then, in case you don't believe me, let me do it first. Then all my clip, TikTok clips all on fire, man. Yeah, like, man, do it. It was <laughs> wild. Yeah, and man. Then on Facebook also, until today, it's still trending, like yeah. 200, 200, 208. This is you. excluding the WhatsApp university that is forwarded everywhere, by the way. That one, you cannot track one, you know. It's WhatsApp just app universe. That WhatsApp. one is forwarded a lot or some shit like that, one, uh, right? Forwarded uh, many times. Wow, mm. Forwarded many times. Yeah. That one also a mad one. People yeah. just string record and then send one. Yeah, so with that kind of perspective, right, from 404 to today, People were sitting like, here are 3,000 subs only. You have no clue the effort that is being poured in, man. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, Everybody so, has contributed. And when like I have other uh, podcasts, right, that comes, that like, Sean, can you come to our podcast? Because I think what you say in Yamsa sessions was really dope or whatsoever, right? Z- I oh. don't think it's a one-sided thing. Mm. Like, like it means that this environment needs to be in the right vibe. 
oh, yeah, in the man. right, right mindset. Right, right, right. We can share so many things because frequency clicks. Yeah, yeah man. Mm-hmm. It's the mood also, you know. Don't uh, you think? Uh, there is a setting that needs to yeah. be fit on. Then only you can kind of create Also, that. in terms of mindset, like yeah. the, okay, intellig- intelligence level or IQ level or cultural mm-hmm. relevance, yeah. all those matters when we speak about things. We can speak so, we move from topic to topic, right? <laughs> Damn fast, bro. and everybody's yeah. on par, you know. Yeah, Equest- from horses, bro. <laughs> bro, we literally talk. Yeah. This is supposed to be a property, but we only talk like 10, 20%. Other than that, yeah. it'd be the horses, it's, watchers, it's fun, you know. Man. No, imagine uh, you yeah. went to toilet, yeah, came back, right, and immediately continue. Yeah, it's something you, people take for people as an audience take for granted. Uh, because it's like your mind is actually very tuned in, you know. We are actually, you know, when you plug in, it's like matrix start shit right now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't notice. Then he go and fill up water, come back. Like, oh yeah, I think so too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> so, so the the chemistry, right? Like, uh, I can almost feel the words that you are going to say, kind of thing. Kinda, yeah, 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 kinda, yeah. kinda, kinda, kinda. So that's like, true, let's say true. if you were to play a game, right? You know, I really think that. Then you pause, then let people guess what he's gonna say. I think you guys will all get. What if I did this? What are you gonna do? Ah. Uh, yeah, la. what are you gonna do? I mean, I know lah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna see the injection? Or no? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> <it's not laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so these kind of things, right? Really made the. These are the things that no one talks about. But don't you think it's also a shame, right? That a lot of them are actually want to do that whole guest thing. It's actually temporary fame, also. I, I always feel that because uh, where is your perseverance? A lot of people don't have perseverance, mm. which really, really bugs me. What do you mean? I don't understand. Like get famous guests in, so you oh, leverage on that thing. Okay. They just want it for that one off time one. And then after that, they're like, mm. I so, manage. So the current, I think the current scene of what you guys are doing, right? It's see who has the bigger shot in the studio. Who has the biggest shot? Who, 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 who has the biggest guest in oh, the oh, studio, oh. right? And that is how they determine successful or not. Mm-hmm instead of the quality of conversation. Oh, for sure, man. Right? So, no, it's just a phase. I will see that it's just a phase until you are Joe Rogan, whoever you interview becomes famous. Man. Correct. Yeah, right. bro, it's, it's reverse. The, it's the reverse. reverse, bro. Yeah. <laughs> right? So, so that is the whole different stage. Then, because of what a lot of podcast people are doing, I realized that uh, the politician, the said is going everywhere now. Yeah. He because he realized he felt it this is so much cheaper than all the media buys and you do. Mm-hmm. It's not just that, I think it's the value of convers- the, the quality of conversation yep. you receive from mm-hmm. a podcast versus a short interview yeah. where they ask you like five questions. And yeah. It's all stage and- mm. yeah, yeah, all the PR or not. Yeah. But, but that needs to be controlled mm. because it can go the other way also. Yeah. Right? right? Yes. Then after that is you, I, I start noticing, you know, I notice weird things. Stuff. Everyone gets the guest in, ask the same question instead of having conversations about things that you really want to understand. Yeah, right? and even you get in the most famous Instagrammer, controversial Instagrammer, whoever views are not reflecting it. Oh, you talking it, about Puyi? Yeah, <laughs> but I think that podcast was remarkable. Bro, so Puyi, right? Bro, is god tier intelligence, bro. This I mean, not to yeah. not to relate, but I think like you and her right, have that same fire, you know? Yeah. I feel it, you know. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can be friends though. It's true, it's true. Yeah, bro, true. you know what? You and her should just have a fucking conversation. Yeah. You, you want me to right? hit you up? Bro, oh, I yeah. swear, <laughs> I swear. Like, I think, right, if you all had that same type of conversation because of the fire, right? Yeah. You can feel it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That girl, right, towards the end of the podcast, she was just like lit. She had like a group of like five, uh, six yeah, other yeah, yeah. girls. Yeah. She's like, yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. And then all the girls, like, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> all go fire, uh, you know. And yeah, you yeah. note that during the podcast, she was not feeling well, too. Yeah, she was mm. sick, you know, at that time. It's a little bit under the weather, So. Her, her true fire didn't even show. Yeah, yeah man. It's like the blue fire, and not the, <laughs> <laughs> not the red one. Yeah, so, so with that kind of thing, right, and you look at the views, it's not reflecting. So I noticed that quality of conversations has no correlation to number of views. Mm. It only responds to the what you guys can see, the depth of video consumed, right? Mm, mm. Then, because of that, I was always into celebrating knowledge of developments, like, get all the directors or the GMs or the datos to come to my podcast yeah. to talk about bright stuff. Yes. No one can, unfortunately. But to Is me, I just want to put it out there, la, right? Sure. Just want to mm. just talk about it. But then because of that kind of metric, I decided to invite my own audience. The the, the average Joe. Yeah. And share their experience mm-hmm. of going through this. Mm, I think there is a mixed bag when it comes to this because 
sometimes maybe when you're the CEO and you've reached that level, right, your problems are so different compared to the average Joe. But mm. then the average Joe understands the average Joe. Yeah. So like, you know that Samuel podcast, the mm, bad one, theory, yeah. I found his, his story so like, mm. it's the little things, you know, like, you know, I have to go damn late and like go feed cat. Yeah. You know, uh, this one, I don't even charge. Then you ask me for free to you. I totally understand. Mm. Then there was a, a nurse, Sunita. Her one, uh, her stories are mad, bro. Yeah. But nobody really like watch it. But the people who watch it like, bro, that Sunita podcast is fucking mad, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. unfortunately, like not everyone is at that level yet. Yeah. I'll see yet. yet. Yeah, I think so, so too. Yeah. I think so too. So I think that's why one of the proudest thing that I did last year mm. was being here. Huh? No, not not here lah, but sure. Uh, Figuratively <laughs> speaking, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so it 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 didn't take a lot of my time. Think about think about it. Four hours, right? What the hell is four hours? Yeah, right. Although but to this day, it's still you're still, still a reigning longer. champion, bro. Still yeah. the longest one. MJ though. is like motherfucker. I still want to have that fucking four. <laughs> no, but this, again, uh, you shouldn't look at length, ma. But yeah, the, the, it's the quality. It's the ease of transitioning from topic to, to topic. topic. Yeah, and our. F- then to notice our world really is not that big, man. It's not, man. It's not. Especially that day, you walk by, you call my name, I'm like, who's that? And by, <laughs> and I notice you by voice. Yeah, bro. And you're like, you have a no, you have a unique voice. I'm like, actually, is it, man? I think I sound like Andrew, how you know? Yeah, that's we it? sound the same. So could have no, been me. 50-50 coin no, toss. No. no. Is yeah, it I'm different? difference, bro. This one is a, a bit deeper. I heard like, oi, come on. La. <laughs> <laughs> Drew will never say that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I say something like Soha, you fucking know which time you come out. Uh, yeah. yeah. Huh? Oh, because you couldn't see him. <laughs> Fuck you. No, it was, I was uh, in a warehouse carrying heavy stuff with Raj. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Then after that, Raj went in damn deep because we were looking for something. Uh. Then I was like, oh, I found it, Ray. Wait, Soha, it just fucking come out. <laughs> then after he, wait, then I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> then he's like, I'm going off or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so, so this kind of thing that you do, what you guys are doing, right? It seems so effortless, right? But if you compare, the composure you guys had with the two nam versus the f- ani- the initial episodes, right? You guys oh. grow a lot. The growth amount of growth, right? Bro. In 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 managing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are now it's last time it's like whatever say whatever comes up to my thoughts, uh, right? Uh, uh. No brainer. Now you're actually listening, actually processing what should I ask next? Yeah. And, and when the old conversation is in the flow flow state, mm. when we no longer need to think about what comes out. I don't even know what we spoke already, like the last hour, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Right, we, I don't know. We, we don't know what how, but it's still like, I don't, it's as if I just came out. Bro, you yeah, know yeah, what? Yeah. Jen always asks me this question. It's like, oh, so what you're talking about? I'm like, not sure. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to explain. Man. I don't know. Everything so. under the sun. <laughs> My girlfriend asked me, so I'm like, ah. Oh. I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I think you just My got- My wife will ask, why you can talk so long? Then I'm like, how can I talk so long? Mm. You know, the thing just- Yeah. yeah. But the Tune M1, uh, I feel right. Mm. You know, a, a lot of people celebrated that podcast. Mm. It's like, wow, this is mm. this is peak of peak. But you know, I, I actually felt as if, right, I don't know how to go like higher than Toon M. I, how do you go higher than Toon M? You like, just continue. La, I to guess. me, it's just another... Another guess. Okay, the fact that, to me, I celebrate this. The fact that you went to Toon M uh, to another nobody off the street. Oh, that's, that's worth same. celebrating. Yes. Yeah. Uh, true, I completely agree with you. What, wait, wait, can yeah. you can we can we okay if so it's like M2. so like if I have size I in already then I have bigger mm-hmm. people in right yeah you still anyone like else like hey I want to come also what's your story again not interested oh then I will just like I will just unscrub, unsubscribe and <sighs> screw you yeah that's not the guys that I put in my mm. four hours for but the fact that hey new episodes with ordinary people again with equal amount of respect and conversation. That's true. That's true. Although I couldn't curse in front of Tunem la, I scared la. Ah, I, scared. <laughs> I mean, we were all scared la, bro. Okay. <laughs> but your your perspective is very interesting. I I felt it deep down. Mm. Uh, never quite voiced it out. Mm. That I was like, I, I was also like deep down low key proud that nothing had changed. Yes. You were no different before Tunem and after Tunem. Mm. Yeah, true I, that. I, I true deep that. down felt it. I just didn't voice it out. It was in my thoughts. But your perspective brought it out and I was like, yeah. To be fair, like, Sam did put up a good story. He said, hey bro, I shove my whole arm inside. Yeah, asshole. soul. I'm like, oh, soul. We're coming on this fucking but podcast, bro. That, it is a result <laughs> of you saying yes. Oh, true lah. True. I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It, it can. So a lot of people have this uh, this bubble or this balloon that you keep blow up yourself. Mm. Oh, I'm big now. 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 
but again, they forget what made them big. Yeah, it's true. You it's always I mean? the small other guests that actually, maybe you, I I have, I always say this that mm. although I don't know how you go bigger than Tun M, I also feel as if like Tun M is kind of like that guy that you talk to. Then after that, the normal guests also you can talk to the same way, mm. that thing. So it's indiscriminatory, you know. Yeah, okay, but, but it's very hard because it's the not the person but the culture and the background of background what he's of gone him. through. Yeah, because he is at. 90, bro. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Uh, it's quite wild. Three of you add together, I think. Have over 97. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Seven. Then if you bro, expect still decades him, behind. Yeah, yeah, if you expect him to speak as fast using all the same lingo, right? It's of course impossible. Ma. So yeah. it's not because of him being action or whatsoever. It's just different. Mm. But you guys made it through. Fucker it's, even went through two world wars, you know. You think yeah. About yeah, man. So like the amount of, so that's uh, interesting. And then we are in within the same wavelength. Also interesting. Yeah. So like how to get bigger than Tune M, right? Is for this podcast, right? Let's say that, right? If this podcast really blew up. Mm. So if a person, a normal guy comes to a podcast and be bigger than politicians. You get Joe Rogan. <laughs> no, you need the normal guys. Yeah. So the, yeah. The, 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 the sense of achievement is not marked on who comes to the podcast. It's on the outcome. Of the, of the podcast, true that. It could be that the, the the regular Joe and then that one blows up also it could mm. be quite a thing. That is when like normal people have a lot of stories also. Like why Yam Cha or why other uh, chit chat or whatever podcast where all don't name like that. So they forget that the conversation part is should be the highlight, mm-hmm. not the guest. Mm. It's true like, actually. Yeah. I mean, that's where we initially created this from. Like, yeah. For the conversation. So like when I get in normal people, right, I am blown away. Oh yeah, right. because they don't really have that publicity anyway. Uh. So the stories are not really out there. Uh, so like, I also learned from my mother-in-law, <laughs> the, the need to speak is real. To voice out, you mean? A lot of people, like, if the ASEAN do not give an opinion, they will die. Man. Wow, chill. <laughs> like, like really? Hey, like you have a kid, right? Then your, when you have kids, then your mom, you will know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right? Why you let him do like that? Why you let him he, My kid, we are training him how to eat himself. Yeah. So he starts eating then like, nice or not, nice or not, you want more or not? The mock look. <laughs> nice He's just <laughs> full to the brim. Just like, can you just like, chill. Just let him let enjoy. Him like, yeah. let him, so there's this need to fill up. So when, I, I, I really think that there's an art to conversation when there's silence. Because but, there's always this need to fill up gaps. Man. Yes. So very true. Yeah, as, man. As, an, as a very well attuned introvert, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> right. Yeah. I have, Big problems with that. <laughs> when I go to like a uh, gathering and everything, when it's quiet, uh, I get so yeah uneasy. Yeah, so so the the like, I always test like the level of don't know level of person right level of intellectual when you are feeling comfortable with gaps. Like when I say something right, then like it looks like I want to say something, then another guy immediately wants to fill in. Mm. <laughs> then I know he's not there. <laughs> Cannot be like that, lah, bro. I think it's. I think I'm very 50 50 about this. You, you got what I mean? I 100% get what you mean. So, in African uh, tribal community, right? Uh-huh. Leaders speak last. After accumulating everything. You being what you want to really show off. That's why you want to make a statement. That's why you need to have. Before yeah. I want to say anything, hey, wait, 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 I want to say that thing first. Oh. So, you need that, right? So, okay, I know where you are. So, which level you are in. Mm. To me, it's not entirely that. I just want to put it out there, mm-hmm. la, right? Sometimes saying something is also the act of listening. So example, mm-hmm. if you were to be saying something like A, B, C, D, E, F, then you're like G, then you're like G, right? I'm like, yes. So you're actually just telling the person. Oh, no, the different. And you know so, what I mean? uh, but if it's a whole point, yeah. then you're just being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I have this habit of when people, I need to acknowledge people that I'm listening. Same, same, same. Eye contact, yeah, so little like, I have this like, you know, la, 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 la. Mm. there's this. Mm, right? <laughs> <laughs> then when I listen to myself, I feel like slapping myself. <laughs> Can you stop? Mm, huh? yeah, like, you know, when I buy this property, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> that's, mm. Mm. That's, okay. that's actually something that I explicitly noticed about you in our first round as well as today. Mm. Is it? Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, right. that's why. Yeah, he always says, yeah, 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 yeah. Like to acknowledge that he's heard your point. Oh. Yeah. Do which, I do which, which I, I feel it's actually a good trait generally speaking, mm. most people will appreciate that they are hurt on a subconscious or conscious level. Because I've 
I've encountered by not responding, I move to another point. Imagine. Like you say something interesting, right? Hey, how are you? <laughs> yeah, then you feel so disregarded. <laughs> Bro, I think he be like, did he listen to me? Your face is like, <laughs> oh, shocked. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's hey? this feeler kind of, that no, I, like, I, I, there's no, I, so a lot of people don't see this about me where, you know the Kaizen mentality of all my videos to improve 1% from all. Yeah. Mm. That's I'm, I'm still actively looking at my flaws. Is it a flaw? Is it a personality? Is it interesting? Or how do I change it? Notice one by one. Like, do I tilt the angle a little bit so I look better or mm. a little more <laughs> genuine? Higher. You know, because flaw. if I look too good, it feels fake. Oh, yeah. True, huh? I have this philosophy in my life. I feel that if you are who you are, you automatically will improve also as who you are. So example, right? If I were to always be myself mm. and I curse a lot, I might smoke on the podcast mm-hmm. and whatever, lah, right? So if I were to practice that Kaizen theory, right? Mm. Don't you think the next podcast I'll be like, okay, stop smoking. The next one, stop cursing, stop. But then if you were to go through that whole natural process of progression, I think you would achieve true progression rather than forced pro- progression in yeah. some sense. Yeah. So forced ones, I mean, it, it yields results sometimes, but it doesn't yield natural results. And I think the natural results kind of, it will show to the audience and people can kind of feel that this guy is genuine. I think it needs to, there's two progress, two process to it. One is manufactured first mm. because it's beyond your habits. But you do it long enough really, it becomes natural. Could be also like Cristiano. La, it's like yeah. the, yeah, 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 yeah. So I think like actively, you need to speak slower. Yeah. Then again, this is perspective. I have audiences coming to me, right? Sean, you speak them slow. <laughs> bro, you uh, X2 speed lah, bro. Ask him to put YouTube speed times two. <laughs> he puts 0.5. What? My oh. podcast, you imagine, right? Me, what's the guy's decision? What's the guy's decision? And today, we're going to talk about this. <laughs> and I'm borderline, like, oh, this is how Eminem sounds. Like. <laughs> 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 we're going to talk about properties. <laughs> but you see, I think when people do do that, right? They, they forget that the, the information comes with the pace. Example, lah. <laughs> <coughs> if you were to speed up, like if I cough, mm. you, you, you lose the nuance of, did he really say that as a buddy or as a, because it's already sped up. So you forget that human interaction requires pacing. Mm. So when you speed up, I think you kind of lose. What if that guy just generally listen in fast pace? No, I think he just want information. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. And, and in the nature of my work, it's all information. True, true. But sometimes the way you present, it can be seen yeah. as. Yeah, correct. You say neutrally. Yeah. But the way you say neutrally is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so, so like when I still remember one of the trainings that I went through as an intern last time mm-hmm. changed my entire articulation uh, skill set. Okay. Uh, the trainer told us to to say one to ten. I think this would be beneficial to all the audience. Okay. Say one to ten in ten different tones. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Isn't wow. six, seven, eight same? No la, no, more or less. Mean, it's an example. example. Meaning, oh, okay, okay, no, okay. Meaning when you say uh, certain words together, mm. softly means something. Cool. It like, could be a drag. Also, right? ah, like, let me tell you something. Uh, like in, oh, hey, let me tell you something. Ah, like, so this matters a lot, yes. especially in the corporate world, when meetings are war rooms. Because it's like monotonous if you don't intonate, right? So, so in a meeting room where everyone screams at each other for attention, then do you scream further or do you just sit back? but you need to be presenting well in order to get your bonus. I, I, I think so too. Mm. A lot of presentations now that I see from my juniors are very like but hasty because mm. they just want to get, they're very nervous, like I can tell. Mm. They worry that people find them boring. Uh, so they speed it up, but actually it's a counterintuitive yes. thing. So they sound boring because they, Hey, and then uh, uh, A, right? And then we do this. And then B, right? We do this. So I'm like, you know, you if you slow down and you say A, we do this. It's people remember one, you know. Yeah. Or just, this is going to happen before that we're going to do this and uh, this more. so this is yeah. storytelling methods yes yes, yes, I, yes at least from my corporate experience juniors tend to speak faster or mm. rush through a presentation because they're afraid that people will question them oh mm. I see I so see. it's it's a it, it's a symptom of imposter syndrome mm. <laughs> I, I in my mind I'm faking it yeah I don't deserve what I have whatever if I slow down my presentation you have more room to question me and therefore call out that I am faking it. I yeah, see. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Could be. Could so, be a fear yeah. thing. This one is highly correlated with age. 
and years of experience working. If you but and, and people mature at different rates, lah. So yeah, yeah, you yeah, still true. see forty year olds talking like a fucker, lah, mm. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, trying to impress everyone. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I that that to me is what I observe, lah. <clears throat> But I don't think half the people are aware of it, to be honest. Mm. They do it on a subconscious level. Even they themselves don't know they're doing it. Mm. But I enjoy I enjoy speaking slowly. It's just that I, when I do speak slowly, sometimes I feel like, oh, this guy not paying attention already. <laughs> I better speed up. Then they're like, oh, this guy changed his pace again. <laughs> then you go pay attention to me again. Then I realize sometimes maybe this guy just doesn't want to be spoken to right now. Mm. But it comes with natural cues. La. Yeah, but it also it needs to be read with the context. La. Yeah, yeah. I can't like, speak to Chakoi Tiao people. Like. Oh, 100%. I don't know. People mistake language for communication. Mm. They always mistake this. So I, when I was younger, I used to always believe if you speak a language, you should speak it properly, grammatically, you know, phonetically, everything. But as you grow older, right, if you really in, enforce this rule onto yourself, right, you're never going to get your order right. La. So can we get- A Amber? person that just comment a lot of words on Tudo video. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah. <laughs> but, but, uh. but, it's, I'm, all I'm saying is, this is two-door and you're presenting yourself at that point. La. So yeah. if you're going to sell that price, you better- Do something, of, get a you, you can get a better copywriter than that yeah, copywriter. Yeah. Or at least the person who approved that. <laughs> but what yeah. if that was their intention to get you talking about it? Then I don't think you should position two-door at that position, la, in my opinion. Yeah, but, but again, this is a, back to the point of me being very proud, right? Is this like the fact that so many algorithm we take two toilet breaks? We <laughs> <laughs> he took two toilet breaks, bro. Yeah, I took two. Yeah. So so then we go through all the unnecessary things, right? And everyone, you, the the common traits, right? When I look into videos, I go into the comments first. Uh. Then like, got one is that I bumped into this episode accidentally, and I finished four hours. Yeah, man. And that's that's the very, like how I wish I can achieve that with my guests. Really. But it's so, but it's very topic specific, so it's very different. Mm -hmm. So a, a lot it's, of things, a lot of traits, right? A lot of people don't know about me came from the podcast. It's like a origin story. It's like Wolverine origin. <laughs> it's <laughs> right? like I can I can be as harsh. I can share a lot of different side like perspectives. Uh, and because yeah. I need to look for short videos for TikTok, I need to really listen. Oh, that's why you come to. Yeah. So so that's the fun part about doing my own. Mm. I think like that's the a lot a lot of what uh focus specified podcasts are going through right now. They always have to go through that. Oh, I only can reach a certain level. So, for example, MJ has a viral podcast, mm. and he was interviewing this. Uh, he's the ex CEO of Nokia. So fascinating, you know. And then right in the beginning, the guy was like, "Oh, actually, I study archaeology." I was like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be a fucking good podcast." Mm. Then I listened. I like. I would love to talk about archaeology, but unfortunately, this is a finance podcast. I'm like, mm. oh no! <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, archaeology is so unique, so he dabbled oh. onto mm. it a bit and he said it's unfortunate because if you look at Malaysia as a developing nation, they wouldn't put funds into studying the past because it yeah. focuses on development. Right, right, right. So it's such a shame, right? Because you, you disregard your history for now because you need to develop the country. Yeah. And he said, no choice law, because at that time it wasn't a demand. Mm. I had to move to XYZ and then Nokia. La. So that's, sad, right? That's why you only see fancy as museums in developed true. nations. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. That brought me back, right? <clears throat> How do I go bigger than Toon M? Uh, no, I just be a... Uh, so the quality of the podcast indirectly is from you guys. You guys set the quality of the podcast, yeah. not the guests. Uh, true lah, true lah. We are the constant variable that yeah. you bring. You know, actually, my one of the proudest things I feel right mm. is actually making Tony M laugh because mm. I never seen him laugh in a in the interview setting. What do we say laugh? Uh, I think I say something like, uh, something about his dad. Mm -hmm. I think you would know your dad best. He's like, yeah, I do know my dad best. Then he ha 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 ha. That like, nice. <laughs> 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 because in most interview settings, he's very pressed to the corner. Mm. And prior to the podcast, my dad was like, you're going to grill this guy. Nope. Ask him damn difficult questions. My mom was like, put me to the side. You should. Just be who you are. La. Yeah, just. No, la, she said actually be nice to him. You get more out of it. Trust me. And she's worked with him a couple of times for yeah. events. Ma, so I like, I'll take your advice. It's true. Being nice. It's one of the easiest thing to do. I think opposite or it is. Yeah, no, no. I, I, I think, think being nice is the easiest. Is you it? don't no effort, man. It's like thanks. Hold I the door. I think it, it, it takes effort to be nice. If you're not nice. It, 
<laughs> what? If you're not nice, being nice is hard, right? Hey, true. <laughs> what you tell I me? feel like it takes effort to be nice. But please explain. Please explain. Uh, what so do you like, think like, is like? Uh, this is a social experiment that I run myself very long already. Mm. If there's a Malay, like we go Malay food or mama, right? So mm. Nick, you do funny one, right? Then he will appreciate it way more than uh normal person, right? Then if I go to a Malay restaurant, right? Uh, then like eh, nasi goreng, terima kasih, kak. Mm. You use. BM it says, and to me, Terima Kasih, right? It's very deep. Receive. Uh, receive love. love leh. Terima Kasih. Ka. Oh shit, it's called Receive Love. It is. Yeah. I thought it's just thank you. I, I mean, mean, it's thank you lah, but the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. translation, okay, mm-hmm. the translation. To me, it's damn deep. So like, and they, Terima Kasih. And yeah, they do touch. This, right? uh. Oh yeah, they always do this. Receive ma. So, so before COVID, mm. when I shake hand, I would do this one. Oh. I'm starting to do these details recently though. It's a very Malaysian thing I yeah, feel now. Thank you. Do, do you feel it's a Malaysian thing? Because from the thing? heart line, huh? No, like, <coughs> last time when they salam, they were. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I know, uh, I know. Then they were, I, I got laughed at. Is it? Wow, shit. You got laughed at? Uh. Why? Chill lah, guys. Different. I'm oh. just being different. Just but they don't like, oh, terima kasih. Ah. What that means? Like, I really appreciate what you did. Sai Sadiq was saying something about the thumb pointing thing as well. Mm. You know, if <coughs> in Malay culture, you have to, your thumb is always pointed downwards. So when someone is elderly or more senior and you walks by, you have to bow a little bow bit, bit and your thumb is pointed downwards. That's why it's very rude to point with your index finger in Malay culture. And he was also made fun of in that sense. Yeah. Then I was like, actually, it's okay, ma. It's such a small thing only. Then uh, when you pass through elderly, uh. I bow a little bit. Yeah. So... I, I don't know whether it's this true or not, but there's some practicality reason to it. Lah. If, you're, <laughs> if, you're, if you're huge, right, and the, the uncle or auntie didn't notice you, right, suddenly, oh, they're scared. They're hard to uh, take. Uh, uh, yeah, they actively bow down. Just to, well, I get uh, that all the time. <laughs> not because I'm huge. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> you're your color. Lah. <laughs> you're <not> my color. <laughs> so, next time, so last time, sometimes when I walk, if I see an auntie, I will straight away just smile. I just bow before she, she come close because I don't want her to get scared. But if you, so, this is the weird situation. Do you you smile also wrong? You don't smile also wrong. What to do? Right? Yeah. Right. I don't know what to do. So I just. <laughs> 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 like you just like, Auntie, you just smile at her. And then she's like, "Oh, he's gonna rape me or kill me." Or shit. <laughs> you know, in my neighborhood, I always actively smile at my neighbors when I run because I run in the street. Right? Mm-hmm. Then I will see the same people because I run at the same time. Mm. So every time I smile at them, the first few days they won't lah. But after that, they recognize ma. You, you know this. This is a tactic to get girls also. Huh? Meaning you say hi, say good morning, say good morning for seven days. Is this a, is this a movie? Oh, then you like, then oh, the I thought you were Sarah. Uh, that's the, that, that's, a, that's is a that the, Is that the thing? Who, who's Sarah? <laughs> Wait, I thought, that's exactly. the point. I, I that's know the which point. clip you're talking about. I know which clip you're talking about. Is that what you're mentioning? Then, we, we, then the eighth day you don't. Yeah. Oh, 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 then she wonders why. Then like, eh, then she re- reverted. Then you know this girl is interested actually. Oh. I, c- I can't try it anymore. I can't back, to the, back to the ritualism <laughs> topic the last time we had. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, right? We fall into habits very quickly. But every day, oh, that guy will run, that guy will run, that mm-hmm. guy will run. Suddenly, eh? Why did he run? Then for a week, already, eh, you know, then they ask Tan, but you know that guy that run, right? What happened? Nah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then until the next time you run again, oh, then suddenly right? he like, eh, I know you. Yeah, You're the yeah. guy that run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I yeah. know I 100%. Uh, but I, I was thinking of a different technique. It's mm. the, you smile every time and then after that, you just go there. Smile. No, no, no. Then you go to her like, hi, Sarah. And she's like, I'm not Sarah. Oh shit, I thought you were Sarah. Oh, the and then she starts to wonder. So same principle, same it's method, it's la, But I saw that shit as well. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking toxic traits. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but I do smile. I actively do smile because I, uh, I was talking to you know the JJ the Hits FM. Uh, yeah. He also said you should practice kindness. So ever since then, uh, I mean even before la, mm. I was trying to actively practice kindness. Mm. Right. So every morning when I run and all that, I just smile lor. And actually, there was this guy who used to cut grass on the way. In, I think Happy Garden or some shit. Mm. Then after that, I didn't see him. Yeah, quite. I think I was now. Now I've been wondering, like, is he sick? Ah? Mm. How come I haven't seen him so long? Eh? You know. But he is one of the first few that smile, and I feel like it's something people don't practice here because I think it's Malaysia. But mm. if you do, I think it will change the culture, la. Don't you Slowly, think? Lo, one by one. All right, guys. Mm. I gotta make a quick move. Huh? Because so my, fast, my client asked me if I come can come real soon at three o'clock. Oh shit. Yeah. No, because I have an annual dinner after this to host. Where? Uh, Concord Hotel. Where's Concord Hotel? I just know. The that <laughs> no, there's, there's two Concord. I think one is Shah Alam. Uh, one. Not the Shah Alam one. Uh, it's the other. Why are you so reactive? Because yeah. <laughs> 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 it's Shah Alam. Because Shah Alam, it's quite a distance. Yeah, so I have, fine, to, yeah. I have to make a move right now. So, so sorry. Yeah, so okay. sorry, man. Okay, go to I thought I could chill here until 3, man. What time? What's the time? 
226. Uh, you guys forget today? He no, no, nearly no, no. forget the time is 11 today. Because normally it's in the evening. Yeah. Yeah, so instinctually I thought, oh, 3 p.m. around there, Jala. Mm-hmm. Then I woke up at 9 a.m. Then I saw my calendar, as I always do. First thing I want to check my calendar. Then I saw 11 a.m. I'm like, mm, good timing. <laughs> Didn't use that alarm. Hey, yo. Do you, then do you all notice the guest performance on 11 or 3? The guest? Ah, yes. There is a different type of. Uh, I feel in the evening slash night, People are a little bit more relaxed, mm. generally speaking. Uh, yeah, in the morning, it's a bit like a bit drowsy, a bit energy levels quite low. Mm. That sort of pattern. You should, I mean, I know it's you got family, and then also everybody here's got commitments. Mm. Uh, mm. But I swear, man, if you come by uh, mm. for a nine pm, uh, oh god, dear. Yeah, bro. Night time is the best. Do you drink? I I I used to. Uh. I stopped because I cannot afford the downtime. Even if it's like uh, a, just one drink, cannot. Better not lah. So I have this one. It's either I go or I chill away. <laughs> you zero or hundred lah. Ah, yeah, zero or hundred. Hi, uh, what? I don't, I don't, to be honest, I don't drink as well, mm. but I can enjoy one drink. And Chalk can attest to this mm. because uh, he comes over, then we have a gin and tonic. Mm. But after one, I'm like, bro, I cannot already. Mm. Because I know I, I, it will affect my productivity yeah. after that lah. Yeah. So I always have just one drink. But if you come by at a 9 mm. p.m. time, just yeah. let us know when. Actually, bro. I think, I, I thought it's like either I do it 9 p.m., 10 o'clock? Do I sleep at 3? <laughs> <laughs> bro, if you're coming on this podcast at 9 p.m., you're not sleeping at 3. Huh. You're gonna, we are going to finish the podcast at 3, bro. <laughs> yeah, but easy. It's, it's normal. Like, so that when you see, like, uh, like lately, I reluctantly share some of the... Because a lot of people think that it's easy. It's not. Right? Then when I start editing videos, I post people like, we're at 4 o'clock. Right. Wow. So you wake up so early. Uh? I haven't sleep yet, bro. Mm. Then, then at 6, at 7, I'm playing with my kid already. Oh my god, dude! But you know, I w- I was reading about this because I feel I have the same ability to not sleep so much. Mm. I can do it. I, I I know I can do it. I work in events, ma. Yeah. There, there are times where I don't sleep for two days. I mean, it's necessary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Job needs to be done. Lor. What mm. to do, right? Uh, maybe I catch like fifteen minutes. Then no choice. I have to continue. But but this is not forceful. Like like whenever I, t- I feel tired, I can just go and sleep. But you can maintain the whole way. Uh. Yeah. I, I so, this, so this is like the, again we speak about energy management mm, mm. I can just cruise around a, a non important meeting <laughs> for three hours <laughs> right just like cruise around as an autopilot let it be but when it comes to certain decisions you need to be 100% in yeah then your mind turns right. on no? yeah and then uh, I realised that if you do weightlifting you can focus more I think so too man or at least uh, resistance uh, so so when you now. do like running for three hours, right? You actually the other opposite. You need to be as effortless as possible for three hours. Mm. Ah, right? I see. Whereas when you're lifting, you need that burst of yes. you need focus. That burst of focus for yes. then it's how long. So when I do CrossFit, then it's now like how long can you sustain that intensity? Right, 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 right. Uh, then like after you do that's why if without working out, right? A lot of people you so tired really still go work out. Actually, I work out only. I don't feel so tired. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. it's true. It's the same for me. But when I wake up in the morning, I need to work out on. I cannot, I need to find something mm. to like, it's either lifting, I go for a run, I go on a bike or whatever. La. I need to do it because I feel that I, I am not sharp, you know, if I don't do it. I don't know whether it's the same for you. Like yeah. If you miss a workout, do you feel like less sharp? Uh, I don't, okay, when I miss a workout, meaning I'm shooting somewhere else. La. And my shooting involves a lot of physical activities. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. So it's as equal. So the worst thing to have is when I have a very important shooting tomorrow. <coughs> Today we do very, very heavy liftings. Then GG. Uh, then I my say. camera angle is all shaking. <laughs> 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 I, I, I feel like I need to do it in the morning now. I've mm. developed the habit since like 2018. So 17, I have to wake up and then I just do something. Now uh, I feel that like if I don't do it, uh, even now Jen will look at me and be like, hey, you go and work out first before we go. I don't want to deal with your fucking mood the whole day. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. Yeah, now it's almost like borderline addiction. Mm. But I was listening to Joe, Joe Rogan this, I think yesterday or this morning, I forgot. And he was saying about how some people right, can really do that, that whole like two, three hours sleep and then continue the whole day. It's quite genetic, you know? I think it's, oh. it's, bit, it's not like, a lot of people think like, oh, this person doesn't want to prove a point. Or this person doesn't want to show right. people that like he works really hard. Mm. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's just like, 
the fact that I'm willing to work until four, then wake up at six with my family, then after I send, drop him off the gig, daycare or whatsoever, then I start working again really. I, I look forward. You're excited to do it, to right? edit my video and I, it's either like, oh, stop here. Ah, yeah, since the flow is there, right? Just continue. Just continue lor, because it will be smarter of spending these two hours or tomorrow morning I wake up, then I'm like drowsy, drowsy. Then I spend eight hours to do two hours. Effort. Right, right, right. And you break the flow <coughs> yeah. of the edit, don't you think? Like once you stop, you forget what the feeling was of yeah. the objective of editing the video. Yeah, 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 then you yeah. have to recover back that, oh, you tell you my fun. Huh? Yeah, so, so mm, then after the, again, after this episode, all of, I get a lot of heat. Huh? Meaning a lot of people, hey, Sean is promoting uh, unhealthy work ethics. <laughs> <laughs> wow, like that. You, you think everybody is like you, you can burn out, people burn out because of you, of practicing this. You need to love yourself like, <laughs> you need to love yourself. Then, then I, I, I took it really seriously. Then I think it's when the end result of your effort, you have no ownership about it, then don't. Mm. Don't work this intense for a salary. Why? Right? But mm. I, I get 100% benefits from all my efforts. Or no? Yeah, yeah. There's no employer taking a huge cut out of it. Like. Yeah. So to me, I 100% of the beneficiary of what all my efforts are. And it's cumulative over time. If I get one subscriber a day, cool. A month got 30 subscribers. A year, I got how many? No, 360 subscribers. No? Mm. It's cumulative. And it only gets better. Mm -hmm. you know, but when you are an editor for me, your <coughs> video gets me subscribers. And I'm pushing you, then you are like borderline burnout. Yeah, lo. I would suggest you to either go somewhere else or it's about happiness like that happiness index a lot of people don't yeah, see yeah, that yeah. Uh, that I can work really hard because I am guarantee all the benefits will come to me and the amount you know, yeah so like the, the again about the growth right I look at you guys growth it kind of me being very competitive lah. <laughs> well you guys growing when you look at so I look I, know, I don't look at numbers like 3000 or whatever I look at percentage Oh, uh, ratio, uh, ratio. Percentage growth. Uh. Uh. So in our case, it you was guys what? almost 10x really. 8x. 8x, la. 8X la, yeah. From 8X. 400 to, 300, uh. to 3k. La. Oh, in terms of uh. growth from 400. I'm not there. Le. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I gotta chill, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so like, oh, uh, then what am I not doing right? So I'll start going this route. What can I improve better? What can I do more? Do I need a tune episode or do I need whatever? Then like, ding, 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 ding. okay. Then I start getting audience in. Actually, I think mm. it's a it's a <laughs> it's, <laughs> you're, you're a goddamn monster, <laughs> la, Sean. What Actually, I shit? think uh, it's a it's a search term thing. Yeah, I think it's a search term thing because if you look at oh, I, I I you, you shared it in one of the podcasts that also invited me. In the let's get it uh, 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 and they, they reached out to me. So so that podcast will explode, and I know when's that gonna happen. It's gonna be like when Kobe Bryant was not around. All his end, uh, mm. that is the moment, uh. See, right? You get what I mean? I, I, I absolutely. Uh, oh, okay. Let's let's not hope that to be happening soon, uh, right? But unfortunately, so when search term, so that's the entire success of Google. Uh, that's why I, I know I know what you're alluded to, and you don't want to say it publicly, mm. but it's just because I know eventually everybody passes away. Yeah, and when that becomes a search term, it becomes a search term, lah. Mm. Yeah, lah. But. To me personally, I don't know about the rest. Uh. To me personally, I just felt as if like in my life, I never got to speak to someone who has gone through mm. first of all two world wars and then mm. after a person who has has become prime minister and not only once or twice. It's quite out there. So, so the people don't see this like that because a lot of people not have because of the YouTube channel, it indirectly gives you a license to speak to whoever you want. I, that's actually what Andrew and I feel right now. <clears throat> like a lot of people ask how much you earn from the podcast. Mm. Actually, don't really earn much, but fortunately we have the Patreon members and everything, mm. la, right? They pay for rent, they pay for equipment and stuff yeah. like that. And we're appreciative of it. But actually, right, if you really think about it, la, can you really speak to Toon M for lunch? Mm. Over lunch, you're like, hey Toon, can we go talk? He won't, he won't do it. Everybody has a motive and everybody yeah. wants to achieve something. So mm. you're right. It is a platform where they get something out of it and mm. they can talk to you. Yeah. It's already a blessing. So it's like when when you guys send out formal letters, right? Just because you have a channel, I must talk to you. 
or just because you have a channel, I might talk to you. A normal person, I want to talk to you. No might also. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely no chance. So so because of this, right, I will see this as a superpower. You see you <laughs> superpower. As a as a current form of superpower. La. You have first dips on people that you want to interview. It's currency in a way, you know. Yeah. It's like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can make people want to come here. Which goes back to your question, right? Maybe it's the whole like, do you know how many followers I have? You know, people can grow to that point. So you should mm. never forget that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just an opportunity for you to speak to people. So when I, so it's uh so I think you guys will need then balance who you want to speak to versus the benefits it brings and the up. yeah and the entertainment value that it brings to the audience. It is it's also strange because sometimes the name can be very big, but the person's not a good speaker or mm. not a good conversationalist, which can be quite a challenge. Yeah. Like I think the, the Tun M one in the beginning, it was quite difficult because you can see that his shields are mm-hmm. up and all that. But eventually, you know, he warms up and yeah. I think that's the benefit too. So that highly depends on the skill sets of the yeah. interviewers. Yeah. yeah, that's right. We spent like so three days. We took, we took 30 minutes uh, before he mm. he actually warmed up. So if, an, if it's a very experienced one, maybe some ice breaking. Yeah. That's when real ice breaking conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not fake ones are like, what's, yeah, your, what's yeah. your pet's name and shit. Like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so when you go into like, a, a very uh, memorable interviewer is Jamie Foxx again. Jamie Foxx? Uh? Uh, when he asked around like The Rock, he asked around like Denzel Washington. Jamie Foxx, he did that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was oh. a period that he interviews people. Holy shit, wait, wow. can you Google that? I know he, he was on Joe Rogan and he was a damn good guest. Yeah, yeah. So then he, the way he, hey, can you share that story of uh, whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. He does do can that. Can you tell us that what, what, like, instead of how is your, so that, that normal phrase right, becomes like. An it, opportunity for you. Yeah. To, it, it's to, it's, to it's a science though. Really, really. So like, this one, this, this episode is not, not bad. The the one with Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, the one with uh, Michael B. Jordan. Oh shit, he spoke to Michael B. Jordan too. Mm-hmm. So he they talk about like how men becomes uh, young men becomes men, adult men and all this Ooh, kind of thing. Transitionary. Yeah, so definitely watching that shit. Michael B. Jordan loves anime also, that's why. Mm. Like, holy shit. Then uh now is when my wife and daddy was a pop. Uh. You say you edit videos lah, but there's always podcasts in the background. Right? Huh? Oh, because you're listening while they think. <laughs> no way. How do you do that, man? I don't know. So I can edit videos and I have you guys at the background. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks. Then yeah, suddenly got Yi Heng. Boss, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about again? <laughs> Horse, okay. <laughs> then when the, the Miss Pui one and so, like when my name pop up when the intensity. Yeah, yeah. The amount of fire intensity, I think Yi Heng also around there. Like, then like. Yeah, man. Uh, because there, there was no. In- so whenever she shared, then. So this also gives me like, if I were to listen on audio, the expectation of appearance versus actual. It's, doesn't really tell you sometimes when you gotta. You yeah, gotta, so, yeah. so the whole uh, MC world of radio DJs back then, right? Like your voice gotta sound like, but then the actual guy, you so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> so skinny. I think that was Ginny Boy's story, right? He was saying how your people on radio are just not good looking people, but mm. they are good, you have a good voice. But then now it's the reverse. You. Mm. The podcast has now become like a deviation. So it becomes video and audio. Yeah, yeah. 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 So somewhat you have to maintain. But I think it's quite, people are getting accustomed to the whole, you respect for people, how you look like. La. It's mm. less now compared yeah. to last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Last time you judge, you're skinny also judge, fat also judge, muscular also. You cannot be anybody. Yeah. Like, you know. Last but, time very harsh. But yeah. it's a different thing though. Like, like to me, again, I'm from a very kiasu person <laughs> perspective, la, right? One of the easiest way to just uh, improve yourself uh, in terms of appearance, like, yeah, like, looks I cannot, like, but hair I can change. Physics I can change, mm. right? Strength I can change. Posture I can change. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right? But there's always this debate last time, I always joke around, but it might sound offensive, like a lot of uh, plump people or overweight people, they want to look cool, what they do? Easiest one, they go dye their hair, have piercings, have tattoo. Mm. It's easier than just go and lift weights for a year. And eat healthy, huh? Uh. So they want to. So instead of putting on uh three thousand, five thousand t-shirts, right, worth ringgit t-shirts, right, you can just spend that on the PT and work your yeah, face yeah, off yeah. for one year. Yep. Normal t-shirts from Pasamala is going to look as good. Might even be better. Yeah. Might be better without a shirt after that. Yeah. <laughs> so so to this is a very like all the people then uh, yeah all the people yeah you're body shaming but to me this is my. 
uh, expectation for myself. Yeah. So I was 100 kg. You were 100 kg? Uh? Last December. No kidding, bro. Wow. Serious? Uh? Uh, then after Chinese New Year, <clears throat> I get a PT, then I made a decision. Okay, let's be fit. I think I'm slacking. Last year, you know, you, okay, you, you guys know, know the full story already. Right? Yeah. So I've always, like, okay, what can I improve further? Okay, my physical, okay, that has always been the mark that cannot be checked yeah. every year. Let's do something about it, spend money on it. Then I get a PT, I'm still training in my gym. So they fix everything. Now I'm uh, 15 kg lighter, so I'm now 85. Holy, Holy crap. 15%, man, that's a lot. Mm. But it's also because your muscle, actually by right, you I lost, lost yeah. way more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So the all of it, then like in terms of appearances, like all the people, as much as you say people shouldn't care, they it do. matters. Yeah, yeah, that's how you pick phone colors. <laughs> I don't, I don't pick the phone colors. Most, uh. most people do. Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, appearances matter. What? Your 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 visual animals. Whether if you, you say don't matter, matter, colors don't matter. You know. I mean, they do lah, but not phone lah. <laughs> all the people buy because it's purple. Is it? 14 Pro. New color, green. Wow. It's a, it's, yeah, but technically that one is to show that you got the newest spec from far away. You know, that, that it's like a color spec. But I get what you're saying. Yeah, the appearances it, do matter. Yeah, so just that it's not politically appropriate to mention. I yeah. don't judge you. Yeah. It's also people people want a shortcut, ma, right? That's why they buy the 3,000, 4,000 ringgit yeah. shirts. That's why they, they feel like it's the magical pill that can yeah. change everything. So, so if I were to leave for the audience listening, right? I wish everyone would understand that 30,000 back is not going to make you look good, man. You still going to look like Ross Mark. <laughs> yeah, we have, we have her <laughs> as a perfect example. Imagine yeah, she spent all that money on, uh, has on, a, on wellness, on nutrition. She on, would have looked so different. And by looking really good, anything you wear also would look good. Then people would like, when you say you are guilty, really, man? Yeah, actually yeah. it's true. Holy crap. Holy crap, you're right. You get what I mean? I get what hundred percent. I get what you mean, but it's it's. A, I think it's in Malaysia, lah. Okay, I think it's culturally very difficult to go out of that food element. Mm. And I I don't know whether yes. it's just me, ah. Yes. But when I look at it in the mall, actually I see more overweight people now. Malaysia is one of the highest in Southeast Asia. We're number one. Uh. We're number one in Southeast Asia, and I'm just like, damn, man. Actually, it's quite bad, right? Yeah. But when you look at the dietary intake throughout the day, right, it's always. Let's say in the morning, right? The typical person would have rice or noodles. Oh, the, this one I did. Because last time I used to sell supplements. Uh -huh. So the pitch is, what kind of food you eat? Uh, roti, nasi lemak, or chakwiti only? Ma? Your standard yeah. <laughs> Malaysian. Sugar uh. as fuck. Yeah, so right. it's all carbo, sugar, fats. Yeah. Right? No, protein also is like a slice of egg uh, or some uh, shit. A slice like of that. egg. Uh, yeah. Chakwiti <laughs> that few sea ham. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and roti, because nothing. Like roti yeah. telur, maybe. Oh. oh, you want fiber, roti, telo, bawang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite trash, you uh, know. But then I, the more I sell last time, like, when I sell then after I'm not selling anything, to look back, it's about budget. Eating healthy is really expensive. Actually, yeah. uh, I beg to defer away now. I, so, unless you cook yourself. Uh, so which you is can why only, I've been doing you it. You can only cook yourself when you have time. Mm. Imagine a person- That doesn't have the time. Uh, for like works in a retail 10 to 10. You see what me to cook, uh, bro? That's what I had to do, lo. Because I I count I checked, my local kai fan right is about twelve ringgit now, you know, mm. for the portion I used to have. Yeah. Then I like the kai fan is twelve bucks, man. Yeah, I know. Cheat size one fifty, bro. Yeah, it's quite bad, lah. Kai fan twelve, no lah. No, okay. So my normal order is chasu siu yo. No, oh, sorry, kai okay. kai yo fan, and then I get ka de chong, which is uh, the uh, intestines. I see, I see, I see. Okay. So uh. it accumulates to twelve, and now I'm thinking to myself, twelve ringgit. I go to the Jaya Grocer, I check all the ingredients what I want to make. So let's say I want to make soba salad or some shit like that. Bro, it's eight. It's mm. eight or nine. Ten also if I'm baller, you know, I add like octopus. Yeah. And I cook for three people. My mom, myself and Jen. Mm. I calculated, I'm like, it doesn't make sense anymore. So right, I think the transition point, right, is like what you said. How do you now save the time? So you have to hire a mate. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to see why my parents did it also. You know, it makes a lot of sense because, okay, so I counted also throughout the week and I was having a discussion with my friends, right? I asked them, oh, where you have for dinner? So I, I grabbed. Then I was like, oh, expensive, man. Yeah, and I asked, I was curious. I'm like, how much you spend on grab a month, uh, bro? 3K. I'm like, huh? <laughs> 3K? How you spend 3K, bro? Mm. Then another friend of mine was like, I spend 1.5. Uh. I'm like, <laughs> then I asked another, my friend, then proud, 500. 
Mm. I'm like 500. Then like, John, how about you? Bro, eight ringgit. Because <laughs> I thought I had to deliver something and then I use my Grab voucher. I'm like, oh, fantastic. Uh, Bought a drink or something. Uh, I, I hate to use Grab, to be fair. Mm. But then I was thinking, okay, so why they order Grab a lot? I said, why you order? I ordered dinner. Mm. And then I realized my family cooks dinner three times a week. Yeah. So I only eat out maybe like three times a week. It's also three, three, lah, right? Then the last day, I don't know. I figure it out. But basically, right, I have a system, right, where it cooks for me and I just go there and eat. Mm. I mean, arguably, it's not the best food, but sometimes it can be the best food. Mm. But after a long while, you appreciate it. And then I like, wow, you yeah, need man. to have a midway. Like, like these kind of things are so underrated. Yeah. Like after I have a kid, right? Taking care of the kid is the least challenging task. Is it? Is the washing of stuff, the cooking of stuff, yeah. the prepping the milk. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the menial tasks, the, the, the washing the clothes, put out the clothes, to do that while taking care of the kid to make sure that he's alive. Mm. Right, that's challenging. Yeah, man. Yeah, so man. when the baby is awake, you need to play with him, entertain him until he sleeps. Then when he sleeps, you need to do all this. Better do it quietly so you don't wake him up, man. Yeah. Then when he wakes up again, ah, then everyone need, and everything needs to stop. Mm. You know, so, so that is the tough one. Not if you have a helper, oh, that solves a lot of things. It does. So if it does. You, to me, like to play with a kid, right? How is that stressful? It, to me, it's like one of the best thing ever. And like now he can picks up words. Oh, is it? Right, yeah. read, like now going through English words. Yeah, yeah I saw your story. <laughs> it's cute, la, seriously. I you know, you, uh, don't know, house. House. <laughs> <laughs> and he's obsessed with underwater creatures right now. Oh. He can tell manta ray, he can tell Whoa. dolphin. That's damn crazy. Yeah. So then again, right, by being a father, I'm always sparked by his growth level. It's so fast. You should be competing with him, not a Yamcha, bro. Same lah, so <laughs> he's X one hundred at nah. this point. So so after I win you guys today, I don't compare anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but but when I look at him, then like the amount of effort that parents like, okay, I, we keep speaking to him, singing songs, then learning English, uh-huh. and then he starts speaking. Now now read book, five o'clock a.m. I just like three o'clock I will slap then wake up. Read book, read book. <laughs> he's like nineteen months, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then okay lah, going out and read books, huh? read books really. Then you, then that's when I, it struck me. It, when's the last time we really grew a knowledge to ourselves? Wow, when I talk to you lah, I guess <laughs> <laughs> that certainly helps. Actually, no. When I talk to every guest, I want to rephrase that. Every time I talk to someone lah, then I learn lah. It's it's actually one of the pulling points. Yeah, because you wouldn't know much. So so a lot of people don't. So if a normal person, unfortunately, you don't have the license to interview everybody. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah you are doing them a service. It's true. Right? So, like to me, yes, last year, okay, it was NFT. Mm. Yep. And I was competing with myself. By end of the year, I will need to do something that I am satisfied with in terms of achievement level. <clears throat> then it was like December already. Then what I did is I go, in, go into some Mandarin podcast and I announced it before I had any idea what was it. Oh, oh you, you hold yourself it. accountable. Uh. Which is good, actually. Sometimes people, you got you got jump before you. Then all the people like, no one really noticed it also. Oh. So that's the thing. So like for me, it was it's, this is an annual thing. Oh, you try to do something that is... Uh, like before my birthday, <coughs> something great gotta happen. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> something great gonna happen, son. <laughs> yeah, so, so I need to really... like that, That's how I... Got, without that burst of excitement or adrenaline to make something happen, right? Like a, it might be a leap of job uh, or yeah, my yeah. chain start like, something new, right? Or new interest or whatsoever. Like when I get into watches, uh. in in three weeks time, I can, I, the amount of, okay, like me and being my kiasu self again, I consume so much, right? And I walk into a watch shop, right? I could, in, instantly I knew what the guy was talking about. Then only I got into the intrinsic things, meaning like the dealership, mm. the relationship with customers. The this, industry in a way. La, and yeah. the sensitive topics kind of thing. Then you start to notice and with the background knowledge, you can connect the dots. Yeah. Then how do you shortcut around it? I went in into a Rolex store, right? Quite naive. Mm. I, kn- I know of the stories of how a lot of them have to go through. Yeah. Like, Example, like what you were saying before the podcast started, right? How a lot of people go in, I want to buy a Rolex. Mm. Oh, is it? Cannot, because don't have. Mm. They fuck off, lah, right? And I never like predicted how you would be treated when you enter a, a store. 
Mm. And I always have this like, shouldn't judge people, shouldn't judge people, shouldn't judge people. So right, I even did this like self-test where I walk in, right, with my Apple Watch. Mm. Wow, I tell you, the treatment you get is rubbish, bro. <laughs> you know, they'll think this guy is a piece of shit, whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever. Moment I walk in, right, with just a regular watch. Again, I can walk in my Timex also. Mm. There's a slight change in the, the mood already, one. Right, even when I walk in with no watch, I feel people hate the Apple Watch one. Mm. When you go in, then I started to notice all these things, and then Winky was like, "Dude, you should have told me, right? You're going relax. Mm. You should have prep you." Yeah, they were quite rude, man. I feel. But you gotta think <clears throat> like rude is when you got like on your receiving end, right? But from that person's point of view, eh, on a daily basis, maybe one hundred people come in. Mm. I want the submarine. Yeah. I want the Daytona. Yeah. I got cash. I got 40,000. Everyone else does. Yeah. And after I'm getting into this world, right, the awareness of gap in wealth, right? Oof. It's quite large, man. The person's watch on the wrist uh, is more than a person's property. Uh. The day I was in, like, you talk about six, 12 bucks chicken rice, right? Yeah. In my office in Monkara, two person, we had 70 bucks. Oh. You think what? What the fuck? No rice, uh, just meat. Uh. Two rice. Uh. Then uh, 70 bucks, you know. Then like, okay, la, whatever, right? But then you look in, then next to it, there was a guy wearing a Richard Mill. Oh, oh my zero God. 035-11. We're going to pull that up so that people can see. Uh, then, uh, Richard Mill, sorry. Zero, zero 035-11. Yeah. I feel like Richard Mill watches look so so complicated. So when you get into this, right, then you start understanding them. Like I just tell people, hey, you know that watch there. I know the gas that I was. I think 2.8. Yeah, 2.8 what? <laughs> but, but, but. <laughs> Rupiah. <laughs> that is the gap. Like people don't yeah. know that that piece of thing, right, is worth your entire asset is it's your net worth, bro. It's just a watch to him. To tell the time. Mm. Then I tell it, oh. No wonder your chas you see your guy. 70, 70 bro. Bucks, uh. That's why it's 70, him la, is bro. Like nothing, bro. Nothing, seven, 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 seven cents. Then when I get into the circle, then you see people struggling outside to make ends meet. Yeah. Then you see people now, oh my God, says every day. It's a norm, right? Yeah. Do you feel it's a norm? Yeah. I swear, man. I'm like, you know, Omar Gassi used to be like a once every five years, then you treat yourself. It's oh. a birthday thing. Always oh. like, it's, then like TGI Fridays or the chilies. Chili chilies yeah. uh, like it used always to be a, a celebratory thing. Uh, then like, I noticed me progressing that way. So now I'm having chilies every weekend. Oh shit, you are in that, 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 that segment now, bro. Because, my, the, because the baby seat is awesome. It's a timber, very heavy. Then my kid can sit there. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the one of the first restaurants that he can quietly sit and eat. Oh, he enjoys the corn. He enjoys the yeah, yeah, fries yeah, yeah. and the pasta and the salad. Other places he would just climb around, run, 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 and run and run. That's why we like okay lah. It's like it's a hack. It's a, it's a hack. Yeah, it's just, you can shut down. Then like you look at the bill, it's nothing to my monthly income right now. But then when next table right, happy birthday to you. Yeah, the whole family. Then all try to. We order one and share la, order one and share la. Oh. Then yeah, you started man. in that awareness, right? Then again, I feel grateful, but extremely motivated. Please tell me the motivated part. <laughs> Meaning like, because <laughs> I'm in this state. Oh, oh, okay. Right, for, so like, we want to talk about T20, oh, around there already lah, like T20, 20 or 19.8 la. <laughs> <laughs> At the bottom tier of the T20, right? Then, uh, with this kind of knowledge and awareness and still being in the age where I have a long way to go with nothing mm. holding me back, right? Well, you can, you have all the license to work as hard as possible. Eh? Mm. Yeah, man. With the, the circumstances that we you are yeah. gifted with. A lot of people are like, I want to work hard, but I don't have the opportunity. I don't know what to... Like, a lot of people tell me, I want to spend time on something. I don't know what that something is. They don't know because they don't try also. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. So, the, the trying is part of it. Though. Yeah. So, that's the awareness. Like, oh, then suddenly I feel like... Every time like... So, now I almost think that getting fired up, 
I'm getting fired up by a lot of things. Eh. I can the, tell. The other day, I went <laughs> to Chili's with Jen as well. And we also used to do it as a celebratory thing. Mm. Right? It's like, no la. Because Jen loves it. And I love Chili's too. Mm. But we feel like, no la. Just don't spend so much. La. Go to like, Zog Noodle House. Uh, something like mm. that. Right? Don't spend so much. Then I saw the bill, right? 70 ringgit. I'm like, not expensive, right? I'm like, looking at it, I'm like, is not nothing man these days. Yeah. yeah. Then I was looking at it, I'm like, but this is actually kind of the same already, lor. Yeah. Then I just look at her. Have we, have we leveled up or like- <laughs> Like the one time me, right? Oh. The one time me is like 15 bucks, 18 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then, the, then the drinks is now six bucks, eight yeah. bucks by default, right? The atas kopi tiam is like that already. Uh, yeah. Then so, I was perspective, lor. It's quite mad, man. Yeah. So like, this is gotta be something that as a speaker of the podcast then also needs to understand. You have to empathize, man. Yeah. 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 So so it's very you go, I'm gonna sound fucking privileged. Like, I tell you all the people conversation, wow, this guy chili's are tasked ready. But there are some people who be like, No, ah? actually it's true. Uh, me too. Mm. Uh, yes. That's that's the thing. That's why like the back to the watch thing, right? So vast. Mm. It's so vast, I feel it's quite sad. But then you when you look at the disparity of wealth also, it's a, it's a shame that it it's the, the system is kept in that place for a reason also. Right? Like how do you even the the mm. unedu- let's say la for some reason like B forty or whatever and you know you're B forty so you're struggling but you, you come across this podcast right you wouldn't know what is your next step also it's so difficult you know because it's like don't you think when you apply for a job also they'll be like oh what was your your education what's this what's this what's this if you really put in all your effort sometimes I feel like the world is against you because it's your circumstance mm. also it can feel that way you know it will feel that way la, whether or not it is to yeah. some degree it is true but there are a lot more things in your control than you, you, think. you think it's also like a, a, a feeling thing it's not a, 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 a it's not a, a calculated thing it's a feeling thing so for example if let's say i just went to school mm. i went to school and i only went to like i didn't even go to to college la, and uni mm. right i went to uh, form six I think you would listen to this podcast and be like, wow, these guys are actually so smart, you know, they had a degree, this guy owns so many properties, you mm. know, they have like so much equipment, they can do all this. Then you feel very overwhelmed, then you feel like, ah, oh, I think I cannot lah. Back to the question that we ask ourselves lah. Like you are looking at the results, like whenever, like when you see, when I, when I see a person wearing a rigid meal, right, for example, mm. how do you get 2.8 million on a risk? What are the things that he needs to be done? Yeah, man. 15 years of shit, plus two crisis, one failed marriage maybe. Born into a wealthy family yeah. by default. Uh, Who knows, right? Uh, yeah, so, so those are the circumstances that, okay, do I want to go that route? Yeah. Before like, yo, you see, so good, he got that. That's the facade that they want you to see. Or true, oh, you don't know what the hell is happening behind the scenes also, right? Mm. Like, you, like, like, what, like 3,000 subs, ah, uh, yo. Because 3,000 subs only got people listen to them. Uh. I mean, starting out nothing, of course. So again, it's very easy to beat yourself up. Man. Yeah. You make the problems so big and untenable. Then you just stop. It's just easier. Oh, that's true. Huh? It's convenient. Mm. Do you think it's a mindset that- Definitely. I, I, I 100%. But okay, okay. I'm going to make it a bit racial. But do you think it's a Chinese mindset? No. Uh, I see it's a background it's a mindset. mindset uh. So the more like, we go about this, right? Last time, we, uh, like our grandparents' days is like very mind, very racial, uh-huh. discriminated. But now it's the same one. Uh. You think Chinese got no lazy flow? Eh? A lot. Okay, okay. Let me rephrase mm. this. Uh. Do you think it's a minority mindset? I think it's a scarcity mindset. Oh. So like the, there's this talk, but I don't know, I don't know what's the speaker name. If we were to introduce universal income. Andrew Yang. I forgot. I forgot, I, but my one is a quite low one, I don't know. At, at all. Uh, mm. so, when he, when, so when he, when they propose this, everyone is going to perform better. If you don't have to think about the monthly commitment of bills, right? Rent and food. Uh, and then, so it means you no longer work for money, but you still, you are still there. You will definitely perform better. The universal basic income mm. theory, like, right? Mm. And that's the, and that's the, was the flow that I was in. I don't really care like like income anymore. Like there's a difference of <laughs> there's this saying, I don't know again, whatever, like, right? This podcast meant to be explicit anyway. <laughs> 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 uh, 
if you know exactly how much you have in the bank, you are poor. Yeah. The truly rich don't even know the value in their bank. I don't think they even know how to access their bank if you are truly, truly rich. Uh. So like, uh, uh, then they was like, hey, you know people banking money to you already. Uh, we banking the money to you already. When? You, a lot of money that like, Sean, you didn't check on me? No. Up to you. Whether you bank in or not, it's to you. To me, right? I did my part. Then, then suddenly, they, <gasps> they just sound dog. <laughs> like a douche. Yeah. Yeah. Then think about it. Yeah. You are in that state, right? Then suddenly, like, whether the, my tenants pay me money or not, I don't know. That's why I get somebody to manage for me now. Oh, 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 oh thank God. I thought, like, so I think you shouldn't have said because that. Because, <laughs> because the, previous tenant, the previous tenant didn't pay me for four months. Uh. And I didn't know. Brother. So like then so, so that is like when you look back, it's growth. That's true. Uh, but when you so it's always important like to look back just to see how far you went. So you have the drive to go further. Not to like, oh now I'm strong, so let's chill. It's I think also tough, right? Because I think Wing Kyung says this a lot. Mm. A lot, especially like I've had a few meetings with him when I was working mm. under him and everything, is to take a step back. And people never say that. Andrew says that a lot, actually. You should mm. take a step back. And there was a, I, I, I read this manga. It's about this samurai. Mm. It's a, I think his name is Musashi, lah, right? <laughs> all, why are all <laughs> warriors must be Musashi? <laughs> no, no, there's only one Musashi. The Musashi, he's unbeatable. He never, he never lost. Mm. So he was saying how like a lot of times people look at the leaf, but you don't look at the tree. But what mm. you don't realize is there's a forest behind you because you never didn't step back far enough. Mm. Focusing too much on the leaf, ma. And I think a lot of people, right, when you're in that state of like grinding, maybe to those who grind, to those who yeah. don't grind, I don't know. I don't yeah, know what you're looking yeah. at. You're not looking at yeah, leaf yeah, also, yeah. bro. Yeah. So if you're grinding, it's so difficult to just like really reevaluate what the progress has been and then to like make changes in order to progress. Mm. But how do you know whether those things are the, the correct measures also? Is it trial and error? You know, like it's tough, you know, to make decisions like this. Don't you think? Mm. That when to give up. Yeah. So right. yeah, because giving up is is seen as quite negative. Yeah. But you know, uh, giving up can be effective, you know. Yeah. I I I tried a lot of things. Like I used to have a calligraphy channel. <laughs> what the fuck? A calligraphy <laughs> channel. <laughs> fuck. What have you not done, bro? Yeah, but <laughs> you know, my my uh handwriting is nice la, to a lot of people's standard. Because by default I write cursive one. Oh shit. Oh, since wow. since primary. Bro, you gotta teach me this shit, bro. My handwriting is fucking garbage. <laughs> so when I write, right, then the first uh, first few times my mother got called into school, then they say, why you do your kids' homework? Wow. That is high praise, man. Then my mom is like, my handwriting is not even that level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then I, then I, that was a trend time of, uh, what's the, it's like early 2010. ASMR 2010. kind of feeling like, to watch good calligraphy, ah, right? Okay. And when the paper sound with the oh, pencil, yeah. it feels good, right? And when after the that one minute, right, something motivational came out, right? Oh. But at the time it was not TikTok. So short videos didn't perform as well. I need to write long as as it's what to write. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then my I don't have the gears to light things and all. At that time ring light also not really accessible yet. Mm. So you use torch light, but it's too harsh then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so like it failed lah. But then you know the more you write really, then it's not performing. Then you ask like why? Just like it's just not right. No accept the fact that it's not the thing. Then move on. Mm. How do you know when? That's the thing. So to look for something else. No, how do you know when it's not performing? Or it's only your, your call. Right. That's the thing, right? Your so like if I stop and some other guy took it up and do and he's a big success right now, it's all on me. Correct. It's like, ah, yeah, like, a lot, ah, yeah, just like when a lot of people, like, there will be way more podcasts than you guys started. Yeah. You guys are definitely not the first one. Ma. Oh, far from. Right. Then like, you know, you guys are, last time I had the same idea, what were your, like, I'm like, why never continue? Mm. Right. And then like, so the, to him, or to the person that I chose to give up, I'm accountable for that decision. My fault. Move on. I guess it's, it's a, it's a, Trial and error law, in that sense. And then you you just have to be accountable law mm. if you give up. But then right? the, the again and it's very easy to say, but with always during the last shot, right? It matters when like okay, a lot of stories like when I interview people. So now 
I have this new series coming out like next week after this recording, right? I'll be speaking in Mandarin already. I have a new Mandarin oh, channel shit. coming up. This is the 1st of October, by the way. Mm. Okay. I'm Congrats. Again, okay. Kiasuism. <laughs> Kiasuism. So I'm going to go Mandarin because a lot of people are taking my videos. Cut it, cut, then. Cut, cut, then put subtitle. Mm. Do you then like, why do I do it myself? Oh. Thank you for testing it out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, then, why don't you hire someone to just do Chinese subs for you? They want I, to listen. I, I just did that. Oh, I just did, did that. that so, so I need to figure out like, uh, logistically and how do I perform at my peak and uh, when I started the so there's this new series where I just work with a developer and I'm not selling the property I just interview a guest within the setting of the property mm. so that indirectly brings out the property yeah, law, yeah, law, you like, show right, the property right. law yeah. yeah then the common trait is like there's this brand called Future Mate so familiar yeah it's a local brand but the founder is from Penang Hardcore, good dude. <laughs> Hardcore. Though, so like that means he has like books. two thousand, three thousand bucks. He put in all in to just print his t-shirts. He need to sell his Jordans to make it. Then the KL Cap CD guy, right? The, there's a SS15 one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. The story also man, the last straw, almost gonna fail. Only only made it one. Then uh the the there are a few more guests. So the similar trait of the story is last one really lah. All in. So sometimes it's like when you say you are giving all in, you feel tired, right? When you have 10 bucks, nine bucks feel tiring, lah, right? To the scale of when you have a 10, nine feels tiring. When you have 200, does nine feel anything to you? No. Mm -hmm. So the degree of pain is just nine when you have only 10. But when to a person of 2,000, it's insignificant. Yeah, but the the resistance to the same pain and suffering is nothing. Yeah. Or maybe it's like, you know, that whole last, last, uh, last gambit, mm. that all in, maybe it's actually the catalyst. Yeah. Because you have nothing else to lose. Yes. Right? Like, literally, if you put in, you know, 3,000 uh. or whatever, if you cannot make it, uh, you cannot eat, you know, that mm. is your, you go down Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know. Yeah. But I think perhaps the, the toughest part of the climb is actually that part where you were saying it's the recognition, mm. but people are afraid to hit recognition without sacrificing yeah. that that uh, shelter yeah. slash what you know. Mm. Oh, true, true, true. If oh. it's into that bracket, right? Then like, oh, it's it's that scarcity. Also, it's like, oh shit, I better not because you know this is my safe zone. <laughs> so it's like this thing, like like a lot of people, including my wife, like, where they are all very comfortable with degrees of pharmacies or doctors or those uh. professionals, man, right? If the bank account, like uh, the, the topic within within their common friends, uh, if my bank account less than 10,000, I cannot sleep really. Wow. So to them, the capacity that is, is that. comfort level. Yeah, thing. that's the comfort level. So to me, like my bank was negative. <laughs> 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 Left like 30 bucks or 20 bucks. I can't even withdraw. I need to add 80 bucks in to just to withdraw 100. 100. Yeah. Right? So it's a whole different thing. So it results in, of course, in terms of stability, they are paramount. They are the top. Like, can never go hungry. Even. Yeah. You just enjoy less or less fulfillment. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's, yeah. that's the next level problem. La. But if you want like huge success, right? It's high risk, high return. In a way. In a way. La. So then yeah. now I kind of hack where I can put myself in that state mentally. So mm. there's this uh, visualization. There's this uh, baseball player. He's a World Cup can, uh, candidate, like, right? damn good one. I don't know the story is like that. So in Japan, where baseball is a big thing, uh. he injured himself before the main tournament. Oh, to press his, his uh, mind yeah. to that, yeah, that so, point. So, so every day, he just repetitively repeats when the, the guy pitched the ball to him, he whacks and it's a home run. Every single day. So the entire muscle memory, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to hit, and the feeling of hitting the sound, the atmosphere, the ball flying to that direction. He visualized again and again and again and again. So it's as if your body is going through that process. The motions is going through the yeah. motion. Yeah. Without physically going through. Yeah. And when he went to the actual finals, he, he just came back shit. out on it. But it doesn't look like it. He made the same shot. Wow. I think Conor McGregor does this too. I, then I will then I look yeah. back, right? Then now, uh, in terms of uh, Ray Shetty. Sorry, what? 
Ray Shetty. Shetty, the watch what Shetty with the the that's the monk guy, the guy the speaker that went into become a monk for a while. <laughs> I don't even know that. Jay Shetty. Oh, Jay Shetty. No, oh, the guy right. with the really this lovely guy. eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so, got nice eyes. So, so part of uh, meditation, there's three levels. One is you, uh, be you connect to yourself. Mm. You be mindful about things. So whenever a person Movement. say something, you know you're gonna get angry at anyone. Right before you get angry, you just pull back a little bit. That's mindfulness, right? The next thing is to visualization. You visualize like okay. Like before a big interview or before a big guest in, right? Like this, I visualized like weeks ago already, man. Wow, oh, shit, fuck. serious? Uh? Yeah. So like, it's, so sometimes that the feeling is like, it's like rendezvous. <laughs> no, deja vu. Deja vu. Deja vu. Deja, 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 rendezvous, yeah. like, deja vu, but it's, it's like that. So like, I know like, what, what you guys, what, what am I going to see? What am I going to feel? And what am I going to say? The motion, you're feeling uh, it. You're so feeling I'm just like going through the process to me right now. Mm. Uh, then the last one is when you go total peace with everything. Because you're one uh, with everything. Then you're the, the highest. Buddha, level, uh, yeah. So this is the level. Then i like, oh, that's meditation. <sighs> so then like when you want to go performing, right? Like before I go do performance for Erhu also, mm. I played the whole song in my mind before I go up. Mm. Erhu is a Chinese instrument for those yeah. who are listening. Yeah. yeah so... It's the same for every important games, important events, important meetings, important presentation. Or you go through the motions in your mind. Uh. Mm. So it's as good as a physical- Like attack. a rehearsal in your mind, actually. Yeah. It's like a rehearsal. So, so before you go and snatch that 100 gram or <laughs> 100 gram, 100 pound, 100, 100, 100 gram, <laughs> 100, 100 uh, pound, right? Technically in your mind, every movement is going to feel it really. Yeah. Right, but physically you might still feel, of course, reality, gravity is still real. Yeah. But you don't think you cannot live, if you think that you, you cannot- You yourself out really, that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, cannot, yeah, yeah. cannot, 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 cannot. Then you are right. Mm. That is the entire thing when a lot of people start something. Cannot, 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 cannot. Yeah, I think I'm like that. I quite oh. thorough. Uh, yeah, it's look. only uh, when Boy is like, John, you can. Mm. Then I'm like, maybe can lah. You know? Then it just so that's why the team dynamic, the, the team dynamic is very. There's a hype man always. There's a hype man that is yeah. not as bright because the bright guy always think too much. Grounded and then, I cannot yeah. You see that in terms of statistics, right? In terms of past yeah, patterns, yeah, right? yeah, it's, yeah, not yeah, yeah. it's not gonna work. You know, so that's the part where I think sometimes I am very envious that you guys are in a team because I only work alone. Right, right, right. Now my team follows my direction. Yeah. Uh, so I need to play multiple roles at times. So yeah. I need to sit. So sometimes I will imagine what you're seeing. Like when I'm throughout the conversation, right? Uh -huh. I will, <laughs> I'm you're imagining how you would be if you were in that position, is it? Oh. Wow. So I'm imagining like what the camera is going to see. Yeah. My angle, like where's my watch? You <laughs> 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 <He> saw. <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 what, then like uh, the, the clearance of truth. Like, so like yeah, yeah. what his perspective is. Then sometimes like just now, when Pogi was there, then I need to sit, then I need to tilt the mic a little bit, then when I sit to you, then I need to sit like that. Yeah. So those kind of things, like this comes with experience. And that's a very hard fact that a lot of people in the grind cannot accept. Yeah. It's also because they're, they're stuck to the, the main job. La. It's very hard, bro. You know, like it's also because, you know, once you've gone through one motion, you realize actually a lot of things are possible, mm. right? But when you haven't gone through a motion, that's yeah. when it's it's hard because mm. it's like swimming the first time. You really need to have someone, you you go in the water, then you're like, oh, I get it. Mm. But how do you verbalize swimming? <laughs> then the guy will be like, oh, bro, I damn scared of water. That yeah. type of shit, right? Yeah. And then there are different characteristics that make it, make it up. So there are people who are like, I'm scared means no. So means no means no. Uh. Mm -hmm. And there are people who are, you know, like David Goggins, scared means yes, mm. do it. State of discomfort is the way to go. You know, it's like polar opposite. Yeah. So if you are in that position where your personality is like that as well, and your upbringing is like that, mm -hmm. you're naturally just going to be more conservative. Ma. So mm -hmm. you, you're prone to just being in that, okay, mm -hmm. I know what's going to happen next. And sometimes like maybe if that makes you happy also, that's okay, law, mm -hmm. right? But you know how the grass is always greener on the other side? You always feel as if like- But I think now, because you will have your neighbors telling you on TikTok <laughs> that the grass is not green, Really? Oh, so maybe you see also, oh, actually quite yellow. Uh. Fuller uh, tummy yellow already. Yeah, so, so now because like, you have information everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
like so like this is like when we spoke about that right I like, just went through a second audience of mine that's sharing his experience he just graduated from German Germany, Germany. Uh. then uh, during his final year he consumed all my stuff Whew. then he did all his research when he get his first job uh, three months salary, he bought a property already. Wow, dude, this guy all in. Adidas, Nike is all in. Then he, knows, then he knows second step what to do. By on the way to wait what he invests in. Because before you have a, a down payment, all the yeah, money yeah, needs yeah. to put in somewhere, you put in blue chips, put in whatever, uh-huh. whatever. Then when the weirds, he say like, ah, oh, exactly. So that is when, if there's no one uh, sharing the grass, it's not that green on the other side you will always think like, oh, is it green? And then it will go over. Mm-hmm. So like when you, like I'm on the other side sharing, this side is not that green, but if you want to come, please. Lah. Like, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so so these are the leaps. Also like now, no matter what uh, people can share, right? Like we can bring the horse to the water, but we cannot force him to drink one. Mm. So like when people, again on the very harsh reality, where if you are broke when you're 30s, it's your fault. It's true. If when you're if you're broke in your twenties, then you it's, it's your parents' fault. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, pretty I, I, much. I did, I did hear that. I did hear that. Uh, then when you're forty, right? Then oof, definitely your fucking fault. Who who, who else can you blame? Yeah, man. Uh, that's why like the 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 entire goal of the channel really is information. Uh. F- every Malaysians to have every adult uh, of that capa- uh, capability, right? To, should have two to three properties. Damn, man. Two to three. Uh. So yeah, so it's like a lot. You think like it's a lot, but actually you are in a perfect state for your second really. Where I can dial down if you want. <laughs> like like he also moved in like very easy. What are you doing next? So the, mm. the, the common question to all my audience. So what's next? Mm. Yes, you should savor in a little bit, but you m- mentally you want to invest in the next one. Ma. But you need to make a decision. Uh. Yeah. You want to chill a bit, no right, no wrong. Not everyone like me want 25 properties. <laughs> right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can make your own strata, bro. <laughs> that's, why, that's why now, again, on the time I look back, like, let's say I count. Yo, slow already. La. I just sold one. So the, 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 the property that got me into trouble, I sold that already. Right. Uh, so just an update from the previous one. It's uh, I sold that at a loss. Yeah, you mentioned this in one of your mm, posts. Your videos. Uh, yeah. yeah, I sold it at a loss, but this is when uh, profit and loss will not kill you. Yeah, but, because you're already in that state where uh, it doesn't really matter as uh, much. But cash flow will. Instead of every month, correct, correct, correct. I I bleed like uh, yeah, yeah. twelve thousand further, right? To, uh, after I refinance, I bleed six thousand every month. That wouldn't kill me. Six thousand every month wouldn't. It's going to be painful, but. I rather sell at three hundred thousand loss, mm. Mm. but after I sell, then we settle, then everything I get back like two hundred thousand back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Lo. So then, like, it, the 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 trigger point was the tenant that kept complaining. They keep complaining again because in Johor it's out of uh-huh. my reach. Then MCO right. time, I cannot do a lot of things. Uh-huh. Then it was stressful. Then the okay, that amount of cash flow is not worth my attention really. To me, go and uh, yeah, stop the editing, go and, yeah, yeah, go and do counting, something and then yeah. be frustrated about it. Then it drains all my energy for a person that I don't even care. Yeah. Sell. Then everyone, the market rate is like at this 1.6. You know what? Let's sell 1.4. Mm, mm. Just get it out. Now. Yeah, then the agent, you sure? Huh? You don't want to try? No need. The goal is to clear the property, not to make money. I just want to dispose it, whatever. So I just dispose it. Then like, so suddenly like, you feel then, then you're then motivated again, lor. Ah, yeah, lor. Yeah, then, then with the cash flow, then or oh, now mm. I'm, I'm prime. Let's, let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> it's not back really. I'm just go, lor. That's when let's go again, lor. So I like getting that. I just got a few this year, ma. Then this year is gonna end really. There's a new fresh shit again. Wow. You know, I feel right. Like the whole topic of stress, right? Mm. It's actually. I mean, as I grow older, la, and not like I hold a lot of fucking wisdom, la, mm. but as I grow older, I realize right that the stress doesn't change. Even the levels of stress don't change because mm. it's just the circumstances that change. Yeah. So as an example, right, when you're yeah, in the standard one, you're scared of your final exam or you're scared when your parents call you back and say, why the fuck you never do your homework? Mm. That's your peak fear. Or like you take the tongue to you, I'm going to whack you right now. Mm-mm. Peak fear. 
Then when you go to like, let's say form five, your peak fear is like, should I ask this girl out to prom? And if, what if she says no? That is your ultimate rejection. You think your life is over. Yes. Then you go to college, you think, oh shit, I'm going to go to the US. Can my relationship sustain? Can I get good grades? That is your peak stress. Mm. Then when you're an adult, it's like, uh, you have to pay for your house and et cetera. Peak stress or whatever, lah, right? Mm. But then you realize, right? Even if you scale, uh, you have like let's say you have three properties, like what you mentioned, you should have three. Mm. Your your stress is the same, bro. It just scaled with your age and your experience, right? Yes. By right, uh, you should just risk. You should just risk. In the end, your stress is going to be the same one, you know. Mm. That's why I always think I'm like actually by right, lah. Why I don't do it? Why don't I just start something new? Just do it. Just start a business. Do whatever. Just do it. Because in the end, uh, the stress is the same, bro. Ultimately, right, yeah. you are going to be stressed out and you're going to be happy at some point. It's an up and down type of thing, man. That's life, man. Ultimately, yeah. you should just go for it. Because uh, the stress will be then down again. Then you come back up and confirm. I mean, unless you choose to like, oh, you know yeah. what? Forever. So so the that's what uh, uh, It's very difficult to verbalize this, you know, because you mm-hmm. need to go through it, now you understand it. Mm-hmm. Sometimes uh, I think mm-hmm. like you maybe you haven't reached peak stress because you're also afraid to reach higher peak, but actually it's the same. Yeah. It's the same percentage feeling. wise, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So when, I, when my ability is ten, my level is ten, then you have a <laughs> level nine stress, right? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna feel very big. But when you're level hundred, no, never nine. Yeah, no, it's the same analogy as the, the right, number correct. scale. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I I always see that, but then like at the same time, it's the sense of comfort that I feel like, oh no la, I'm okay also la. Mm-hmm. You know, because when it's peak stress, I always try to reevaluate my life, yeah. and I always think, okay. I'm really stressed out now, but I ha- I can eat whatever I want. I got the money. It's, I choose to not spend on other mm. stuff. Mm. Okay? I have a roof over my head. It's okay. Everybody is healthy. You don't have cancer. You don't have like a disease that you can't cure. And Because technically, that's the worst of all three. Yeah. I have all my 10 fingers, 10 toes. I'm okay. Mm. Then I reevaluate. I'm, I'm okay. Don't worry. I'm okay. This is what I do every day. Leh. Grateful. Lah, being grateful. I wake up. Besides getting... <laughs> read book. Getting, read book, read book. Read Besides book. that, so like we wake up, everyone I care and love, uh, healthy. healthy. Like exactly what your, your checklist, everything, everything, everything. Then when you have a decline in the uh, proposal, you have a Not that big one big. video collapse or then like the audio didn't press record or whatever, right? It's nothing. So insignificant. So insignificant. Well, you right? guys live every day with that much perspective. Huh? You don't, uh? no, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. Wake up, look at my calendar. Okay, that's what we got to do. Let's go and do it. So, so I think for you, right, what would change is you look at your calendar the night before. Ooh, damn. I mean, it's not like I don't do that. I, hmm. I look at it a week in advance or so. Uh. <laughs> right? But it's just like, it's just check-ins. Like, and I, I just, I guess my point is I don't, I don't necessarily think consciously to myself, oh, I should be grateful for yeah. X, Y, Z. Hmm. Stress comes... But it's, it's just only so so this is that level one of the meditation thing, like oh. the mindfulness. So like a lot of people, if you know like you always like uh in some family gatherings, right? Some family members say, Hi, hi. Right. Like, like, ho- like what is so stressful? No, like just feels good. Uh. <laughs> then like, can you not do that? Then like why are you so overreactive over it? Uh. You are hiding for nothing, you know. You're just hiding letting, for nothing. You're just letting go. <laughs> Like why you hide the whole the, the the feeling of this guy is like letting go like whatever negative vibes you know right how are you <sighs> like that <lor>. like what <laughs> what what <laughs> Dude, you know I'm guilty that. of that though I was <sighs> yeah okay, so like I with this uh, practice of zero negativity whoa. Bro, I have fucking hard. I, I have, yeah, it's especially in today's context. It's difficult, man. Yeah, so that's why in my work, right, I get, I hire somebody, I have my assistant that goes meeting for me. I don't go meet meetings. Man. Oh a my year. God. What the fuck? Like, like three years really, I zero meetings. Oh my God, I need to, I need to talk to mom about this. <laughs> no, but then if you are a decision maker, then it depends on your work schedule or whatever, course, like, yeah. your, your hierarchy, your power or whatever. But then to me, like, I'm just me with my camera, right? All the other, the naggy, naggy things I don't care. So like, oh, Sean, this one, they cannot, they cannot, cannot, cannot. Are there any alternatives? Are there this, are there that? Like, there's no, it really cannot be soft. Just accept it and move on. No? Yeah. No. Like you, if your happiness is based on another person's decision, right? 
then you're screwed already. Yeah, screwed. you're hundred percent. Yeah. I hundred percent agree. Yeah. I totally agree. You know, I was listening. Have you heard of this uh, podcast called Diary of a CEO? It's heard of it. I never really got it's, into. Uh, it's by this English person. His name mm. is Stephen Butler. Mm. I think he's a, he's my age, ah, nineteen ninety two. He's a, like a multi-millionaire. Like, opened a social media business, marketing, mm. and all whatever. And then he interviewed this uh, person who is a master of speaking. Mm. And the master of speaking, like uh, he 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 acronym everything one lot, right? Okay. So one of his life philo- philosophies is flag, F-L-A-G. Mm. <coughs> so F-L-A-G, it, one of it is like uh, faith. So faith is saying that everything will get better. It's not about mm. religion. Uh. Yep. It's like no matter what- Positivity. Uh, things will get better. Mm. So don't worry. No matter how bad. Mm. L is love. So like you were saying, you should smile to people more often. It's not like sexual love. It's not intimacy. It's more of like, you should love instead of hate. So if you bump into people, right. like what you say, you should kind of like, it's okay, the guy's having a bad day. Mm. So you treat that situation with love. Then third is what you were saying about your, uh, if you depend on people's happiness and uh, other people for your happiness, UGG, mm. acceptance. So you should mm. always accept. You can't change certain people, can't yeah. change. But you should accept the fact that you can change yeah. for the better if you can. And G is gratitude, which is you wake up every day being very grateful. Oh, okay. So I'm part of flag, really? Bro, oh, when sick. I listen to that shit, I am flag also. Mm. Bro, I only fla. <laughs> but it's a final word, right? so, uh, 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 No, you, it's very actually very easy because uh, my girlfriend Jen was going through a very difficult mm. time at Colgate, mm. so she's very stressed out, and it was ecom, and yeah. it was three locations had to make, so she's just like breaking down and all that. I don't know whether I should say it on the podcast, but fuck it, mm. So she's so depressed, and I told her actually you should just be very grateful. Then you can let go of this job. Yeah, just be grateful. You'd serve whatever time you deem you need to serve. You complete that because you respect yourself, then you let go. Mm. You just commit. If you really, if this is your line uh, and your happiness is very important, so you just cut off if you need to cut off. Mm. But I feel you should stay at it six mm. months. You grind. And now she's a tough ass bitch. Mm. Everything she comes down, she's like, nothing also. Mm. Flood at the event, nothing also. Mm. Fuck it. La. I've been through worse already. Because she's level up already. Mm. Right? But now she practices flag as well. It's the gratefulness. She could work a little bit on the L. You know, she curses a bit on the road. Mm. But the G is, <laughs> is strong. Very strong G. Gratitude is very, very difficult. Because it's easy to get an iPhone 13 Pro. But when you have an like iPhone 10 or whatever, then you're like, oh, yo, I want an iPhone 13. But you get the Pro, you don't, you're not grateful, really. Yeah, you get, num- you get numb to it. Instantly. Instant. The moment you, 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 re- you touch the box, the guy say, thank you for purchasing. The, uh. you, get, you forget already. Forget 100%. But when you learn how to be gra- grateful, you learn how to progress actually, right? Mm. And also true. the, about grateful, it's always misunderstood for compl- complacency. Yeah. But it's different. It's different. Mm. It's different. Uh, so that is something that if, like for the person that's grinding like, right now, because, like, now I think we speak more about work ethics then. Yeah. <laughs> it's very obvious, right? <laughs> Why is this Sean coming in? <laughs> but the, that's the I, I, I realize that's the thing that a lot of people kind of see the the other side when I write because now I need to write more mm. and I will push my kid to write more also to write like to list uh. yeah to list so like this is a lecture by Jordan Peterson again uh. like the only uh, weapon that you can equip yourself with is the ability to communicate yeah we actually Truth be told, like if you can communicate well, you would probably not have wars and shit. If you communicated properly, uh. yeah, yeah. So if you have your thoughts co- mm. transferred over as per intent, you have the ultimate ability really yeah, yeah. to go through life. Should <sighs> just bang yeah. on life in totality. <laughs> so true. There's yeah. a human element in everything in life. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the that's like, but we are always like, why do we need to write essays? That's so. That's why like uh. I'm like, you know, I say a batang pencil. <laughs> then if you have a different perspective to it, right? So it, it can be a person like, oh, I'm just giving myself away bit by bit to celebrate people's knowledge. If I'm a charcoal pencil. <laughs> right? Wow. Actually, that's quite profound. Eh? Holy shit. Right? So like at now at uh, 30 plus, I can write such a essay because that's how I see a pencil right now. You're getting shorter, shorter, giving you away for message to be transferred all around. Yeah, man. Right? But last time, oh, my color is green. Yellow. <laughs> 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 yeah. So those are the appearance thing, but after you go through life, the way you see the same freaking pencil, it can be so philosophical. Yeah. 
hundred percent true. <sighs> so like if uh, the, last time then I figured out like there's this journaling practice that a lot of people celebrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I've seen that too as well. A lot of people like daily, right? Uh, daily journaling. So yeah. daily journaling helps you know yourself. One documents like what you do, so you can trim yourself here and there. Mm-mm. Then I think that self communication, so which I, people don't do enough. I feel right. Yeah. Like then, like sometimes I get really pissed off at things like for very stupid things, lah. Like, like that's the main reason why I don't change a phone yet, because I'll get so irritated by the change of iOS from oh, Android. Oh, Android. I see. Uh, then I move over. Then my wife's like, "Okay, if you were to really buy that phone, it's not about ability, really, <laughs> about affordability or whatever. It's you getting annoyed." Of like, why no audio jack lah? Right. <laughs> why Are you no? fucking serious? It's the audio jack, is it? No, no, no. So oh, it's not a lot of things lah. Yeah, no, the buttons oh, are in different places. Like Google or Drive or whatsoever. Uh, uh. So all the, because when I in flow, I know where things yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so but something where I need something really bad, right? Urgently or whatever. Then you will not, you have to go through the whole learning curve K- Casey Nice has said that before many times. He's like, I use Final Cut Pro, although it's a fucking shit platform, but mm. I'm really used to it. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I get what I, you mean. I, I don't want to go through that learning curve again. Because it's wasting time. Mm. Yeah. But I, I, you know, right? It's funny. I feel like a real shit storm has to happen before you change one. I have the same sentiment one. So mm. example is my phone, right? Mm. I was using iPhone 10 for a very long time. Mm. And then like, one day I went out for a run in the morning, came back, bro, battery 30%. Mm. From 100 to 30. Mm. Did, okay. What the hell? Talking about this, right? Do you think it's intentional? I think it's both. Mm. I think it has to be. Because if you don't upgrade iOS, your software, right? What are you really making better? How do you compete? Competition is very important. Yeah. It's just unfortunate we live in a scenario where hardware doesn't tally with software or it's a race against one another. Mm. If you develop iPhone 200 or so, right? But your software is like 300, right? You cannot maintain. Mm. It's like, doesn't tally. So, but now it's like, I forcefully make you change to a new mm. hardware uh. by reducing the battery capability. I think I think it's admitted by them implicitly, them being Apple, mm. that yeah. that is the case. Yeah. To some degree, la, I'm not mm. saying it's 100%. Mm. La, they right? wouldn't like blatant say like, yeah. Batteries chemically deteriorate over time, la, right? Mm. That one is undeniable. Yeah. Mm. So one component is that. The other is their implicit admission of guilt. So yeah. to I, some degree, for, for sure true. Because if let's say we, we counter, la, the scenario is reversed. Let's say we stay forever, like mm. hardware and software. Mm-mm. And then nobody improves your phone. Like you see a Google Pixel is a very good example, right? Yeah. The software becomes so good that it makes one camera better than three, uh. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if in all technicalities, right, if we maintain in that position of just improving one, 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 one camera, but we never really like, hey, let's bump up the hardware and the software and then we get something even better because mm-hmm. that's the whole state of evolution. And I think it's, it's inevitable as human beings. Like, wouldn't you want to own 50 properties? Yeah, you know, that's part of growth. La. Right. It would, wouldn't you want to own, own like 20 Rolexes? Like whatever, and, la, right? And that's, uh, talking about growth, right? There, there's a training that I went to where they equate happiness with growth. Yeah, I mm. think so. I feel that too. So the yeah. like whenever you do, why people think that four is better than three? Because it just brings you happiness. Why do you need, do you need another car after having 30 already? Yeah. So that instant moment you feel, then by equipping yourself with new knowledge, it's going to give you happiness too. I, I, the, the knowledge thing, I somehow feel it's going like, to be sexist, uh, but it's quite a male thing. No lah. Like, like, like for ladies, it's the same one lah. So it's just that, the topics are different. So like- Or maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You have to know more of another person. Yeah. So like, oh, her recent- Oh, true, 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 true. Her recent incident or whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I feel that, or oh, I'm happy that I know that she went through this kind of thing and I helped. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's a, just a different- Structure of- Yeah. I get it, I get it. Yeah. Then when relationship also. So the, the part of the concept there is when a couple, you need to equally grow together. Mm. Mm. The problem is when one Outgrows. party stopped growing, but the other continues. So oh. then there will be an imbalance. So then uh, imagine when a guy, where we work really hard, midnight come back already, then uh, your wife, because of you decided not to work, then her own her influence is only like that. Yeah. You are almost her entire source of outdoor information. Right. Then when she asks, 
normal things but you find it frustrating because you didn't grow or then like uh, an example uh, like <coughs> I always play this in my head dear how is work mm. right as a wife asking the husband then the husband is like I tell you also you don't know lah. wow that one is a slap in the face bro. wow uh, so so this is when growth is is, is there's no longer growth it's just a slave type of thing also actually uh, right? so like, that's why like I would encourage her, like if like if I am in a state where my wealth can sustain, I would still prefer my wife to work one. I 1 million percent agree with you. Mm. Yeah, man. There's no way in the hell, right, I'm staying married to a housewife, uh, to be fucking honest mm. with you. <laughs> so and it's not a monetary reason. Yeah. It's a growth reason. Yeah. The sh- it's, a, it's a lack of respect already after that. Mm. One way or another, whether you choose to admit it or not, you will think you're superior. Mm. Yeah. And also, our mom is a, is a mad hustler. Yeah. It's like turning. Actually, yeah. I shouldn't acknowledge. I shouldn't say her age, But it's into the. <laughs> it's into the. She's yeah. been in the industry for a long time, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And now uh, four a.m. send emails. Mm. Set up meetings at nine a.m. She's complaining over dinner. I see you go listen to that fucking client, you know, that mm. type of thing. Mm-hmm. She's a hustler, bro. Mad respect. And I, I, I don't think I don't think I told you this, but mm. like I went for a dinner with her. Mm. So you know the events industry isn't yeah, that yeah, much, yeah. right? The country is how many years old only? <laughs> Bro, went for a meeting dinner with her, right? We had all the event owner, event companies all sit down. Like, Fucker, only woman there. Mm. And I think deep down, right, in my recesses, right, I feel right, I need my partner, like Jen, right, to grow because I've seen my mom like that as well. I don't think I, I like you, I don't think I can have a housewife as well that is my partner because I feel like if she don't grow, how? I, I, I don't know whether my child would be in that mm. scenario that he would want to grow to because he would always look to mom and be like, mom can chill. Mm. Wow, I tell you, I'll be so pissed. One time slap. So, but, but growth here doesn't mean like only work. La. Correct. So if it's a Correct. like housewife that's a modern housewife right, where they engineer the whole <laughs> uh, ecosystem to be in yeah, a productive like, way. Like how do the kids which tuition center is the best, m- most rewarding. Uh, uh, true, maybe the background and research. The, the, the diet of the kid, if so he's allergic to this, then we engineer every single thing. Bro, she no more a housewife, she, she football manager, 2022, whatever fuck already, bro. <laughs> yeah, so that's so that's my- Household manager. La. Yeah, yeah, it's no longer like that usual like yeah, wash yeah. plate, whatever. Uh, so this is then when growth, I really encourage everyone to go and experience growth. Like, but that's why the easiest one, right, is to just go lift more weights. True, huh? Can you calculate. Kind of equate, uh. Uh. Can calculate. They're very easy to see. Uh, so that's why it's easier that like, you feel, oh, I'm like 100 kg down or like, okay, let's check out. Okay, I want to squat 200 or squat 300. Yeah. Not, not impossible. Uh. But <laughs> 110, 120 kg. So that's like the immediate one. You can see the number. Uh. Yeah. So like uh, podcasting or so. Mm. Next episode, next episode, next episode, next episode. You see the number, episode. right? Increase. Uh, uh, uh. So those are the little things that will motivate that particular person. You will also like feel happiness to it. So like, that's why I really enjoy the process. Man. It's funny, right? You always think you want to reach the end product, but actually the the joy is the, mm. the journey, man. Yeah, man. Definitely. Right? Yeah. You know, every time, right? Like we go like, to the M shit, right? Mm. Stand in front of office, we're like, hey, how the hell did we get here? Mm. Is that whole like even side study we're waiting downstairs for him, right? His car come and we're like, wow, how we how is how do we mm. do this? It's quite weird, surreal. We just continue after that. But then from here, there needs to be this pursuit of excellence also. Okay. I think means, right? Because there's this uh a manager of Kobe Bryant. Uh-huh. How crazy Kobe Bryant is we know lah, right? That word yep. acting and all. Yeah. Oh, what a lot of people don't know is there will be a guy before every match, right? <clears throat> there will be two person bouncing ball in every square inch of the basketball. No court. kidding. To what? find which, because it's all timber one, uh-huh. one Would, which one will bounce off a little bit. Then he will mark on the board. Then they will tell Kobe before the game. So if I were to defend that particular person, I will push that person to that corner. Wow. So if I can make him miss four more shots, we win the game. Oh, because basketball is a very close game. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. I think athletes at a global top tier level, mm. a sliver makes all the difference. Yeah. It's true. La. It's then, true. Then for LeBron James, there will be a guy uh, to balance his workout every day. Uh, Not too hard. No, no. Like uh, today, you dribble right hand 
74 times left hand 32. Better focus on tomorrow. We will strengthen the left oh. to balance things out. Wow. <laughs> Damn. But you know I, what Andrew says is true. The slither makes all the difference mm. now. Last time, uh, do you know who Paul Scholes is? He's ah, yeah, a, yeah, 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 the footballer. Ah, he's a Man United a, player. I, I, I know absolutely nothing about football, yeah, but, right. but you know Paul Scholes, that's good. <laughs> yeah. So Paul Scholes is a <laughs> very- And geeks and all that, that ah, era. That era yeah. So this Paul Scholes, right, he was recently interviewed by Gary Neville, who mm. is his uh, ex-colleague and yeah. captain. Then <laughs> Gary Neville was like, oh, so what do you think of new players? He's like, oh, incredible. It's like down to the slither of detail. Then he said, what about you doing your time? Oh, my time. Uh, before a feel. game, <laughs> I go to the bar and have three three drinks and then I go back home. Hopefully, I can walk back. Mm. I cannot find my the manager so many times already. But if you see the evolution, right? And then, uh, okay, so like early 2000s, there's a manager called Arsene Wenger, manager mm. Arsenal. I think if I'm not mistaken, you can quote, you can let me know in the comment section. He actually banned red meat, you know, in Arsenal. Mm. Cannot eat red meat, slows you down. And he's the first manager to introduce dietary changes into the football players mm. in Arsenal. Hence, they became the only team in the Premier League to go unbeaten. Mm. And then they were like, what the fuck? And now uh, in 2022, people don't even watch football for entertainment, you know. Mm. I swear to God, my whole group of friends, right? Like, bro, do you see last night's game? Uh, the tactics employed is insane. Mm. It's the evolution that kept on improving and improving. I don't even know what's the future, bro. Stem cell development, confirm. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I think that's like nothing. To every, part of recovery. Yeah, it's just automatic. You need... Because they have a, I think they, have, if I'm not mistaken, Man United has like ten games in the in mm. ten lah, but a lot of games for this month in October. Mm. So they are like pressing, pressing, can get injuries and all that. But I'm just like, wow, it's quite insane, right? How yeah. things have changed in the last two decades. Hello. So like, I also noticed like last time I used to watch games, mm. then I watch highlights. Uh, yeah, right. I watch Paul post game reports. Yeah, you just want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just listen to two person Discuss. talking about post games. Yeah. <laughs> it's, in, it's it's quite interesting yeah, because mm. you you want to see their perspective that you yeah. maybe missed out on yeah so so like to unwind just now like why I asked like the difference between an eleven o'clock podcast between a three o'clock podcast oh so you're saying you want to find the sweet spot where you get the yeah. best out of the yeah so it's like if it's a weekday it's a weekend again huge difference one is against jam one is like nothing mm. yeah. And right, so like this one, they might be a press of dinner, they might be a press of meetings, different oh, true, feeling. True, true. Yeah, right, yeah. Right, right. right. So like three o'clock, like we need to finish up at six p.m. It's a dinner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you need to rush certain things. Then like all these kind of nuances, it affects the conversation. Have you ever changed sitting sideways? Uh, <laughs> I changed once because there was a guest that said my angle is better. Mm. Yeah, like why? Well, I just change. Yeah, so like will it? So that is where like I test. I will experiment all things. You see, this it, it goes back to the original question of like, when do you quit, right? Mm. Because for me, consistency is always key. Whether it's bad or good, I love consistency because mm. I know how to predict and I know how to do. So this whole table setup, right? I truly enjoy. Mm. And we only made it better by adding curtains. Yeah. Prior to this, no curtains. But I felt like that was what was missing in the podcast. Mm -hmm. When you have like walls behind you or the illusion of, it gives you that feeling of- Enclosement. Yeah, yeah. then you, yeah. you really can bring out more. And before this, it wasn't that good because there was no light. So mm. it was very bright. You can watch like, the first time. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was no intimacy. And that's why I say nighttime is also the best because you know it's night. Mm. You know it's dark. You know you're enclosed. And it's kind of that whole, no pun in that Yamcha session where at night you drink yeah, with your yeah, friends. Yeah. Mm -mm. Right? And that's what brings out the really best in it. But if you were to tweak the table and all that, how do you know whether it will be a success? Mm. Metrics wise, like, you know? That's you the try and find out though. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's the it. thing that I will try and to accept that, okay, maybe there's no correlation. Mm. Yeah, but like if this table is vertically, then the distance of us is further. It will feel different. You know, fun fact, uh, there is a podcast that is, looks exactly like Yamcha Sessions. Mm. It's by Ang Mor dude. He's mm. got like five hundred k subscribers. It is literally what you said. The table is like that. It's damn mm. far, and they have no headphones. You know, which I find very strange. Mm. Like I don't know how you have a conversation across such a long table and be intimate, law. I don't know how they do it. Yeah, so this is like the things that like, if you yeah. want to pursue excellence, right? Like. Trial and error. Action is one thing. Like action shouldn't even be a conversation. You need to do the work. Yeah. So after doing the work, having that awareness of improving all the small little things, mm. like the the sh like for me, if I go review right, the shirt that I wear, I don't. I need to be a color or a design that I don't even care. Because if every time I lift up the camera, right, is this angle good? Oh. That slows me down. 
Right. Or like, is there going to be a stain? Or is there going to be this? Hey, then you will be a, 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 a distraction for the oh, audience. And then like, yeah. okay, so it, it, it needs to be that. So once I change all sports wear, right? That's it. Soft. My speed. Then the amount of footwear I wear. A6, right? I remember you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you A6, uh. yeah, yeah. yeah. So then everyone, then the, <clears throat> this is the dynamics of the auntie now. You look and you only look back, right? When you look back, then you say, oh, those are the things that you, okay. If try, 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 works, adopt. Try, 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 works, adopt. Then you know the layers that work. Uh, and uh, those who don't, uh, you know, like. This is going to set you apart from somebody who just started. Oh, yeah. Mm. Because you have that platform already, uh, which you can experiment with uh, that so number. I didn't put, it, put this out publicly, la, right? But uh, there are certain things that I put in video where a normal person who like, I want to be like Sean, right? But after you look through all the videos, you don't want really. It's to eliminate competition as well. What are those things? Like, okay. So this is a game that I play with myself every, almost <laughs> every week. Uh. If I'm a new guy trying to be the next property YouTuber. face or YouTuber or influencer in Malaysia, right? Who's the guy to beat? Sean? No? Uh. How do I beat him? He's in YouTube only, right? Let's check it how in uh, TikTok. Shit. This guy right. already dominated. Uh. On Instagram. Shit. <coughs> on Mandarin. Oh, that might be my loophole. Well, That's why until next week. Shit. Uh, <laughs> until next week, I'm in. Then, or oh, Xiao Hongsu. Xiao Hongsu is yes. like, a, uh, I'm in. Almost. Right, I'm getting ready already. Then like, oh, Spotify, he don't have one. Uh. Oh, shit. Podcast. Uh, then like, okay, let's go into like, he only talks about property, but he don't have podcast. Right? Oh, shit. Let's do reaction. Uh. I think reaction video is going to oh, work. Gosh. Done. Everything done. <laughs> Damn. Now try. Mm. But you have the number, so technically, if even if you try and you notice, you can adapt and then do it your own also. Yeah. So yeah. like, there will be certain episodes where it's trash. <laughs> My yeah. first attempt, right? Like, the views like two thousand. I do all this for two thousand views, but I know that it's not working. So so that is like in. Of course, I'm doing this to have betterment or in. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what's right? good and what doesn't work. So indirectly, uh, the action actually proves other people's inaction. Oh, ah, true, true, I true, see. true. Like everyone, yes, like, what, what, uh, everyone like, think of it, think of it, but he see, keeps trying and trying. Like On Tuesday, I ask people, do you guys want to come in? Thursday, I shoot the episode when it's Friday, it's out. That's quite wild, bro. When I saw that, I was like, Dude, wait, didn't you just ask this like a few days back? Uh, yeah, lo? but that's the benefit of solo also. Solo, yeah, you so go fast. Correct, correct, fast, correct, bro. Correct. So then like now, oh, I need to do an event already. I saw that. Do congrats by the way, that's fucking insane. And then in what, now, what event is this? It's like a meet and greet. So a lot of people ask me oh. to do a meet and greet. So like, if okay, nah, people if I rent something, right? Then no people come, it would be so weird. Yeah. <laughs> but there are like three cafes that offer straight up. It's quite wild. Right? A lot of like behind the scenes, they want to like, want to sponsor. I see. But I so like, that I, now I think of the format. If like zero entry fee. I go, I go uh, toilet, sorry. Yeah, you uh. got the benefits of, then do I want to make money of the event? Right, 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 right. So if I break even, then fine. But if I want to make money, then so what's the format like? Do yeah. I get uh, property friends come in and just set up a booth? Right. But you guys be very upfront. Like it's not, no one's going to buy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be brand awareness. <laughs> Up to you all, right? Like what's the goal? Yeah. yeah, so that is the discussion that I have with myself. Then like, hmm, what's the format like? It's going to be like 50 people. Mm. But what if a lot of people come? Yeah, hello. You have to cater to zero and a, and, and a thousand maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. So like how, like the flexibility, like how do I get co early confirmation and all and all this kind of thing? Uh? I see. Then uh, like, it's just like when I did the NFT meetups or so, it was alone, me. Right. With that bunch of people. Wow, very strange dynamic actually. Yeah, then these are the people that I've met some, not met all. So the some is like, are you, oh yeah, everyone knows me, yeah. but I don't know them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then right from the standard, okay, we go see property together. So how are you? What you are doing here? Then gotta do everything alone. Touring around a oh, development. That's a shit ton of work, man. Mm. When, so, is this hap when is this event happening? I have no clue yet. Oh. But I just need to do it. Oh. Where everyone <laughs> said yes. Ma. Yeah. So, so this, yeah. if you notice the pattern, it's like the NFT project that I mm. announced last year. I put it out there. Now everybody's looking forward to it. Yeah, they no choice, uh, basically. Yeah. yeah. Because monetarily, in terms of achievement, I don't need it. For sure. How uh, much can you make la, out of an event? Let's yeah, 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 yeah. Can, like, if I want to do it, like, like those, like, they outside wearing suit and tie. <laughs> <laughs> Entrance fee, 200 bucks. Yeah, 200 yeah. bucks, then there's a sign of further 
program of 2000. Uh, oh, wow, wow. Very familiar this one. MCO <laughs> got a lot of this. Eh? You can go mastery, then it's 20,000 yeah, and yeah. all this kind of thing. Sean's masterclass. Yeah, but then that's the that's the same pattern I'm going through again, like again, almost the same time. Uh, so is this your your 2022 goal or what? Uh, or 22, 2022 kind of thing. thing right? mm-hmm. uh. Because I really want to do more for the people that bring me to where am I today. I see. Like, like honestly speaking, like without the channel, right? I don't think I'm even close in terms of happiness level. Is it? Mm. Actually, we're doing an event soon also. To mm. do, but we like have to confirm the date. Mm. We're somewhere in January. We're supposed to invite all the guests that come on to mm. the podcast. That'd be cool, man. It's fucking cool, right? right. So, so, so I also play with the idea of like, if I were to do a podcast with a guest, then I have live audiences. <laughs> Ayo, <you're laughs> Sean. Right? All three of us are grinning because we have the exact same idea. Motherfucker. It's n- okay, so that's uh, why ideas are worthless. Unless right. action. Execution. execution. Execution is everything. I've been looking for a lot to do it. Mm. Yeah. So it's no need to be, so like, then this is the resourcefulness part. I guess do it here, have people at the, behind the camp with Jock. So Jock now got a company. So <laughs> <laughs> Not so lonely there. <laughs> Mother, <laughs> this fella, why you talk so long? <laughs> <laughs> it's doable. It's just that the, I feel like the dynamic might be different. Of but course. it's a feeling, lah. So you know it's action and before you understand, lah, right? Technically. I'm so into it, right? Where like I do the reaction series. Yeah. It was so one-sided in the first episode. Second episode, I requested an audience that which my staff to sit in. Then I can kind of communicate to mm. the audience, but you are the camera. Then right, you feel right, like I'm right. speaking oh, to somebody. Oh, it's like a what's that called? Unbox therapy, who is he's talking ah. to the camera guy? Ah, yeah, so yeah. So okay. it adds another dynamic and it's on purpose. Yeah. Then after that, then I speak to the I speak to the camera as if you are part of a conversation. Oh, yeah, oh, you feel very I included. It. I get ah, it. I so get I want it. to break that wall. Yeah. Uh, then it's all intentional. Like other people, are like, oh, Sean, like, you this. Then I learn. Uh, so, like, did people notice it? Did people don't notice it? Like, then you keep tweaking and keep tweaking, keep tweaking. Uh. But going back to the gratitude part is I really want to bring as much value as possible, right? If a person like, whenever I see like yesterday, one of the Instagram is like, I'm having a tough time, but going through your post made me feel better. Like I can, as, as if I can really do it. You know how much work is that for a person? Like you want to motivate your friend like, hey, I'm down that way. Come on, we go drink. Uh, go make feel, <laughs> go hug him up, right? How much effort is so required? Long. But a post from can a person motivate. that you barely know, right? Can motivate. Oh, oof. Yeah, man. It's true, right? Don't you think? Yeah, there's when, real value right there, actually. Uh, you then, basically altered this person's life if you think about it. Mm. Yeah, so then like this audience that bought one, two, three properties now going somewhere else to hustle harder. Oh, damn it. Then like, oh, Sean, I'm going to build a podcast. Then I'm going to have you to be my guest. Like, not uh, below 1,000, I'm not going to come. Is, it, is that your new cap? No, no, no. So it indirectly... You motivate the fellow to get 1,000. I first, immediately uh. set a goal for you. Yeah. Doing or not is no longer a conversation. Mm-hmm. It's how yeah. to get 1,000. Yeah. Then immediately. You, get, uh. you, know, like, you know when your guys start, do we want to do this or not? Do we want to do that? Or not? Do we want to do like, uh, if you want uh, 100 people, then I come. Uh. Hey, how do we get 100 people? Uh? Do we share like, everyone? Like, yeah, <laughs> you find solution to the next problem. Uh. Immediately action starts. Yeah. Again, yeah. like that all this kind of question thing. Like. And now I'm really obsessed with this kind of like, I recently unpacked, right? Because now the conversation is like not how to buy property or why buy property or whatever, right? It's I want to make more money so I can buy more f- to have better security or whatever. Then I'm in a job, different setting. I'm in my own business, different setting. I'm doing my own hustling, different setting. But the... Mindset of success, right, applies to all on it. Because you want to concurrently be successful in all all pla- all mm-hmm. uh, pillars, man, right? Yeah. Then the this is then that mindset where I'm still I haven't really got a real grasp of it, but the motivational thing that I write all, all the time on Instagram is not intended when. Huh? Serious? Uh? That's the only thing I like because I want to really push myself to write more. Oh, I see, I see. So like now you wake me up, I write a post, I was just like, like before the podcast, I was writing, I was writing a copy for a project. Oh, fuck, you are non-stop, bro. (laughs) 
So I finished the video uh, I was rendering. Then I bring my kid and my wife out for breakfast. When I come back, then it's completed. Ma. Then I upload on PC. Then on my, on my drive here, by the time I park, the video is uploaded. Then I write the title. Then I saw you. Then I come back up. <laughs> then I left a the copy. Then I finish a the copy here. Then I upload. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> but I think, you know, it's, it's just about like arranging the pockets of time. Actually, yeah. that one is the, the truth. La, to be fair. La. Yeah. Like Jen always asks me what I'm on my phone. I'm like replying to fucking a lot of comments. Then mm. she's like, can I just do it? Then when she sees the DMs or the WhatsApp, mm. when it comes to work and all that, then she's like, just do it. But people don't understand that you can fit these pockets of time. You can do it one. Mm. But for me, I always prioritize being, I try very hard to be present. Oh, different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So like when I choose to be present, it's like I focus the present. I, I really, even when I was doing Insta story, I really hate doing Insta story when the guest is there already. Like, but like, it's just do it because you know that the guest is there and like you mm. do it. But I, I always try to be damn present, which is very difficult like, because now these is on their phone and it's for meaningless shit also a lot of, a lot yeah. of times. But they equate the meaningless with meaningful also ma, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, you know? yes. Yeah. So what are you guys going to do? Like, are you guys going to pull that off? The event thing? The event thing for sure, because uh, the guest, two guests before you are. How's the guests, format like? I've, uh, it's just a coffee training session that people get to network, get oh. to put more thought into it. But what mm. do you think? I think it's just the thought of everybody there and then the Patreon members will want to invite. Mm. It'd be quite nice. Because I think if everybody's been on here before, quite nice to meet each other and mm. talk, talk, oh, talk. Oh, meaning only guests. La. Guests and Patreon maybe. Oh, okay. See how, okay. yeah. yeah. But it's quite tough because like, it's quite diverse, uh, the background. I, mm. Yeah, I don't think, I, I think the preliminary thought is, or the goal rather, is just for everyone to say hi. Mm. To chat, nice. yeah. right? Which is just a nice feeling. But really because of the diversity, there should be some structure put in place. Mm. That's my sense. Uh. There should be something for everyone to collectively do or... Hence the whole coffee training. But before even the coffee training, right? Like guests of podcasts will reach out to each other already when? Huh? Like Wingong and me? The one is you and him, bro. I think you're off. You guys are quite the rare, unique. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I think so, la, dude. Mm. I think so, la. Then, like, because of the, the bones one, then I go and buy the pork chop. Oh, down to bones. Oh, down to bones. Uh, yeah. And then... But do you speak mm. to him? Do you drink it? No, no, I just, I just order food and eat. La. They're like, oh, podcast. Like, I could have chose so many other cuisines. But you chose the... But then like, oh, this guy is part of Siam Cha. Okay lah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the same 200 bucks is going to go to him. Yeah, yeah. So if there's a coffee person that comes to the channel, then if he, I know his cafe, right? If I can order, then I would just buy lah. Actually, uh, Mike, his caramel popcorn coffee Shit thing. is fucking good. Yeah, man. Oh my God, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's not sweet. It's just the scent. Yeah. It's really so, good. So it's really good. To me, it's like, uh, <clears throat> if I have the same amount of money to be spent, right? I will spend better I spend on somebody that I know is going to be very meaningful too. Mm. Yeah, long, true, yeah, long true, true. yeah, so. And you know of. Instead of just putting in on a commercial yeah. Yeah. business. Right. Right. You're, you're, you're yeah. just part of PL, and yeah. 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 But then uh, Mike is off. He offered the venue and the whole training thing. Mm. So we just like come in there. We just we say hi to everybody. Then we just participate. Mm. Kind of like a day out that thing. Long. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. Make, make a vlog out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> probably would. Probably would. Why probably mask, man? You know how to promote to the next guest. <laughs> True. So I then, mean, you confirm we'll vlog about so, it. So the next, I confirm we'll vlog about so it. Then la. the next it's session, right, is like people want to pay to come on the podcast. To come, come to pay to the coffee practice. Oh, oh I see. I the see. coffee training. Yeah, uh, probably. Because Mike also, I think he has this genuine, uh, I want to, I, he believes that coffee unites people, unite people. And I also feel the same way. It's like a drink, right? Everyone drinks the same Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, so that's why he wants to do it, and I, I, I love that. So mm. the event space also quite nice. Mm. It's in Pucho. So thinking of doing that, I just need to plan ahead. And Poigi has a wedding that he has to. Mm. He's getting married end of this mm. year. Mm -hmm. So the timelines are a bit here and there. And I also want to produce the new Yamcha shirt also lah. Mm. Yeah lo. Then can give everybody or whatever. Also, oh, I'm in this year's shirt again. No, no, I no, think no, the we next won't one. be having faces on the shirt. I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Probably yeah. not the best idea. <laughs> not so good lah. The this round with the faces. I think it's because people like the design more than the faces. Just Ab about t-shirts, right? Like last time in uh, <coughs> back in Southern days when I was a developer. Everyone, Southern days. No, Southern, Southern. <laughs> yeah. So so uh, we we try to give t-shirts so people walk around without shirts like advertisement, advertise, right? Mm. So if it's done really well, then everyone thinks it's cool until your construction workers just wear it out. Oh, Ayo. yeah. Oh. 
So the one of the China developers, he gives out like jerseys, football jerseys with the sponsors. Oh, oh, oh. Very like sponsors, man. Then when you go to Pasamalam, it's everywhere. So it's good and bad, lah. Right. Then until you see them doing dumb stuff, then your the people take your a picture, then your brand is there. Oh no! Ooh. Yeah, so something will be. But that's problem. why we don't produce a lot. Mm. I produce less than a hundred, the type uh. of thing, and then we just all chip in our money, the hundred shirts, and whoever want, then yeah. just take law. Yeah. And we, I always believe it's the quality, uh, so that when you wear it, mm. you wear for a long time. And but, but it's weird, don't know, Then if I, <laughs> I can only imagine that one of the guys that wear, uh. then the table behind, uh, the, the guy behind not. Sean, man. That's Sean, his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you have the black one, right? I think. I have the first version. Uh, the black yeah, one. Black one, black one. one yeah. Bro, you know, right? I don't know how to write Chinese, right? Uh. But then I I, go- I Google translated uh, what good sounding shit. Uh. I literally just searched uh. like Google translate good sounding shit and it translated to dog shit. Uh. Then everybody's wearing the Chinese dog shit. Dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's thick though. That's what like now. It feels good, right? Mm. I think so. La. I mean, that's why we went for it. That was yeah. a good call by you. I was opting for economical, make sure don't lose money kind of thing. Mm-hmm. The, but you wear for a long time. Like even today, we still wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, I don't want to ruin the design because I feel like, ayo, mm. better don't wear so often. Uh. Wear my lousy shirt. Uh. Then I keep the nice one only when we do podcasts or when you go out. Yeah, man. Yeah, I was, I was playing around with the t-shirt idea, so merchandising. Uh. Like, I want to have a shirt that went here. There's a burrito here. <laughs> Dude, I would totally buy it. It's quite cool, uh. I would one hundred percent buy it. So it's you know, only people would know. Who oh, yeah, would know if you know, know, you know kind of thing. Uh, uh, so yeah. Why burrito? Uh? Then, like, why Sean teacher? Why got burrito and uh? These are certain things I feel like I learned the little secrets. Like you remember, you know when you posted the banana emoji uh, in yeah, the yeah. Uh, the podcast prior, right? Yeah, I was like thinking, why are they every posting that shit? Uh? I forgot I'm the one who said uh, uh, yeah. you should you should. Yeah. Put that shit right. Mm. Then I'm like, what's happening? Then I go scroll, scroll, scroll. Then I'm like, why everybody post the same emoji? Uh? Then I scroll through the video, scroll, scroll, scroll. I'm like, oh, you're too, I forgot I'm the one who said you should post the emoji down there, right? Mm. Meaning you, you reach that level of then only. I'm falling for my own trap, bro. Yeah. Because I forgot. Yeah. 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 Is there a burrito emoji? I think got right. Let's Google it a little bit, bro. I don't think so. Got huh? right. Got it. Got it. You know, if you're listening until now, you put a burrito emoji. <laughs> oh, there is a burrito emoji. Yeah. You see, I think that's that's the key thing you should do. So because people are in, in, they're inquisitive, right? So this is when I like when I watch K-pop uh. again. Me being me, there needs to be a clear difference of fans and super fans. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I kind of like then the super fans will sh- whoa, they will, they hate you, man. I kind of like this when they are in the concerts, right? you can see who is super fans. Right? So, you know, in K-pop, there are certain songs where they purposely put in a window of sound so to let the fans cheer back. Yes, yes, yes. Sing back, la, so to speak, right? Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, then they will be chanting, like, especially in those SNSD days. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, yes, I yeah. went all the way back, bro. Yeah, like, no. from, from like the, what's the? It's Blackpink. Twinch, a uh, Twitch. No, not Twitch. Was twice. Uh, twice. Oh, twice. Uh, uh, twice. Then the all the Blackpink all they went through all. Then you look at the how they designed the song. Yeah. They are viral for a reason, man. It's orchestrated, bro. Korean yeah. shit orchestrated as fuck, man. Yeah. So then how is how to unpack that? So now only I learned is there needs to be a definition of when everyone likes Yamsa session. Uh. There needs to be an insider. Uh, insider mm. group. How do you then differentiate? Like, oh, he's the normal fan. Right, not right, the right. Oh, very interesting. So like, yeah. I think in co- collection also, like everyone has a submariner, but he has a five five one three. Or he has the five five one. Yeah. So he has the or he has the this version one. He has the Tiffany one. He has the there's uh, always the new, the small little things within the the community that the the hardcore fans would know. Yeah. Unfortunately, I know what it is, and it's not very nice, lah. Uh. It's the which two anime girls you're gonna smash, lah. <laughs> Oh, you fuck. Uh. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a right, branding so that right. we already, bro. Yeah, so, but that, you know, <laughs> that's why it's like, uh, look back into the MJ episode, I look back a lot. Then, like, this is the question that sometimes, like, is it a good thing that you lost it? Or is it a good thing that you bring it back? Then, like, you want to alter it in a way? Then, or is it, it can be part of the t shirt design? It <laughs> is part of the t shirt design, bro. It's which two enemy girls you want to smash? It's on the back of the shirt, the uh, black one, uh, not the white really? one. It is. Jesus. I write out a lot of, like, 
those uh, Easter eggs over there. Uh, <laughs> you know, so, so, you know, so you, when you look into it, right, then like A or B, so you just put two boxes, which one would you, <laughs> which one would you, question mark. Right. Then all, everyone will get it. Yeah, true. Hardcore la, fans will get it. Yeah, true lah, true. Mm. Okay lah, that one is at least more politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> but then ultimately, there's a book again that 100 true fans. That's all you need. 100 true 1, fans. 1,000, sorry. Or 1,000 true fans. Mm. Not, not saying that 3,000 here not all full. But la. it's the hardcore shit you need, mm. right? Yeah, so, yeah. And that's all you need. That's all you need for a company, for a business, or forever. Is it yeah. even for a company? Yes. Yes, your 1,000 core users. It's the 80 20 rule, bro. Please enlighten me. 80 20 rule. 20, 20% of. Of, of gen, okay, this is a very general statement, like, but twenty percent mm. of your customers will contribute eighty percent of your revenue. Mm. Oh wow! Right, or like in general, like, it's not just your revenue and costs and whatever, mm-hmm. like, right? It's like general life principles. Twenty percent will contribute eighty percent, and it's also a symptom. It's a fancy way of saying it's a fucking bell curve, like, Okay, mm. right. You've got your normal distribution, aka your eighty percent. Then you've got your outliers, aka your twenty percent. So twenty percent holds a lot of impact. Mm. Right. You say you're running a like I used to run fetch, right? Uh, 20% of your customers will die, die. Fucking hardcore. And they will spend like thousand bucks on their pets. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? I'm not sure, mm-hmm. right? But then they'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Then they'll contribute most of the revenue. Then you just make sure there's 20 of them fucking happy, right? Mm. It's your core clients in a way. That yeah, essentially. Mm. So it's that 20% that really, it's, okay, it's like properties or so. It's like watches or so. You're going to have one person with 50 watches. Easier to find than 5,000 people with one. Oh, I see. Mm. I see. Because that's the die hard. Ah. So if you have that one, if you do need to build that 1,000 die hard, set for life. True that. But the 1,000 die hard, very hard to find. La. So you gotta slowly, gotta slowly yeah. build. La. So that's why whenever I post a video, I am helping one person at a time. Ah, so you get to that 1,000 number. I, oh, I, I genuinely try to help everybody that reach out to me. I try to be nice all the time. I, mm. I always just, even if I'm damn fucking busy, I mm. work until 3 a.m. I like, <sighs> I look through the DMs and I just reply to every single mm. one. And if people reach out, if because they're depressed or whatever, I always take time on. I always take time for people. On. I know what it's like to go through that. Yeah, so it's the same. Lah. Yeah. So like, like one is one guy. Yeah. But when the one guy, so like now I'm kind of, okay, it's again, this part of this big master plan. But like that one guy that buys the property already benefited from it. So now he is the micro Influencer. property guy yeah. within the family. Oh. So he's like the Sean Tan ambassador. <laughs> he's yeah. the Sean Tan of his family. <laughs> yeah. The Sean Tan virus. So, so so suddenly whenever there's a gathering, hey, we talk about property. Hey, you go buy it. Oh, I got two or three already. <gasps> How you did it? So you're going to do this. You're going to How you learn it oh, from Sean? Guess what? <laughs> Everyone's like, oh yeah. And then he's gonna feel what I feel initially. Then he's gonna like tell people what to do, what not to yeah, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, because the information is there, well, uh, it's just it's condensed and he's the micro influencer in his family. He just a face to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so like when you see something done in US by a Malaysian dude did it, oh, then it starts spreading. Yeah. Without yeah. me doing anything. Me, me still chilling, doing my own thing. Mm. Not 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 chilling lah, but casualness <laughs> <laughs> within you. Uh, so still doing all the things. But I'm he's doing the marketing for you in a way. Mm. He's doing the marketing for you yeah. because people are gonna want to know how they how he got that information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is the, and this is like not done, uh, in, as part of the master plan. But you need to do good first. The principle of everything, right? If there's anything like I still see, oh, okay, I want to, like a what? I want sales. Uh, sales. Oh, salesy. Oh, yeah. oh, like you're trying to sell. Okay. Oh, hey, Sean, try to sell this project. Is it? Why keep seeing this project? Damn good. Uh? Why? Uh? Why? Uh? Then you lose the. Then then people find out the salesperson actually, oh, you know, he got commission one. Uh. Then you know. Uh, it then just, that's, you lose everything. That's uh. it. You lose your, your credibility. You lose everything. Mm. Yeah. That's why, like, that's when you ask back again, right? That's why the proudness of zero commission? That's the deal breaker. Yeah, man. I think credibility is also difficult because you can lose it, and not only that, like the you're, because you're because we are in this spotlight, right, where people are always watching, right. You are eyes are always on you. Mm. So even if the little things you do, right, 
like let's say you you I was I'm using a different phone. Let's say uh, you know I'm using an iPhone for the longest time. Suddenly mm. I just using Huawei, right? People mm. sus as fuck already. They're like, why is this guy doing this? This 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 mm. this. Then you sort of like you know, right? And th- this is the problem I have with a lot of large influencers, because the brand is so big. You know, it alters your opinion, mm. and then you know you cannot trust this guy's opinion because he can be bought. Mm. You know, even the the bottom step one, right? I felt like, are you how uh, how do we mm. how do we do this? To not make it sound like, mm. it's, it, to me it's, it's uh, you know? it came naturally because as long as my sponsors are non property people, yeah, I see. That was true, fair lah. That was easier. Yeah. So to me, it's like, eh, being in the niche is not that bad. Mm. Anything like I'm now like talking to a then a toothbrush person, ah. electric toothbrush. Oh, Name is this Zenium? Zenium, ah. I think so. Oh, Zenium is so good, bro. I use Zenium. Really? Yeah. You use, you, the sponsor is Zenium, is it? Bro, it's damn good. Is Shit, it? I forgot that. Zenium is really good. Zenium is the only one I know. I mean, there's Oral-B, there's a lot. La. No, I mean, the, the only niche one I know. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh. Zenium is really good. But for uh, for me personally, I found it quite challenging, but mm. the discussion was as long as it's advertising and it's the content, mm. it's okay. Is it Zenium? I didn't check. Oh. Later. Uh, but as long as I could divide those two, then mm. I'm very happy. Because mm. when I look at Joe, Joe Rogan, I, we model this after that. La. So when you look at how he distinguishes between the ad and the, the content, I think that's fair. Mm. People know there's an ad and people know there's that. Mm. And I personally wouldn't take up brands that I don't like. Personally, la, I don't know. Yeah, la, yeah, la, yeah. You know? so, so that's the... Like people ask me what kind of shoe I wear. That was <laughs> the like... And... I with the bottom bottom slap guys, right? Uh. I know the back end who is buying, uh. and it broke my belief. A lot of people buy via my link. Is it? And so we, we kind of had this conversation as well. Unfortunately, like not for us, uh. mm. Unfortunately, not for us. <laughs> <laughs> the sales was okay, actually. I mean, it's not 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 horrendous. It's just the the ROI perspective. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. So like mine was. I think it's because it targets the right people. Ours is too is too broad. Mm. I was very broad, you see, like, yeah. and bottom slap only caters to males, mm. so it's quite unfortunate, right? Mine like, is all males. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, for sure, lah. <laughs> Property, ma. Oh. So I was, you know, like, but to me, like, it's like you are getting paid indirectly to learn. Yeah. Like, sure so, like, I always wondered, what if I carry an apparel brand? Then, like, mm. then a lot of other influencers kind of DM me, like. Why did you market right as if it's your brand? We, are we talking about bottom slap? We talking about yeah, ASICs? yeah. Oh, bottom slap. Uh, so like the way you shoot ads for it, the way you mm-hmm. put it out there, the way you take pictures for it, <clears throat> is like it's so intentional. I really put in a lot of effort just to bring it out, like not as like you know people like describe the brand or whatsoever, describe the features. I did nothing of that, just because I wear. And I think that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. I can tell your ad is slightly, it's actually not slightly, it's immensely different. Mm. You don't, he doesn't talk about the whatever USPs on the, mm. it's just his life with it. That's about it. Yeah. Mm. That's how we buy things. But technically we did the same also. The oh. beginning, no, but eventually, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tied our personal stories to it. Yeah. Mm. But obviously your one is out and about. Ours is, we are seated here. Lah. <laughs> so, so eventually that will be the, so that's the level of branding collaboration. No? I feel like I low key want to be sponsored by ASICs, but at the same time, I also don't want to be sponsored as much. I have this like 50 50 inside me. Because sometimes sometimes when you have that sponsor, you feel as if like, I don't know whether you, you went through the same thing, but do you feel as if that's an obligation? No. No obligation. Okay, this is from a person who don't care about what he wears. Oh, okay. Okay. But what if it's something you do care about? Like? I don't know, bro. <laughs> what do you know? I cannot watch this. Uh, Omega only wants you to wear Omega only. Uh, maybe. No, oh. la, but, but of course Omega won't pick me. La, but I think, so like the things that I really care about is going to be impossible. Oh, what about G-Shock? G-Shock only want me to wear G-Shock. Uh. Then there will be a collaboration. There needs to be a discussion. Like Lee jong Uh-huh. he was sponsored by Yonex. Okay. Now he can only wear Yonex. Okay. So he, I kind of had this interview with him. La, so, the discussion was on lifestyle matters. I need to wear Nike. Wow. So then, 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 so brands we can work with one. So like maybe on formal settings, 
I will like all those Omega sponsors, right? On the red carpet, all wear Omegas, the constellation, uh, whatever. Mm. On private setting dinners, right? all wear Rolex, man. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> see. Yeah, like F1s last time when it was sponsored by Hublot. Then everywhere Hublot when they're at F1. Uh, la. And then after that, all changed back to Richard Mill and uh, Rolex. <laughs> So high la, this. So, so like this is when the brand like if you really tie me by obligation, it's gonna look bad. So like David Beckham also he cannot drink uh Pepsi ma. Even he go to any like KFC or whatever, right? I thought he's he sponsored needs to, by Pepsi. He's sponsored by Pepsi. Coke or Pepsi. Oh he can't drink Coca Cola. Okay, uh, okay, okay. He okay, cannot okay. drink Coca Cola. He need to pour into something. Like people cannot see one. Wow. Oh it depends on the scale is what you're saying. Depends mm-hmm. on the contract that you have with them. La. So now especially when everyone can take picture. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You're always on camera. Mm. Yeah, man. So, so the sponsor part is like, how I, I, I wish somebody would just sponsor my entire wardrobe. Then you know anything? Yes. So like when 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 bottom that came right, that was like a dream come true. Mm. Like I had a prototype of the latest shirt that they yeah, just man. Do we? I thought we were gonna get that. Uh, <sighs> too bad lah. Yeah. Different. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's the <laughs> competition. It's stupid shit. Yeah. I'm going to. You know, so like the. I got it then like, okay, if this is like legit, you want to just give me like, constantly give me shirts or whatever, I just wear, I just thank you once in a while, then I am absolutely fine. Yeah. Because I don't really care about my wardrobe. So if that's a hair guy or it's a like mouth guard guy or whatever, right? Mouth guard guy. Like the, there are dentists who try to like, just, hey, you just come and scale and do whatever because every time I smile or whatever. Oh, wow. Damn. Oh, very like interesting. A- and uh, then like, hey, where does uh, Sean like, now people asking like, where do I do my facials? How do I maintain my skin? A guy who don't or barely sleep works all the time. Yeah. Where do you go for your facials? In my wife's place. <laughs> <laughs> my wife will go, very good, then I go. But if it's intentional, like then uh, like other brands came up. Hey, name your price, then we will do for you. No then. kidding. Yeah. Wow, damn. So there was a laser one, then there's a teeth one, then there's a, uh, I lost weight then they also want to help but then like I didn't take up that offer because it means that I lost weight because of yeah your because product. of that yeah. not because of the PT yeah 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 but it's not because of the hard work and the dieting and the discipline yeah, yeah. no uh, so yeah so, but I wouldn't mind though mm-hmm. but again like, it must be a brand that you really like la. I think so too la, because but uh, no doubt uh, I like bottoms up mm. I really do it's just that like what if a brand came up to me and they offered shitload of money right I'll be so conflicted because the money does help a lot. But the money, okay, this is when, like, I was having this debate, like how much more I want to pursue. Mm. Uh huh. But uh, Gary V said this, uh, after he have 100,000 for his family, right? Yeah. Everything else is good. It's just a bonus. Like, it's essentially yeah. It. So to me, it's like, as long as I have my, my basic pay of this much, my family is all good. Like I lost money on the crypto a little bit here. Mm-hmm. It didn't make sense. That didn't make sense, right? To me, it's all nothing. If I were to lose all my properties, right? All good. Because that thing has been allocated for family already. So it counted yes. mm. Well, that's fair. Then, so mindfully, I will keep my money expenses to a very sustainable level. Yeah, so now is to, if I want to go higher on my money sustainability, I need to earn dramatically higher. Right, That's where right, the right. OPEX and KPEX come to play. Mm-hmm. I need a driver, I need a house assistant. So it's I an see. OPEX thing. Per month, sustainably, sustainably, how do I bulletproof 10,000? How do I do that? Uh, uh. And also these kind of things. Mm-hmm. So so this is good advice. It's good when, advice. When you start thinking like that, right? One million is nothing, you know, now. But every month, 10,000 is something. Because it's like workable at hand, mm. right? Whereas one million, I feel like you can't really use, w- I mean, you can, but you, you can't really use one million to your advantage up front immediately. Like 10K is a lot of potential mm-hmm. monthly. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, so that's the part of the goal also. But if that's why the part of the sponsorship, right? if like, okay, we're just gonna uh, give you like how many shirts, how many pants, and give you this amount of money to just wear and take pictures or whatever. Fine. That adds up to that. Then burrito is gonna get new shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because like we I, I, I don't know how I spoke to who like to for me to now walk into luxury brands right I'm so comfortable I walk into wash shops right like the Patea or Rolex uh. right and I have friends inside now wow. so easy 
Like I go there and I know every single product. But when I walk to, I can't even walk into LV. Why? Uh? I don't know. Cannot. Like, it's not you. Uh, you yeah. ask me to spend a little bit more time on in H&M or in other apparel brands, right? To go and buy a shirt or a jeans, right? My jeans torn. I got no other jeans left. Only I will buy. If not, I will just go and buy online. Mm. And if it cannot fit, right? I will just throw it. That that one that part doesn't make any sense. I feel like you should just go to H H&M and M and yeah, so, so, so Uniqlo, that you know? is where I like I cannot <laughs> I cannot comprehend. Like, this, this is where the self awareness I cannot. Uh-oh. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, to go into like I'm I need to forcefully uh, drag yourself into the a shop. Right. Like, even when I buy my shoe, right? It's within three minutes because my trainer tells me you need a flat shoe, so you need to actively put your thumb and your press your thumb and your uh, heels to the floor to fix your. Lick. Oh, oh, because you got flat foot, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so because injury, ma. So now oh, you actually got to do that. So you need a flat shoe instead of a, a he- like a like a he- rounded one. Uh, 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 so you got to actively do that. Okay, lor. So a brand, I think, is yeah, okay, lor. Then I go in. This one, lor. And I pick right. So I thought it was like a two three hundred shoe, right? That one is a ladder one. <laughs> so the one I bought is a ladder <gasps> one. That I didn't know. <laughs> sure. Then How like, much is it? it's like eight hundred, eight hundred. But oh, fuck. Then to me, like, whatever, like, right? my coach told me to get something, I get it. Get it. Get it. Also, I just get it there. Whoa, I don't know. But surprisingly, like, wow, it's excellent. Let's get it. Get it. The podcast, let's get it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the lesson. This is how I buy stuff. Oh. It's based on function law, I guess. Like immediate yeah. function when you need it. La. And then I didn't even notice that my wife, said, can I get one or so? And then we just go in and pick one. Yeah, just think, so this is a when like you have abundance, right? That you don't need to think about certain uh-huh. things like that. So so this is the benefit of it. Is la. there a dream brand you want to work with? Uh? Like like to sponsor to sponsor you? Like do you have a, a brand in mind? Because even if you ask me, right, actually I don't know. Maybe Uniqlo. Uniqlo would be pretty sick. 100% Uniqlo. No, I won't go that direction. I would go for an insurance brand. Huh. Huh? But it, I think it fits you well though. Like because... Meaning a, 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 a consultation brand or a... Or uh, like, okay, how to sort out your taxes? Ooh, I go for this guy. Uh, your insurance coverage, right? I can go all out, right? But I need to make sure my bank is protected, ma. These are the guys. They probably got a lot more money too. Uh, to be definitely, fair. yeah. To be fair, compared to yeah, like, yeah. like so, so like apparels. To me, like again, this is the faded Adidas shirt uh, that was sewn at the Katia there. <laughs> because it was torn. Yeah, also these kind of things like it doesn't really matter to me and my audience can really tell. Uh, mm, mm, mm. It doesn't really, I don't really yeah. care. I wonder what people think of me eh, now that I think about it. Because I feel like I'm quite chin chai also. Oh, mm. everybody here, I think, no, like, maybe me and Poi are quite chin chai. Chow and Andrew, like, they dress quite yeah, nice. Man. I look at what? Is there a dress code? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> don't have, don't have, don't hey, have. But you know, strangely enough, right? Like we, I don't really care about dress code until like we had to do very formal stuff. Like especially the two damn pot, right? Mm. Like we were having a discussion the night before and then Poigie was like, just go in with t-shirt. Mm. Then I was thinking, no, I think you better go in with the suit. La. Just go in with the suit. La. It's better to be safe than sorry. La. Yeah. So right, when uh, he was saying, okay, what, what about we, we wear t-shirt and we wear a coat on top. He was trying to find like middle ground. I'm like, just wear suit lah, bro. Yeah. Just in case lah. Wow, dude, luckily we did. About everybody that wearing suits, bro. My yeah, name. man. Imagine if we sat down lah. Uh, I think it would have ruined it, you know. Yes. Like, imagine if you sat Super down. Super good move, man. Right. Super good move, man. Like, okay, even if it's everyone else wears t-shirt there, right? But you in a suit, right? Someone gives you that position or that power to just equalize a little bit. It makes a big difference already, lah. Actually, it's not a bit. It's a lot already. Because so, even if he were to tell me, like, "Why are you so serious? Just uh, need to wear coat." Then I can dress down. You know, uh, I can take off my coat, fold on my sleeve. I'm like, okay, lah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I feel like, oh, you that time. But, but there is something actively that I'm working on. Like we, like Wing Kyung and I, we went to a event. the Rolex one. Uh-uh. I saw, bro. <sighs> wait, wait, please, please, go uh, on, go on. I got no shirts. <laughs> oh shit. Like, like button down shirts, uh. Uh, none of it like that. So the even the the only white one I have turned yellow. It's normal, bro. Don't uh, worry. Then, <laughs> then like then I couldn't fit because my physique changed. Mm. The shirt cannot fit in my <laughs> the arms. Yeah. So okay, then Chin Chai wear one. Uh. So that's why it was really tight. I got no slacks that this I can is. fit. Right. Then Chin Chai pick one. Uh. Then I got no shoes. I wear the palas. <laughs> and that was a shoe that I got. It's, 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 it's 38 bucks. 
<laughs> they got Rolex man. event. <laughs> yeah, so I go there and then everybody like scanning from top to bottom. So it looks looks better in some way or so. So, so, so to me, I don't care, but I'm going with a friend. So, uh, so the friend will indirectly be judged for bringing such a friend. True. Mm, so like, <clears throat> as as much as I don't care, I think appropriate dressing is important. La. Have to. La. Like, uh, in mass, bro. So I, to, I, I, initially when I came, like, should I just like dress up a little bit just to troll you guys? Fuck <laughs> uh. Suddenly I was just dressed in like suit, right? Then. Yeah. So, <laughs> my house nearby only bro, I'll drive back. Don't <laughs> fucking <everybody> test me. <laughs> like, oh, what is that Sean doing? <laughs> but, I, but that Rolex event, right? I was curious. I was going to ask you but I didn't want to like I feel yeah. like I don't know how to ask you and Vinkyo also yeah. la, right that Rolex event la, I was thinking right why would they do such a big event la, in the middle of pavilion la, but it's only for invitees I don't get that no la, got, uh, before that there's a public, open la. session for public man. I went in and I cannot see anything on you like what the hell it's beyond the watch is to celebrate so the Rolex the Explorer two-tone uh-huh. right uh, it, the the workmanship will be the story behind it, the inspiration before. Yeah. It's yellow, but before, I think the budget was carried over from COVID days. Oh, I see. Dude, the structural buildup is quite intense. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's quite intense. Uh. Many, a lot of wooden structure, which, you know, wooden structure mm. is throw away after that one. You know, so yeah. it's quite a waste. Uh, but. but it's a budget set. Ma. Yellow. Mm, then, and that's the thing, though, like sometimes when we do ads or we do content, right? Again, when McDonald's and Coke do ads, right? Who in the world don't know McDonald's and who in the world don't know Coke, right? Mm. They still do ads, eh? I was just having this conversation with Jen, but please continue. Then who (laughs) are you, right, to think about I'm famous enough, no need to run ads? Yeah. I'm borderline now, right? I'm borderline because I hit my numbers really on September for that whole year. Congrats. So I got three more months, right? Do I just flung all in, right? just to hype up my whole social. Imagine a person who is not collecting money. <laughs> from yeah, yeah. money. I'm going to put in money because that's because it's cheap. Like Facebook now ads is not that expensive. But f- I don't know about the Facebook ads part now. La. That's just personal. I feel like nobody is really on Facebook. But then again, maybe it's a new market, Mm-mm. you know? Yeah. So it's just like appropriate pricing. Before COVID, it was really expensive. Yeah. 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 But now it's like uh, they're going back a bit. La. Yeah. Yes. So, was, yeah. so the because of the design of the channel, it's done in a way where it's uh, it's bingeable. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Right. So you have phases. I got phases. So. Uh, I just get. I didn't. You get a person in, then he just go through the whole meal already. Yeah. So like uh, ambassador, an audience, stranger. The process of a stranger to an ambassador need you need this amount of content. Mm. So now what's the funnel here? Actively get people in, right. which is the ad la, the ad exposure mm. la. It's strange, you know, because I'm doing, so I work for my mom and I'm doing like peanut butter sampling. Ah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I was talking to Jen about, she, she loves the peanut butter and mm. I'm not sponsored by them, but mm. I do like the brand. Which, which brand is this? Uh, CN Loyal 1884. It's a mouthful. I keep telling them, you should what? just call yourself, you should Google it. I, yeah. I keep telling them, why don't you just call yourself CN? I thought 1884. <laughs> oh, something lah. Uh. Right. Something shorter lah. So this is the brand. All right, CN Loyal 1884. I think I eat them, bro. Wow. I just never knew the brand. <laughs> I ate it this morning, bro. Oh, serious? Uh? Fucking hell, mate. Brilliant brand, by the way. It's but just, honestly pretty good. It's hydrogenated, right? Yeah. It's just unfortunate yeah. that their name is quite a mm. mouthful. So I was telling Jen how like, uh, you know, I, I'm going to get this tomorrow mm. because we ran out. Then she was like, actually, how come I never hear of that brand before? I'm like, because they do sampling. Mm. And it's ironic because a lot of brands don't want to put money into marketing and advertising. It's so weird, you know. Mm. They think, right, it's overnight I can become a Milo. Yeah. Overnight I can become a Coco. You think it's what? Like, you put in 10 ringgit, suddenly you become Coco. Like, it's crazy, are you? Mm. Then I was, so I got a question for you, right? Name me a chocolate drink. Horlicks. He <laughs> purposely is intentional. <laughs> chocolate drink. Uh. Hershey's? Uh. You see, right? All these names, but it's unintentional because people normally will say Milo. Like mm, the average that? Malaysian yeah, will say yeah. Milo. I thought it's malt. I mean, like, I'm generalizing just color. Oh, yeah, oh you know, I think right? I got asked the question before that. That's why I like, and it's always Milo. Like. Uh, right? Or if let's say name me a soda, you'll say mm. Coke, right? Mm. So my point here is how did Milo and how did Coke achieve these type of things? And if you look at when you're a kid in school. Oh, it, it implant with you. And Milo drive to your school, give you free. 
Mm. And then uh, you line back up and then you try to untuck your shirt to make it look as if you're not like, I'm going to get yeah, a second cup yeah, yeah, yeah. or wear a hat or some shit, lah, right? Yeah. And after they've developed this for so long, and I hate my load, by the way. Mm. That's why people can remember it. And mm. that's why in the US, right? In America, if I ask you what, name me a chocolate drink in the US, people are like, what is a chocolate drink? Hot mm. chocolate? I don't know what brand. Uh. No brand one. The mm. answer is Nesquik, by the way. Mm. But it's a rubbish. Oh, right. It's Nesquik. Yeah, you yeah, see what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But they never, they never really thought about that. Mm. So when Jen was wondering, I was like, it's evident. But if you don't do branding, you don't do marketing, who will know who you are? Yeah. But <laughs> then also, like, I think the who, who said this? Uh, not everyone can do branding. Not everyone can do branding. So, so it's, it's a level kind of thing. Like, you can like you if you're good in sales, you okay. can go one by one. Mm. But if you're good marketing, can anytime tap out good sales. Right? True. It's true. Then good branding can anytime tap out good marketing. True. Wow, that's a really good analogy. Yeah, right? man. Uh, but not everyone can do good branding. Yeah. Back to that. Right. Branding is very difficult. So 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 if like for personal branding as well. So like now I'm do if you know that I'm doing branding. You are the property guy, ma. You, you're, there's no way that you can like the sales portion of things there's no way you can pay me yeah and it's on purpose there's no way like like I can set up a Patreon right to me I'd rather not because you can't be paid off to so so people are like it's by default you will owe me mm. Mm. that gives me the leverage I see I see I see then marketing is when okay I, Im- I put certain things like an event like a thing so there's a mechanism to things so like you can promote kind of thing. So I design yeah, the yeah. content in a way where it makes a person an ambassador in the family or things like that, right? Branding ultimately is just to give all out everything I have. You know? So, and a lot of people say like you are, a lot, this is funny. <laughs> Everyone tell me like, I cannot finish a video. It's like, is it possible to finish all your videos? I I'm mean, like, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> they, like <clears throat> they watch on Monday and weekends. So like Monday to Friday is when they will just not watch lah because no time lah. Uh. Then when they come on Saturday again, right, that's like five. They're overwhelmed. Oh, there's more influx than output lah. Uh, so then suddenly <laughs> that I need to kind of Dial. be mind, uh, be mindful about it because now there's the the, the bell button. Oh, the notification uh, button. So the, so like yeah. there are people who because in Facebook it's impossible to over upload, but on YouTube it kind of will. Unless yeah. it's a daily vlog. So it's a short one. Like imagine Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all property reviews, right? Then it's going to be a problem. Mm-hmm. Mm. Is that why you diversified to doing like reaction and all that as well? Yes. It's easier to... Yeah, so I it's like to it add sense. like, you eat only sashimis, right? You need some garlic, yeah. you need yeah. some <laughs> pickles, you, you need some the flavor a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's the whole design of things. Like after running a channel, then it's totally like, hmm. A lot of signs to it though. Then... Uh, on the facade, people only think that oh, Sean works really, really hard. But the mouth. So you look into the whole structure of the channel right now, right? It's just like a very good meal. Yeah. Oh, you mean but well balanced because uh, it has different types of content. Is what you're trying to say? Okay. Then, okay. Then when you eat, when it's so good, but it's free. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> then you then, then you sure you must tell your friends. Yeah. Right. Then you. Yeah, maybe actually that's the uh, reason why the this this Yamcha sessions thing also kind of grew faster than my vlog thing lah. Mm. Because right, I think there's a diversification of the people you have conversations with. Mm. So it's like you you know you're going to be speaking to you property mm. person, and then the next <laughs> this week, is good. Anyway, you know this episode is mean? going to disappoint every property person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah probably. <laughs> it has like two percent property content. <laughs> <laughs> but you will it will like have an insight on how you think as well. Mm. Because I think this is what, uh, you, a lot of times, right, it's like you want to learn about the operations on this channel. Mm. So it's like, oh, how you work as a vet, how you work as a doctor, how you yeah, work, yeah, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. But then like, when you really pass that level one, then level two is like deep dive. La. Maybe you know how you think. And people change, man. Mm. You know, still waiting for MJ to come by part three. La. I need to organize with him. La. I feel mm. quite bad. Though. Yeah. How many hours are we in now? Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> and it's not even intentional, right? Yeah, no, not at all, bro. It feels like 30 minutes, huh, maybe. You really can be five. Yeah. <laughs> but it's I mean, I think it's a testament, right? So sometimes like people listen to it, they might be disappointed that there's no property. La. But you know, maybe you learn something else also, ma. It's okay, right? 
four and a half without property topics. Eh. That only goes to show yeah, nice to talk is- to, ma. <laughs> Right? It's insane. There's no anime involved. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Not yet. No, no, yeah. Not, not yet. yet. With the Vegeta. Oh, I'm so into the 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 the, the, the song. You know Lisa? Yeah. Huh? Lisa is the, the Japanese Demon Slayer singer. one. Uh, 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 the, oh, um, that's the first take. <laughs> first take. Bro, uh, first take is God tier. It's so good. It's so good. Right? It's so Ooh. good. I thought you were talking about Lisa from Blackpink, bro. I also. I also like, <laughs> I was searching for her. Uh-huh. But I was in the K-pop and study, ma. Right, right K-pop yeah, study. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, study the why people react. Like, eh? Oh, they yeah, listen to this. Then like, <clears throat> that's how they start, right? Yeah, yeah. Then the, then <clears throat> okay, okay, master. Then, then, then people start playing the, <laughs> the music. piano yeah. and shit. Oh my god, it's insane. And it's like, I, okay, I don't know whether this is true, la. They say it's one take. It's one take, but how you know, la? I mean, really, how do we know, la? How do we know? Because I don't think it's in. Possi- even possible to like a uh, cut. I know, but there are a lot of people out there who sound and then they, they, they you switch cam to the piano playing. You know what oh. I mean? Can bro, you can one. Yeah la. You know, you know the Lisa Blackpink, she was doing this dance thing uh. and then she copied another fellow who do the dance thing. Then I was like, wow, Lisa is really good. Then Jen just looked at me, you're so fucking naive. Uh. <laughs> then she's like, behind the scenes, they already teach her la. Mm. Then I like, wow, you just destroyed my image of Lisa law. <laughs> Oh my God, I thought she's genius. She's like, I mean, you can believe that mm. if you want. But you know, it can be, but the branding is brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The branding of making it sound like his first day. You know, Avril Lavigne was in it. Yeah. Bro, Harry Avril Star- Lavigne. Harry Stars also. <laughs> yeah, Harry Stars. But I don't know why, right? I thought Avril Lavigne was dead. That's fucked up, man, bro. <laughs> no, I think, I don't know which news that she was overdosed or whatsoever. Is it? Yeah. So it's like, who, the, it's so like the, Steve, the, the, the Rocky, the- Sylvester Stallone. Uh, uh. Uh-huh. There was a lot of news that he was. Ah, uh, that one also, that one I know. But Avril Lavigne, man? Yeah. I also oh. thought, like, then suddenly, hey, she's alive. <laughs> and, her li- and her live singing is, oh, wow. Yeah, man. She got raw talent, man. Do you know she's actually married to someone that is related? No, oh, sorry, sorry, okay, okay. Her, I think it's her brother or sister, is married to a Japanese rocker. And that's how she got into the first take. Mm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so strange, right? But her style has always been the pop. Pop right. rock. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Very Hello Kitty influence. Harry. Yeah, actually true, true, true. The bright pink and shit. Mm. Yeah, man. But I think it's them really or not. You, you listen to the first take? I haven't seen it, no. <sighs> very clean. Uh. Oof. Very yeah, clean. Then, then I was in the coaching flight. Ma. There was only two songs inside. Uh. Uh, <laughs> before like, yo, no Wi-Fi or not. Then my Spotify cannot play. So I need to download two songs yeah. in, at the line. <laughs> I am desperate for entertainment. <laughs> yes. One and a half hours, eh? Then I need to just. Then I, do, I only managed to download two songs. Huh? Uh. One was the he, the Himura one. Oh, the Lisa one. Uh. Yeah, then oh. one was the the intro song. Oh, the whole trip is like, can I sleep one? How to sleep? Oh? The whole Demon Slayer yeah. scene is in my head. <laughs> <laughs> But it's coming out soon, right? Yeah. <laughs> next year, lah. Next year. Bro, I think if, if you are going to watch a new anime, I think this this month, October, Chainsaw Man is coming out. I think you'll enjoy it as well. Chainsaw Man? Yeah. Ooh. Chainsaw man. Ah, yeah, Don't trust me. You Chuck and Andrew are like this guy. Uh, Chainsaw uh, Man is uh, it's a new anime or uh, the manga has been released for a while. But the anime a, is coming. You out Google it, but it's like I don't know, just give it a shot lah. When it comes out, la, I'll, mm. I'll 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 PM him, don't worry. Yeah, this one. It's quite like neon color and shit, man. It looks like an NFT though. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like a lot of NFT looks like that. It's like quite gory and shit. And in in the beginning when I was reading it, I thought like, car fucker names is anime, manga, chainsaw man. It's like so gimmicky, right? So Japanese mm. gimmicky. Mm. Story is pretty good like, in my opinion. Andrew and Chalk back to differ. Definitely. Yeah. This uh, author, Fujimoto is, I think I will, oh. if I, I think he will be a director one day. He will stop manga and anime, in my opinion. Sorry? Ah, goodbye, Ari. Also, it's very good. But okay. I don't really read manga. But but then that's like uh last week I was in the pavilion Bukit Jalil, right? Uh. And then there was an anime fest there. Eh? <sighs> right, 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 right. Yeah, mad bro. The cosplay, right? Okay, this is gonna sound really like you guys are gonna hate me for this, right? If my kid were to dress up as uh. a cosplay and go there and impress people, I uh. think I will hit the shit out of him. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> You are spending so much time, so much resources okay. to dress yourself out, go there and just hang out. 
there was a okay okay so so so, so that was the initial that was okay. oh initial okay okay so like, if I were to do well, if you do that I'm gonna do this right but then after that I go and hang out then go and really go and see like the I actively push myself go and see sneaker la event uh. <laughs> Sneaker say, life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going. See, what is the hype about? Then you see uh. people hanging shoes around. Like, why? What are they doing? Then I, of course, I got friends there. Like, but then, like the anime fest or so. Then I look at people. Your normal life is I. Is it so miserable that you need to dress <laughs> into another different person to feel something else <laughs> or whatsoever? Then did your mindset change? I not sure yet. So, okay. but I don't feel as hateful. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? But then it's as it's borderline like you wear your favorite player's jersey. Uh-huh. Like you are kind of like you, quite you don't you are not proud of yourself that you need to put on somebody else's jersey just to feel like <laughs> I belong in a bigger yeah. family. That is like I, I felt that. Okay. Then okay. When, then when I looked more then okay, then I noticed that it's the quality of the cosplay that <laughs> quality. if it's a really good one, right? Then like, oh she's a pro. Mm. Then got one like the the entry like, level. The entry level the way the weak one. Oh, and then, yeah, then, yeah. then that that's why I feel hateful. Because right. it's quite terrible. Uh. It's either you go all in or don't go. But people start somewhere. Yeah. So that, again, like, this is then me being me. Internal conflict. Uh then I, yo. Then I, then I look at my kid. Do I intro him to any <laughs> <laughs> hey, your kid? You don't read the wrong kind of book. <laughs> <laughs> because you're gonna be like, it, like imagine demons say they are in, exposed to it, right? Whoa, I think it's going to be their religion. It's like Naruto to us, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. It will be. Yeah. It already is. Right? It so, like, is. the. What well, if you put in so much effort? By then, I'm going to be Himura. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hey, do you know who Hakken is or not? Hakken. Don't know that. Oh, you Google Hakken. My, 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 my memory for anime is after I finish it, I'm going to be hot for three hours and gone it. So this is Haken. It's the number one cosplayer in the world mm. from Sarawak. And like, I think the deals that she get is a lot of money, man. Mm. But it's just to post and to attend events and to go to interviews. That's it. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a celebrity. La. You know? Exactly my point. So if my kid were to want to pursue cosplay uh. as, it's either all in or don't go in. Or don't go. Maybe my my thing like, if you want to do it on a hobby hobby side, fine. <laughs> but just don't do it just because it's cool. Oh, do it because you truly enjoy it, lah. Yes. Ah, fair enough. But sometimes it's trial and error. I'm not defending them anyway. Yeah, I, yeah. I wouldn't do it because I feel it's too much effort. Uh-huh. Personally, feeling I've I've yeah. been to cosplay events and I feel like it's a lot of work. It's mad respect. We had a cosplayer on the podcast before. Uh, yeah. Before this, I had the very same mindset. I feel like why why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. Why why would you dress up to be something else? It's internal perception, but of course, you know, I, I'm curious, right? Yeah. But as I as I meet more and more, actually, I realize like, there's two things. One is like you said, it's a hobby and one is maybe you really enjoy it, right? Mm-hmm. Can be both also, la, but maybe they're just happy also. So, so you know, I just do it. La. Of course. So if it's your escape, uh, you, do it, you really like doing it, I will apply that whatever they whispered on the last hour, right? <laughs> yeah. Inch by inch, let's fix it. Uh, hair, how to do it? Uh, Eye, how to do it? Yeah, Props, how to sadiki, do sadiki, it? Sadiki, sadiki, lama, lama, menjadi bukit. Uh, uh. Go all out. Shoot TikTok videos, do marketing, do branding about it. Yeah. Reach out to your fans, build, and then it will be monetized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, so my girlfriend Jen, mm. her brother has a girlfriend name is Sonia. Mm. I think uh, so. She's a, she's a lawyer. She was on the podcast before as well. Mm. And then she, I think it was during COVID. She just decided, hey, I'm gonna watch anime. So she asked me and Jen for recommendations. Mm. Oh, I recommend you this, this, this. Bro, she's so deep in now. Uh. She cosplayer. I think in one month she had one thousand followers. Mm. Wow. Yeah, man. So deep. She just went all out. She just like, wow, this is fucking crazy. Yeah. Then to me, it's like you start holding peanut butter. Uh, <laughs> I think got it from that way. If you want, you if you really like something for it, right? There's always a way to monetize. And if you are so passionate about that thing, improving it feels effortless, man. Correct. It should come as right. second nature to you, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So because like, how do I look more like Suzuki? How do I look more like? How do I look mm. more inch by inch, that like, angle wise, and like, okay, lighting, camera yeah. tools, then. I think that's la. that's how Hakan got it though, actually. And also like you are blessed with features la. Oh, you have 100%. to be blessed with the features yeah. to do it la. I won't be surprised that you can you can put the plasticine yeah, to, uh, to harden it then. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't like uh 
I don't object plaster. The plastic surgery. Ah, plastic surgery. But I, if you want to dress up like an anime, right, make sure it's good looking. <laughs> this guy. True. <laughs> I mean, if it's an irreversible decision, yeah, you better be damn fucking sure. Lah. Mm-hmm. Generally speaking, right? Even in life, if it's an irreversible decision, you should be sure. So, so like it's it's like DJs must have big ones. Oh, big nanans. Uh, must, because it's a visual impact. So it's part of your career. True also. It's la. like, I need to buff up to play a certain sport. That's how I look at plastic surgery for DJs mm. also. Mm. I need to be really decent looking or my hair needs to be a certain way for a certain event. That's how people dress up. So to me, it's a... Re- a requirement to be a pro. I think so too. Like, you know, uh, there is this narrative in Hollywood where like, oh, you should be very inclusive and all that, right? You should have like fat superheroes or that. But I'm like, bro, actually, uh, truth be told, uh, wouldn't a superhero need to look jack? Uh? Yeah. Right, I don't know. Protect you. Yeah, bro. Like, I don't know how this stuff, like decisions are made, right? Where people can think that it's okay to have this type of thing. You know, it's like weird, Then there's right? this guy, I don't know who shared that. Like, it's very hard for him to accept fat supermodels. It's diff- it's difficult for him to accept fat supermodels. Uh. It's your job <coughs> <laughs> to look perfect, right? Technically. True. Yeah. To look the best for that outfit. Right? Uh, to you look- are basically a mannequin that can walk. Uh. Yes. Isn't that your job? And now it becomes socially acceptable to not be that standard. Weird, right? Don't you think? So so I, I think it isn't it because of just overall market sentiment, strictly from a business perspective. Back in the day, superhero must be Jack because Jack equals can protect. Uh. Fairly straightforward. I think mm. we all agree with that convention. Then comes the, oh, majority is like left wing mm. need to be more inclusive. That's what the oh, market wants now. I see. Yeah. So let me just give what the market wants so I get profit. Mm. And goes profit, right? That doesn't yeah, change. Yeah, 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 ah. yeah. So that could be the, na- that could be the ration- business rationale. Mm, mm, mm. True. So I think it's also easier staying fat. Lah. Technically, right? So you appease what the market wants. So, so yeah, like, it being easy is a byproduct, lah, right? Yeah. yeah. Because it's a product. So like Victoria's Secret now <laughs> get fat. Plus size models. Uh, yeah. Plus size models. So they get uh, plus size models. It's fine. Like they are that way from the start. Mm. And I hire you to model right. my products. Like, it's like people getting me to do ambassador, like some same uh-huh. thing. But if you are a supermodel on the catwalk to do modern stuff, right? And you complain about being uh, like uh, hungry or yeah like a lot of people then back to the influencer thing like oh they need me to do this you think easy I need to dress up every day it's your job it's true man if it's you true. don't want that job you can go don't do it uh. Uh. just true, don't complain then later, then later it comes to complain oh, you, people know, I don't know enough money la. <laughs> <laughs> <What's> <laughs> do you think right it's like do you think you've always had this mindset where you shouldn't complain hmm or did you think you grew into it? Because I feel like our dad kind of like pound this don't complain into us since you we were young. Ooh, now whether for good or for bad, it becomes true. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know whether, did you like, were your parents like this or were you always like this? Like the don't complain. Just, just suck it up lah, what the fuck? Ironically, my dad now complains about everything. Mm. So it's like, I don't even. <laughs> I, think that, I think that comes with age right? because like your, there's nothing much that will affect you anymore. You're so set in life uh. that you are you care about every little things. Hmm. Why is that purple not purple enough? I ask hmm. I asked for violet. Now it's purple. Whatever it means, uh. yeah. <laughs> Then you care about these kind of things when because you don't have to worry about food, you don't have to worry about shelter, you don't have to worry about anything. You the high up there in the mess low. Uh, so that's why like uh I, I really can't wait when I, I'm, I reach 1,000 episodes really. I'm 60 plus. I'll go into my next venture. Is that the goal? 1,000 episodes and then yeah. by 60? I don't think 60 can finish. La. So like a year, 52 weeks anyway. Yeah. One, like, there's 52 episodes a year. And so 100 episodes is going to take like two, two years. years uh, it depends on how long your episodes 20, are. 20, depends on how many years you put a day. Uh, 20 years? Uh? 20 years. Uh? 20 years then. I'm now episode 200. Ma. Uh. Then another 60 more years ago. Oh, oh. Uh, so it's around 50, 60. Uh? Mm. Uh, no. uh, 60 uh. So when 60 that happens, right? Imagine when you're 55. I guess based on results, I would be wealthy, la, right? Still holding a camera, going around. <laughs> At 60? Uh, I don't know. 
maybe the format of consumer throw change. The, you throw the camera. Drone mm. follow you. <laughs> Shit. I try. I, so I'm now, now trying to experiment. I'm going to take some money out and just ball on it. Where on gadgets, I want oh. to shoot something on Insta360. Yeah. Shoot on the uh, commercial areas. Uploading is a bitch, that one. Yeah, I heard. It's I heard. Heavy. Then uh, if I were to go on a, uh, uh, so if I go to a unit, it will be a very different experience. True. True, because you get to see everything as well, right? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Then I, I don't know, like, so this is the other things that I try to then maybe a better camera for podcasting. Because now every twenty minutes, I still need to set. Oh man, oh. I'm still there. Yeah, surprising, I'm still there. Then the oh. is the probably the cheapest expenditure you will ever purchase mm. extension cord and power into extension cord. Yeah. Actually, got actually we all got really oh. just that sometimes uh my decision of shooting stuff is too impromptu. Also, oh, you take out the camera and oh. go. Mm. Mm. Then like audio, then like all this kind of thing. Mm. So I now I think <clears throat> I'm not actively trying to dump in money. Into that specific. Uh, yeah. So do I need another extra camera just in case the first camera fail? Actually, right, by right, we wanted to do it do it for this podcast as well, where the room, right, is all set. Because now, like even when you were coming in, I was like, okay, guys, we have to come yeah, in yeah, a bit yeah. earlier to set up. So like tripods and everything. But if you look at Joe Rogan's setup, right, that's how that's how he can produce more. Mm. So if you want to reach your 1,000 videos faster or whatever, right, mm. by right, you should just have a permanent setup there. And I'm sure it's nothing to you already at this point because if you have a permanent setup, lagi don't you set up, export, click button on you. But my one is property review. No, no, no. For your podcast, you have one. Oh, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, yeah, the, yeah. it's the set. Yeah, the of setting. course, of course. So then like MKBHD, yeah. you should, yeah. his studio tour. Yeah. His so flat lay is set. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, so fucking. Fucker, yeah. then you got TV next to him. So, uh, oh, then like you flat lay like that. Whoa. Yeah, man. That's how you win. That is how you win. Yeah. And right. there's this thing in, uh, in, in, in like the content creation scene, right? Where I feel as if when you put money into it, it somehow comes back. Might not be money, but it comes in opportunities for something mm-hmm. else also. Mm-hmm. So I feel that when, when we, when, like let's say this podcast, right? You know my airline, you know the job my airline. I mean, um, job like the the company my airline. It's a new airline. It's a new mm. low cost carrier. Okay. So right, what hour? What time is it? What hour in? Four hour? No, no, no. What hour in? Four five four. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I don't know whether they will listen all the way. Or not. Uh. Okay. So right, this is my airline, right? I met her husband. Uh, I think three four years ago at a at a Hami place. Uh. Okay. So I submitted my proposal. I can show my airline. Then after that, I spoke over the phone with her. Mm. It's a client. Uh. Then she was like, are you Jonathan Ng? Uh? Mm. From Yamcha Sessions. They're like, yes. And this is in my office setting. So it's very mm. damn weird, right? Mm. Then everybody all look at me like, how she know one? Mm. Then she's like, oh, I, I recognize your voice. They're like, uh, second time. Uh, so you're the first. Uh, then she mm. tell me that. They're like, yeah, 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 it's me, it's me. Then I got the job. I think it's because she said your deck looks very nice. But I think it's also because she knows Oh, the, of course, of course. That sense, right? The, back to the appearance thing. It's like, you look decent to the eyes, right? Yeah. Means that I kind of accept you already. Mm. Yeah. If I have come in with a face tattoo and all, <laughs> oh, <laughs> face tattoo, <laughs> Mike Tyson. Uh. Oh, like worse are like those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, patchy, yeah. patchy ones. You are trying to make a statement, ma. Mm. Right. It's like you cannot judge me by the tattoo. Then, then you are judging me, judging you also, what? Yeah. <laughs> but going back to opportunity I feel like yeah. when you put in money somewhere like this podcast I feel mm. like when we put it comes back in different ways right? of course definitely yeah definitely and I, I, I'm damn damn grateful for it la. Mm. is that mad, is that mad la, I feel I was just talking about like uh, Harith comedy podcast MJ Vincent mm. all these guys that I meet on YouTube I feel like if, if I didn't start the subscribers don't justify the happiness they receive I think don't you think but I would uh, go the other route. It would be better if this podcast can be financially sound for everybody. Yeah. Imagine, right? This is like the biggest podcast that everybody like per episode is going to like 20,000. Wow, so nice. Every episode you all do, right? 5,000 each, each person. Wow. Happiness, mentally, spiritually, wallet-based, bro, financially. Do every day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> right. Every day you go. do three a day, so can we? Let's right? fucking go, lah. Right. So, so uh, that's the goal. Like, I know spiritual. So, I don't want that to be like the romantic part of it, you know. Because now, me being in that state, right, where abundance feels amazing, 
Mm. Abundance not meaning really, I can go wear LV or whatever, or go spend everywhere I want, go fly Japan, Paris, right? I can, but just because I can afford doesn't mean I need to, ma. Yeah. But the amount of security back to the universal income. Mm. Yeah. You don't have to worry about any other things anymore, right? Just pursue. You, it's only between you and yourself in terms of excellence pursuing, you know. Mm. It's like lined up for you, basically. Ah. So like in my now my goal is like excellence and happiness. The pursuit of these two only. That's it. That hits different, man. Yeah. I like I, I don't have to worry. So the money <clears throat> parts becomes a pro a side. A, a byproduct of a your byproduct. pursuit. The your, more yeah. I want to achieve excellence and happiness, mm. it generates more money. But I think in your case, right, your pursuit of the excellence also is a. You you don't need to pursue happiness because I think the happiness and money is a byproduct of your excellence, bro. Mm. It, from what I see, lah, because you always just do only, man. You enjoy doing it, right? So mm. the happiness comes out also, man. So True technically, that. you don't really need to pursue happiness, bro. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. happiness is, happiness lies in the process of pursuing the yeah. excellence. You sure yeah. get it, yeah. So it's okay, huh? But yeah. you think your son will be stressed out when he's older? He see all this. Uh. Then he feels it, as if like need I to one up. I kind of have the different mindset lately because last time I like do whatever you want, lah. But then when it comes to like, uh, duty, and uh, like family line. Mm. I, I don't know. So suddenly when I this there needs to be a pride. I didn't have that. Like or being my last family name, whatever. Uh, la, right. right. So but then like can it mean something? Because when I meet other <coughs> affluent, the family name means something. Ah, uh, I see. Like YTL, like uh, uh. yeah. I'm part of the corporation. Yeah, are you the Tan that I think you are? Uh that oh, that hit different. Are you the Tio? Mm. Are you the yeah, whatever? Nah. Then like, if that can be, so yeah, I'm indirectly trying to build a mini empire, but you, whether he wants to take it or not, is a whole separate thing. Lah. But it's definitely going to be self-sustaining. Lah. Then if it can be a uh, trust itself where my son no longer no need to work, he can also survive really. But it's done in a way where he gets the minimum. Lah. He won't die. Sure. <laughs> Right, but then it's up to him whether he wants. To, uh, so it's kind of cultivating that environment where he choose to pursue the things that he like. Only when you pursue the things that he like, whether or not it monetize can make him money or not, is separate thing. Mm. But it's a bonus if it makes more money. Then hey, this is my opportunity to create something of my own. Then I will put in the excellence thing. Then he would run. Then he would wind down the the previous two hours. <laughs> I think and go, 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 right? Then it creates like something. Then it's within the family. Lo. Yeah. So now like I kind of have this duty or calling to create that environment for him. Mm. Not necessarily give him, but to provide that. It's kind of like carving out the opportunity for him if he chose to cease. Mm. Hey so, bro, I forgot to ask also, do you have siblings? Uh? Yeah, one. Ma. Yeah, one before. elder brother. Yeah. Your elder brother. Oh. One elder brother. Yeah. Hmm. Is it like you? Nope. Fantastic. Then in the in the previous episode, you 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 said like you resemble his this chillness. <laughs> who are? Who resembles who? Yo, you resemble more of my brother. Oh, the he's oh. a very chill person. Man. He just you ask him to do whatever he do. Lo. Then he just happy with his uh anime. He play <laughs> games. He do whatever. Lo. I see. I see. Like, like until now, I have not installed a game before. That's I went, I went through wild. my Google Play, right? I haven't installed any games before. Oh, shit. Not even once. Uh. Not even once. You and Wing Kiong would resonate very well. Wing Kiong fucking hates games also. Tried to propose to him so many times. Mm. It's like, no, I don't believe in it. Yeah, so, <laughs> I think because, like, now when I have uh, extra time or extra effort, <laughs> right, or energy, I will write an article. For where? Whatever like, I feel like, uh. Oh. So like, oh, I self-journal, like, okay, today I met this, today I met that, okay, meet you apps. Then I'll post it. Instead of me spending so much effort into a game that no one, I don't, really, I don't care. And yeah. sometimes when I see a lot of people travel now, play games, right? It's an escape. But when your life is so good, you are so happy in it, right? There's nothing to escape from. Wow, fuck me la, bro. I mean, technically, uh, my game that I play is Pokemon Go, la, mm. which requires me to travel 
and like visit the unique locations in Pokemon lah. So yeah. <laughs> in yeah, my no? defense. So so like the like whenever I see people going to traveling or whatever, like I uh. was against traveling mm. because I was poor, right? Now when I can afford to, I don't feel like it. Do you still feel that way? Yeah, because I I've been to then you ask me to go travel, right? I feel so stressful. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because I, like Everything lah, right? Not every week, right? I need to set like one day to to restrict myself from touching the laptop. I'm doing it on an active basis. Is Actively, it? I'm trying to restrict myself to mm. not work. So what do you do? Just journal? Or I what? just I just uh not touch the laptop for that day. Lah. I go training, I go do whatever. Lah. Uh, uh, I see, I see. Mm. Just not edit anything. It's so difficult. Is it? To mm. fight it lah. Mm. I've been trying to let go too, but then I still kind of wind back up in front of my laptop. Mm. Then I like, why the fuck am I doing this? Yeah. I have no self control. So yesterday, like, uh, <sighs> like the event was until five, mm. but until twelve, nothing much to do really. Then everyone, you know, Kuching has this great hospitality. When I think the people, wait, did you just fly in this morning? Uh, tw- twelve midnight yesterday la. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, then I reached home at twelve. Then uh. I have like extra three hours. I insisted to go to a cafe, finish up <laughs> a video before I fly. Uh, uh, then I can upload today. Uh, oh, that one, hence your, you were uh, at the site there like, earlier. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's the, like I'd rather do that than, then I see people playing game. Uh. Imagine you spend the amount, the same amount of time into a new field of knowledge. For sure, man. I totally agree. And I used to be in that that uh, that camp where I also feel as if like online games are a total waste of time. And then like, I don't know if Poye will say he would to 100 fucking percent will say this shit. Bro, total people in on 2 million, bro. But I'm like, you either really like dedicate your whole life to being the ultimate Dota player or you yes. you don't, you're just going to play for fun, lah, you know. So, so, so to me, it's this like, I really like karaoke, man. <laughs> what? Bro, I love karaoke. Uh, Let's okay. fucking go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Actually, I really like, but I can I go karaoke. I love it so much. I go alone. Sometimes, but no kaki, right? I go yeah. alone. And I'm fine. Damn, bro. Yeah. You really fucking love karaoke, bro. Then after I go singing already, <laughs> then uh, what happens is I realize that I can never make money out of this. I'm so hobby, right? The difference between hobby and passion uh, is you spend money to do what you like. That's a hobby. Yeah. Expecting no return. Uh, but if it's really your passion, right? It becomes something, I would try to convert your hobby into a passion where it will make you money. Then that process is refining, trying to make yourself. So if you really like to play a game, right? You are spending so much time and effort to play a game already. Be extremely good with it. Lah. Least. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Wing Kyung has a very different perspective, and I, I, he, I feel like I take him as my mentor in mm-hmm. some sense, lah, right? But he was saying how your you should always do what you're good at. Yeah, his one is very different. Very different perspectives. Mm-hmm. I mean, both can jalan. It's just that I resonate with that a lot. I feel personally, lah. Yeah, like if you do so, just so happen like if you really are good at something, but you don't really like it, man. Ah, uh. ah, uh, but. To me, it's if that pays you like hundred thirty thousand. Oh no, let's say that pays you fifteen thousand a month uh. doing what you don't really like, but you get you're damn good with it. But what you really like doing pays you six thousand a month. Uh. I will always go for the six thousand one. Is it? Whoa! Damn, son. Because it's only about time. I will push it up to fifteen thousand again. Mm, you could learn to hate what you love, bro. It's what I feel. Oh, so the hate part is different. So the hate is like, sometimes it's like, you feel like you, just to get up of bed, f- feels miserable. Like, like you really feel like, when uh, the process of demotivated, right? Mm. Wow, it's soulless one. Eh? I, I find it so different because, okay, so this is how I, I, I feel. I don't like my job, mm. a whole 100% of my job. But what I do truly enjoy, right, mm. is presenting and crafting up proposals and selling ideas. Okay, stop there, right? Uh. That should be what you do. The rest, I will just hire uh, everyone uh. else to do. To do the, the extra, I don't yeah. know. So, so yeah. I could have earned maybe a proposal, I earn 100,000 if I do everything. 
but I rather hire three person. So personally, I will earn ten thousand mm. while the rest gets their pie. Yes, but I still be happy to do what I what uh, I really I, I see. Yeah. <coughs> you get what I mean? Yeah. Ah, uh, so like a lot of people, I want the whole cake for the money. So I, it needs to include certain portion of admin. No, you have uh, to do the extra leg work. No. Yeah, yeah. So like, if I were to go in a whole media company my own without attaching myself to the make guys, I need have a HR team, a oh. finance team, a tax team, uh, then all this kind of thing. Then you go do taxation, you do <laughs> the HR, all the things, all the yeah. compliance thing. Like, then suddenly, are you running a property channel or are you running Business. all this? Uh, yeah. Small stuff. Yeah, yeah then, then all this will be so draining. Then your work that make affected. you money will be affected. Yeah. Yeah. And that is pretty common. Very, very common to a lot of people who want just, just because they want to earn more. True la. I think eventually also, right? Like if you're really good at it, you will end up in that position also. Mm. You end up either A, doing what you don't want to do, the admin stuff, mm. or B, hiring so many people that it becomes a business entity and then you end up become, it ends up becoming a business that you have to fund and then it kind of robs you away from that freedom. Yeah. Then yeah. they come out again and they pursue. And then repeat. Right. Yes. Cycle repeat. Mm. Yeah. Because I think now, because of social media and technology, it allows passion to be amplified. Even yeah. like if you, we just talk about the cosplayer making yeah. so much money. Imagine 30 years ago. Cannot. Hell, man. Why yeah. this guy dressing up like that? <laughs> <laughs> right? The time only you are Kamen Rider and Doraemon, bro. Uh, exactly. So like now, if he's re- if you're really that good, right? I will treat... So gaming is always confused because to me, I see it as like a sport. It's quite sport. Right? Yeah, so like... Skill. A lot of people are like, why this kid keeps watching other people play game? Right. <laughs> that's me and right. just Andrew and I like yeah bro then why you watch people play football no oh, competition uh. mm. but in gaming world it's so designed that you have the full experience of what the player sees yeah POV and then see the player's reaction and, and you then see then. how he clicks yeah right, where right. the accuracy of clicking mm. the timing of clicking that spot like you watch NBA you cannot fully experience what he see also what yeah you no POV s- also? Uh, no, yeah, not impossible. Uh. Yeah. Then uh, then there's a difference between sponsorship of uh, basketball players versus football players, the uh, American football. Mm-hmm. Because one with face, one without face. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Interesting. True, they have a helmet and that's why you cannot see the face. Even on field, I don't know who is number two. Where's number two? Yeah, it's so many. <laughs> yeah. But the, the field is just too big. Yeah. Therefore, the ambassadorship also reduces a lot. Why tennis players get sponsored like Matt? Yeah. It's only you and me. One on one, mm. or two on two lah. Yeah. Yeah, ho. Oh, very interesting. I never thought of it that way. Mm. So in like a player, right? Why they get paid so much? You Face get it. full experience eh? And the rate of clicking is only enabled if I use this brand of mouse. That's how they sell the extra stuff. Uh, if not, I wouldn't win this game. Right. Cannot. Mm. Is any equipment less? Yes. Mm. So like if you want to go that route, I you would better go all in. Uh. Because I have friends who like those days total <coughs> competition. Then they got training, got coach. Right? Mm. What? Wow. So much. Uh. Uh, so five person playing, right? Six person playing. There will be one one guy sit there just in case one drop out. Then he will play, 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 finish the game. Then the coach will start shouting. At second 336, you should be here. Wow. Positioning. Uh. Why did you go for this kill? Why didn't you let him get the kill? He gets it that he can upgrade to something then you can do. It's the little, wow. like, like the spot. It's like a spot. It's like the little thing. It's not yeah. for fun. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. And by after 26, you cannot, you are no longer relevant because your reflex is not applicable anymore. It's not just that, like, you don't even look like the face of the spot anymore. Technically, mm. like, the game, like, you know? Mm. You just don't look on brand. So, like, if you really want to pursue that, I ens- um, got to make sure that you really go that route. I think your son, Burrito, is going to be pressured, bro. One day he come back home playing FIFA. How good are you? No, no. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's going to be a debate. It's going to be a debate only if like, there's a clear definition of hobby. Lo. Like ah. I, I pay money to work out. But mm. if I want to like, oh, I want to be a coach. I want to be pro, pro right? <clears throat> Different. Now, the way you eat, the way you sleep, everything needs to be monitored. Tuned, in tune for that shit. Yeah, you want to be a pro, work towards it, not just lip service. True, true. Uh, it's so difficult because like, maybe you also brand it in that sense where every second is valuable in my day, right? In mm. making myself the ultimate 
best of the best. It's like, I was having a conversation with my friends at the park, right? And then they were saying, bro, Lee Hung is different, bro. He's like Cristiano Ronaldo. He's oh. like, I was having a conversation with my oh. friends. Uh, he's, the, he's the Cristiano of property. Mm. Because uh, he, he's the whole day is dedicated to this, the sport. Mm. True. So right, if you are dedicated this amount, right, mm. bro, burrito gonna be like, <laughs> he he take out his phone, right? He see the at the game. Am I gonna be the best? <laughs> uh, and, and, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a time where he knows that he can never be the best. Sometimes your best is just not good enough. Is True. this the Gary V thing? Is this, are you gonna be like the Gary? No, no, no. The, no. So okay. so then you can be an influencer of the thing that you like. I can be the best narrator uh. of the game. Uh, true, true. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't need you uh. don't need to be a participant. I don't know how to make peanut butter, but if I would be serious about it. Wow, CN Lawyer is getting a shitload of fucking publicity for this, man. I better send this to my client, man. Then I <laughs> I can I can be the best taster or reviewer. Uh. Oil content, like by how yeah. long it will dissolve, then like what's the yeah. chunkiness, how the millimeter size of chunkiness, use a sieve to really go the through. Ultima the ultima detail. <laughs> uh. I will go that route. Then like I'm the when you call yourself a peanut butter expert, make sure. You're the damn expert. Uh not like, oh nice like, I'll give eight out of ten. Based on what? Mm. No description. I don't know no what your stand also bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like this is fun, but if I want to go real deep, right? This is when like the real sponsors or the real the long tail game again, no? back to the long tail. I game. hate to say this, right? But I like I would like to think I'm I, I'm a ramen enthusiast. Mm. I love ramen. Uh. Yeah, like, I think sometimes when you in uh, directly you describe food, right? And when your guests, they say something like, you no la, not that good la. You, you have this self-defense thing. A bit. Yeah. I feel like, did you know the, yeah. the amount of work that had to go into that? Exactly. I yeah. really appreciate it. So I don't know whether you really... Yeah, so, okay, then I would, <laughs> I would suggest like your vlog, right? In the future, let's say, right? Just go down to only ramen. Uh, right? Yeah, la, like a hyper-focused, like uh, one thing, la, so, right? So then I will create like a video these are the varmints available. Then there's a different thing between soba for you idiots, right? Don't know why soba, why soba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about me. I don't know what's the difference. You will know, bro. Ah, yeah. La. So then, you will know. <laughs> then they will be consumed hot, cold, uh, in the soup, or you dip. Right, uh, what's the difference? Why and all? I will do the whole- Ok, and ok chat. The, like, uh, hmm. right? Master plan of ramen. Yeah. Then the amount of brands in Malaysia right now. Right? Currently, September 2022, okay. This Eat. is uh. the meat to what ratio? This one's the best for the yes. price for this, this, this. Yeah, yeah like good label. Then yeah. the carbo to protein segment, uh. then the dressing. I'll, I'll go into that thing. Then soup. Then combination of soup with... Uh. Uh, oh yeah, all those are... Then the time between ding to my table. Mm. Prep, prep, prep. Uh. Uh. So wow. to all those... That, that is... Because why sometimes the food tastes better on set... Because if you want to call him, hey, uh. right in front of you, you start eating. Uh. Yes. The, the one minute rule for noodles. Uh. Yes, otherwise we become very soft. Yeah. Lump it, pit. But the yeah. waiter don't know, screwed up or whatever. Can mm. make a difference. Then I will start. Or oh, then the, the, the chef will just ding. Oh, then, time it. And then. <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> it should come to my table. Huh? 20, 28. Oh, I'm so hungry. We don't have ramen right now. Fuck, man. And then. Yeah, so I will time all, so I will go really clinical on it. Detail. Yeah. Mm. That's hardcore as fuck. It, it's so sad because I feel like personally, mm. like, don't say ramen. Like, even if you go to Apple, people don't know. One. Like even the people who work there don't know. That's so sad, you know. Guess what? Same with property. Oh, is it? I, so after the review, most of the clients or most of the people, right? I didn't know that was a good thing. Because ultimately when you work there, right? Oh, you, you get lost in the whole process. Yeah, I get getting it. back to the why I, why you need to do like you need to do the HR, the finance because you lost touch of the yeah, thing the that you really, of, really yeah. like. Mm. Uh. So, guess what? Maybe you got ramen consultant. I think my friend Kiming is a better uh, candidate, but I I think I could. But then, <laughs> okay. So that how do people mesh, measure texture? Mm. Like is it's hard, a soft. Bite? Yeah. How hard is hard? How soft is soft? Like when I say, oh, this is sitting is high enough. How many? Three point two one mm. Measure, that one is so easy to measure, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a number. Yeah. But to measure texture, heat, like I can't read the thermometer. Thirty six. So then, <laughs> then I will cross reference to wine. Oh, this the, the 
It, it tastes like so like how people describe like what what is chocolatey taste? What is yeah? Mm, mm. What is the whatever the aftertaste? The or note, or the end note. Yeah. I don't know how, there are ways to do it, but you just turn it into a ramen kind of feel chart. Yeah. yeah. If you don't have so you can start the you can start coin a terminologies. Yeah. Yeah. You do create. Yeah. True also. Uh, then like fine, how fine? I'm gonna measure the noodle. This is borderline obsession, you know? <laughs> borderline. The, the way I see your eyes, right? Uh. When you like, I will measure, <laughs> bro. Your eyes, bro. Are like- it's not borderline, bro. The fucking line was way like five km ago. Already. This guy is <laughs> finished the marathon already, bro. It's, I, it's yeah. I get, I get it. You should go all yeah. in, right? Then only when you start doing like one video, two, three, ten, fifty. How many ramens there? No more already. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Then you start. Then sooner or later, all attentions will come to you already. I'm kind of known as the ramen guy la now at this yeah. point. La. But although I just described, I don't really go into that hardcore detail. Yeah, so the ramen guy mm. versus the ramen expert. Oh. Or you don't even call yourself expert. So the ramen enthusiast. Uh. So like now I'm really into like clinically. Because like we have passed the action part. Yeah. Now it's just the how, how the, the, the perfection. Pursuit the, to excellence. Yeah. Uh. The excellent the pursuit to excellence kind of path. You really okay, you tell me you imagine getting paid to eat ramen. For the rest of your life, I'll be quite. I don't know how to feel about that actually. I think I'll be fucking sad around, man. To be honest with you, yeah, it becomes a job. This one. Ah, yeah, it becomes a job. Then yeah. you go through the whole process. So every tasting, I'll, you get three thousand, just to try and come up with a report. That's I still don't know whether I'll do it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. when it happens, only you decide, lah. Yeah, la, true, la, true. La. Yeah, true. La. When the opportunity <laughs> comes, then why you can say decide no la. now, right? Yeah. Yeah. So just like how you did, bo- why the boba video yeah, 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 viral? Yeah. It's because no one actually took, oh, this one nice. Uh. This one not nice. Uh. Who? <sighs> but there was a comparison in that video. Ma. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's a simple metric of comparison. I will take out the amount of boba and count how many BG went across how many ML of boba. <laughs> the boba merch, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. will count how many merch went. He will count, yeah, if, separate if, column. How if many merch meaning is not, not good. good not good. Uh, so how, wrong already. what error within. Uh, 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 uh. I will, I will go that way. I Percentage of merged BG versus total BG. Because but until you don't, until that stage, right? So, okay, if you want to drink for fun, you are pretty, you can, okay, brand, fine. But if you are not good at pretty, uh, you, then you are, sad, lor, you better be smart or funny, lor, I guess. Mm, mm. So this is the route. Lor. Like if I will go like, do the, is this fetch still going on? Uh, It is, but I'm no longer part of it. Uh, I will go the other route. I will review all pet food. Just give your dog, your dog become an influencer or some shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The rate of him eating, like why he's not eating. Uh. Or I will eat it myself. That's, I've, that's, I've done that before. Uh. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Because now pets are as good as kids or children already. Might even yeah, be yeah. better. Uh. Chuck, mm. Chuck will attest to it. Uh. Why? Uh? Oh, damn. Like a guy, like, uh, and it will go, it's going to be so viral. Uh. True la, I think yeah, a human being dog food. dog food is quite mad. Eh? Like that. Yeah, I think this is too salty. Why? No wonder my kid don't like. But although you're, if you did test it on your dog, subject to a lot of hate la. Mm. So I, uh, yeah, again, I'll eat it to myself. Yeah la, you eat it yourself, can la. Yeah. Well, then this is the guy that eat dog food la. <laughs> I should have recorded it la. I ate quite a lot la, to be honest. Exactly. So, uh, so like with that, right, then do first level of Awareness done. Yeah. And then perfection. How to know that whether are you good in what you say or how yeah. there's no credibility. I Build ate a, I yeah. ate fifty cans. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say. Or oh, fifty <laughs> flavors are flavors, flavors, uh, flavors, bro. Not cans, bro. Fifty cans quite hardcore, bro. So so when <laughs> like the you always will uh, think about oh, why this food is this fish flavor, cat uh. flavor, uh no, not cat Ooh, nah, whatever. Nah, whatever la, right? Sure. Got difference, man? You try it before, man? Uh, I did. I did. Uh, to me, it's just a packaging change, only what? Yeah. Change color, only what? Yeah. Add, add color palette. Oh, this is tuna. <laughs> <laughs> you pay premium for it. <laughs> to right? go so deep is also a lot of time, though. Don't you think? Like, if you, uh, for, for example, if I were to do, I, I, I really considered it a lot of times. Mm. I'm like, I should do a Roma, ramen compilation video. Yeah. Because the boba thing worked and all yeah, that. Yeah. But then also, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I feel like now the vlog channel, right? Mm. It's just a mixture of. It's just my life. I like to record my life. Mm. So I've seen it as a hobby now. Mm. Okay. Because I, 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 I don't know whether this is me. I get a bit stressed out when people invite me to go eat. 
Yeah. So now is the then whatever the pursuit of excellence uh. needs to be matched with your ambition. Mm. Yeah, Are you fine with just being that level of yeah. influence for the rest of your life? Right. So yeah. That's why complaining does not exist in my world. Yeah. Because it's whether you accept. Or- yeah. So like you why nobody like my vlog one because you didn't put in effort lah. Yeah. It's true. Uh, don't be sad for the effort that you didn't put in lah. But I feel that. Fair. Fair as fuck. Yeah. But okay. I feel like with this podcast, mm. I like to see it grow. Yeah. You know? So, so then again, we need to dial down. So if I'm your yeah. marketing guy or whatever, right? <laughs> Ooh. Like, I think TikTok worked. TikTok contributed a lot. Yeah, yeah, it does. Then I will look into your Instagram feed. Yeah. Do you need to be so romantic about just the posters? Yeah. Or I can just inst- put in Insta feed inside. They're putting the back, the behind the scenes kind of thing. Yeah, we actually changed it up. Like if you yeah. look at it, like now we do the. But it's still very romantic, lah. Yeah, you know. You think so? Yeah, you want the grid to be the same, lah, John? Please, lah. <laughs> no, no. Now we changed. Now it's the, this thing already. Yeah, lah. But the grid will be the same, right? I mean, like this, this, all the way. Yeah. Mm. I mean, technically, we have this. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Right. Like ah, uh, depends, though, I guess. Then website. Oh, uh, what well, website, ah? Uh? Hey, why we never think of that? Uh? But why a website uh, though? SEO. Huh? Like your take on the guest. Ooh, wow. Actually, we nearly did like a post Mahate pod. <laughs> you see, type of thing, everything huh? like now in the conversation is, I thought, but I didn't. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, yeah. I, we we, we kind of talked about it, but. The, the, nah, yeah. Nah. So, so, okay, it's better than a lot of people already. We go here, yeah, uh, technically. But, but when, you, when you speak to me, if you want excellence, Yes, yes, yes. You're we slacking do, as do. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> we fucking pussies, lah, Sean. I can see my high from here, like. <laughs> So, so that's the uh, level. Like that's why, like when you complain, right? Okay, the easier way out is just to improve camera, improve visual or quality audio quality. Mm. Skill set is to use limited resources to make it good. Yeah. It's not that difficult if I just put in thirty thousand, right? Yeah. So okay, so that's why I don't want to even learn about camera works. Because you scared you. <laughs> because I know I know money can solve. Uh. Audio conversational techniques. Yeah. Uh, like, hey, is there classes where I can practice myself? Is there a yes, sp- pacing and everything. A, linguist, a linguistic person yeah. or right. Right. So right. like right. what kind of language or do one person research a lot more about his recent works or one person go in blank? Yes. So there's a full plan. Uh. Uh, so like I would assume like if Andrew, hey, Yi Heng is coming, uh, go do all the reason where is he, what he's doing, right? So he can talk about his recent one and you know at least we won't look like a dumbass when he bring it up. Right. Bro, that right. one is legit I do so like uh, Yeah, but then like it, one person needs to be totally clueless. I think that one is <laughs> yeah, no need to say who la. La. Yeah, yeah so, so so then it's a nice mixture. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, so, people ask the curious questions also. La. Mm, mm, mm. So then you won't assume that the audience know me as a person already. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. But bro, your name are confirmed key, uh, key search term. Uh. So uh, the moment this podcast comes, right, and then you post a, a, a video or a mm-hmm. review, mm-hmm. confirm this thing will be like, hey, we noticed that you like this. Want to yeah. check this out? Yeah. <laughs> then they're going to see what time is it now? Fucking <laughs> 5 hour 30 minutes. You're like, bro, 5 <laughs> hour 30 minutes to eat young? Let's go. You know, it's a problem. My girlfriend will call me already, bro. <laughs> oh, she called you? Uh? Why? She called me, yeah. No, she just thought, I like, am I okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very rarely it goes to double what we would consider a lengthy podcast. Uh. No, la, because right, no, when, when you said coming on a podcast, right, I'm like, let's fucking go. La. I mm. told Jen, eh, yeah. I think Saturday I cannot reply to anything. Mm. I got to book my whole Saturday already. Mm. I got to pack up my onesie. Do you have a onesie? The whole suit. Uh. No. I was thinking we should wear a onesie to this podcast. All of us wear onesie. Because comfortable, it's going to be a long podcast. Yeah, yeah. I think all of us <laughs> mentally prepare ourselves already. Yeah. yeah. So I told Jen this. La, that was like, what I had, I thought like, today it's going to be con- counterintuitive. I... I just go two hours. <laughs> <laughs> you burst KPI by three times, yeah, bro. Like before the toilet, then like, before the toilet break, like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> then like, okay, I'm going to be aware. Let's go to cut down short, don't share too much. Then, okay, another two hours. Yeah, done. Easy job. You can call it a day. La. We call it a day. It's already 4.30. Mm. Okay, you need yeah. to go anywhere or not? No, no, no. This is my, my, this is my kid. What time What time you need to go? No, nothing. Anything. Nothing, huh? Uh, so that's why like when I asked like, for today, it's because like, I've been shooting for every day for the past month. Fuck. Sean, you gotta calm the fuck down. You la. see, right? Earlier we were coming in the podcast, we were like, wow, actually back to back every week podcast is quite tiring. Eh? This guy every day. Every day. <sighs> so like I I 
yesterday's flight was 12. Then I came, reached home like around, then I did a TikTok video before I sleep. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> I would no be surprise. disappointed if yeah, you yeah. didn't, bro. Then, then, then before the podcast, I uploaded something. Uh, then, yeah, so to me, it's still... Bro, your downtime, right, is our hustle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but how many hours of sleep do you get on average? I think average is like, because now I sleep with my kid, uh. so he sleeps at nine-ish. So I sleep then. Whenever I wake up, I start doing work. So if I wake up at 12, then I start working. Then if I feel sleepy at four, then I'll go sleep. But if I don't feel sleepy at four, then I'll go to hold it. I see. So it depends on how you feel, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's been slowly happening to me as well. I sometimes wake up at four, then I'm like, what the fuck do I do? And, I just and, 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 and that's grateful because my work need not to match any other people's time. Right. Oh, true. Why we need to wake up at nine? Because- We have an employer. Uh, mm. Yeah, to me, I don't have. Aku ada employer. Uh. But I thought you work for makeover guys, right? Or is it just like a... So we kind of have this <coughs> arrangement where I pursue this full time. So last year was a try and we did really well. Then uh, this year is uh, even better. So it's... Uh, I have no... I, I no longer need to care about whatever that is happening within. I see. But, uh, but then uh, I share the resources of theirs. Oh. So the finances, the HRs, whatever. Of course, the profit, they will get a cut. Mm. But I think it's, it makes total sense. So it allows me for this 100% attention right. on your growth of time. Uh, so yeah. I don't have to worry like who issues payment, uh, who receives payment. Uh, Somebody called him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the marketing for <laughs> my job is to, re- is to just do more. Churn mm. out more. Mm-mm. So like you want people to buy from you, right? Do more. Like that, really. So it's a very different. Man, there's no. I try to ask for like mentorship or whatever, right? There's no one else. There's no one else doing what I do. Yeah, but that's also a blessing because you first mover. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like nobody yeah. else does it. So technically, if but you have no mentor, control. it's quite good. Already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then only via all the attempts of doing right, <clears throat> with the kaizen mentality, you refine and refine and refine and refine. So a video now can be uploaded pretty quickly. Then I sub out the job of subtitles. Mm. I do. Oh, there. you shit! You sub it out subtitles. Mm-hmm. So only for reviews. <sighs> yeah, then that's hard. That's why like, I don't want to do subs. It's ridiculous. I, I actually wonder how you do it. I'm like, dude, no way you edit and do subs, mm. and then you you post out so often. Mm. I was thinking, how the fuck is it? Captions? You export captions and then you re-upload again? Yeah, like? I ex- export captions. Then I give to a guy. That guy just corrects it. I see. I see. Motherfucker. Ah, uh, oh, god damn it! And I and I pay people to do it. So yeah. per month, like I pay like almost thousand plus two thousand. That's quite worth it. Yeah, exactly. It's a lot. It's, exactly. It's a lot. I'm in a position to do that. Yeah. Then uh, I create new series where my camera guy can do his and can can demonstrate his skills. Like if you see the comparison videos, mm. yeah. And like the before after one, the, <coughs> the amount of edits is totally in contrast to what I do. So this really polished, it's really done up really nicely. And the videos, the uh, views are way higher. Then the effort reflects on. Yeah, then the but then it's in to me. It sucks because the amount of time that you take to output, right? Yeah. So like two months for one video yeah. of 80,000 view, right? Mm. I got one normal video of 30,000. You just do three, you got more already. Mm. That's how I feel about three. Three is like one week effort. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so this is the thing that you need to balance. But in the overall platter, the main dish, that's like the dessert. Mm. And wow. You get what I mean? I get what you mean, 100%. Like, like, like dessert, also, dessert, uh, chefs, do you do what? Pace, like a pastry chef. Yeah, pastry chef. Like the amount of work they put in right. a particular scone uh, or it's whatever. It's mad, yeah. bro. Uh. It's mad. Then you just, oh, it's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> Not like the stick kind of experience where you go sh- cut it, you look at the texture. The and that one's so easy, you just seal on you. Know? Yes. <laughs> so sometimes like, do you want to be a pastry chef or you want to be the- The steak chef. Steak chef, uh. Uh, yeah. But I've, you know, the sad thing is, right, in the cooking world, mm. everybody forgets who the steak chef is, but people only remember the pastry chef. Mm. I mean, that's the reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that one is dressed up so well mm-hmm. versus the steak. I mean, there's only one, la, Salt Bay, la, mm. but that one also yeah, la. just salt only. La. So the mm. that's the whole mentality. La. Like, I think yeah. we can kind of wrap it up. We, we try. <laughs> we try. <a. laughs> we try to wrap it up, right? It's, it's the that pursuit of excellence only when... Okay, this is for people who complain. Mm. Right? It, once you complain, right, it's all you want. You're like, oh, my environment sucked, then change environment. Nah. There is no you in complain, there's only I. Whoa. 
There's really? two eyes actually. <laughs> Com- <laughs> complaining. Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when, so so like in, I think everyone should only pursue happiness because I uh, pursue excellence because that involves growth. Mm. Growth gives you happiness. Mm. So if you go that route, right, then you will find a lot of things. So when you really like something, then there's also that self-awareness process. I pursue, pursue, and then like, you know what? I don't really like, if you were to eat ramen, yeah. every time you eat ramen, people pay you 3,000 uh. bucks. Right? It takes you three, uh, effort of four days. Per month, maybe seven mm. at most. You want to push to nine because you want to earn extra 6,000. That's the time that you the one really. Lah. Then you need to be, the finances need to be sustainable enough where you can just drop. And then you go to like soba or some shit or rice or something. Oh, yeah, like yeah. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. Screw, f- like if let's say seven, you get 21,000, 30,000. I don't want 30,000. I'm fine with 15 or I'm fine with three. Mm. Because you, you have you have allowed yourself for that, yes. that space. But, yeah. but a lot of people in this pursuance then, because they do the things they don't like, their lifestyle needs to compensate for it. Yeah. And because that involves a lot of hobby where it involves a lot of monetary so you need to spend money to do the things you like. You need to travel more because you're stressed up at work. Yeah. How about you just don't be as stressful at work then you don't have to travel that much. This is fair, man. Right? Yeah, So it's so fair, man. Then, then, like, then you dial down a little bit and pursue something you really like and yeah, that generates yeah. you money. Then you can then... You know, all this kind of... Actually, I think uh, maybe it's just me. Like, after COVID, a lot of people do that now. They're like, you know what? Fuck this corporate shit. And then they just do. Yeah. I think it's a good healthy number that are going into it. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, I feel right. Like when I see Singaporeans, it's the complete opposite. They mm. still stay, you know. I feel more of them are depressed. Not that I'm shitting on Singaporeans. Mm. I'm just, just based on observation. And I saw this uh, this long, it's not long, sorry. It's a, it's a short story of, uh, wait, let me just find it. And then you read it. Bro, you should trigger as fuck, bro. <laughs> should, should you should we, trigger should as fuck. go in that route? <laughs> <laughs> bro. I know, okay, what time is it? Five, five thirty three, bro. Three, three. Okay, so I'm just going to read it real quick, lah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I read like, oh. Okay, lah. So basically, the name of the story is called Just Tahan, lah. Okay. He, even reading that shit, right? Oh, I, feel, I know really. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm, so it. basically, the, the to summarize, it's basically about a man who wakes up nine to five. He hates it because he's wake up at seven. He hates it because he has to go to work. Hates it because he's do this. Then after that, he go and marry a girl for the sake of like getting a condo. Then if you get the condo, then you have the kid. Then you realize you cannot go to Paris. Then just tahan lah. Everything just tahan lah. Bro, I read this. I like damn frustrated. I'm just thinking, do you know uh, every single point here? Right, you could have made an opposing decision or at least made the decision and then realize it's not the right decision and then make a change. But the guy just continued to just. Blame life of me. Blame the sister. I'm like, bro. Yeah. So the the problem is you wanting something more, but the unwillingness to work for it. Yeah. That's why you are- mm. Or even weird. trying to change, you know. Yeah. yeah. Even so, asking a lot. So, so you know, like, if you, so there are a lot of person, a lot of people like, I think my brother is also going to Singapore soon because he's designed that way. He It's just easier to just follow instructions. Mm. Like, like a lot of people, not everyone can work for themselves. Eh? Yeah, true. If you work, on, why why wake up at night? Yeah, because it's like, that's a boss, ma. Mm. If no boss, eh, does it mean you stay at the two? Oh, that's the thing. Self discipline is damn uh, hard, bro. But, yeah, man. but without a boss now, nah, I need to wake up at two a.m. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to do the things that I need. Yes, yeah. to self sustain. So that's why I don't expect any of my team members to work as hard, man, because the result has nothing to do with them. So you, they don't own it, bro. Yeah, they own. They don't need so like they give you whatever effort, right? I think it's good enough already. Mm. Like hey, you slack, like hey, you that's this mistake that you done, like chill, lah. So I don't hold people up to standards unless they request to. Mm. Mm. I want to be better, for real. You ready? You ready? You ready? Uh, Are you really ready? Yeah, like like. like yeah. How, well, how nice if I get paid for to eat ramen, right? You really want or not? Yeah, man. How you hungry? To, yeah, you want to get paid to play games? Are you for? Sh- Are you for real? How how far are you willing to go, right? Yeah, yeah. now with yeah. social media, you cannot bullshit really, right? Yeah. It's either you can or you cannot. It's true, man. It's got metrics to show. Yeah. <laughs> it's got metrics to show. So like, or whatever, you, this guy, Chin Chai, Chin Chai, do, uh, also so famous. You Sometimes the Chin Chai is intentional. Yeah. To make you get into that zone that you like. Right. A lot of people don't. So you are within that, con- you, you are confused by the social media. Yeah. Uh, and then like, that's not what he said also. Like, yeah. assume, uh. It's also easy because it's easy to consume, mm. right? So when you see like 
someone working damn long or someone mm-hmm. achieve their dreams, someone yeah. go holiday. It's easy to equate that, but then you don't realize, right? The, ne- the next day, you see another guy go to, I don't know, some other place. Yeah. Is it, you're like, Ayo, I'm just not mm. doing good enough. And then easy yeah. to self-defeat. A convenient la. thing to do. Yeah, then like now, like if the podcast <coughs> end already, right? Then I leave, then only you do the intro actually, right? Last time. Uh. Then you know that the intro sounds better before than, after than before, ma. Uh. right? Now, like, okay, three things you will you 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 take aways. Three takeaways. Uh. Three takeaways from the conversation. Then you record it, then cut into clips. Song three on three. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Sean's take three on three. You know the Sean six okay, Sean the, the story of the three on three, right? It's a lot of people don't know. Okay, I'm a huge basketball fan. Uh. So three on three was the normal street term I see. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I so like, know that. Then uh. after I finished the whole property, right? Then like, hey okay, thanks, bye. There's no recap. Then there was a then was I was at a basketball court. Ah. Then hey, three on three la. Then three things I like, three things I don't like la. That sets the whole review game apart. Imagine there's no conclusion on my end. Well, it'll be substantially weaker. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now and this is like after I do so many really, then I look back, right? After that three on three, I don't know episode one already. I introduced that in segment only. Hey, it turns around. So this can be like small little things within the podcast, right? You can, mm. hey, this is a hack. Uh, this would be where he talk about this, he talk about this. Then, then like six hours, right? It can be four or 10, 12 minute clips. Yeah, man. Multiple of the key pointers, yeah. right? And yeah, then, yeah. then do you need a separate page for the clips? Or it can be a well, we do. We do. Actually, we have a Yamcha Sessions clips. I know, I know. Like, yeah. So the question is, do you need? Oh, oh. Uh, then because the algorithm is separate apart. Correct, right? correct. If you accumulate all the views, then, then it makes more sense. Actually, it leads because, but then again, yeah, like, yeah, if you just compile everything. Like, mm. All on the one channel. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Then the shots. Yeah. Then YouTube the TikToks. Shots. Yeah. Then all this. Then the articles. Then from the three on three, and from the three things I key take away, that can be the article version of the guest. Wow. Wow. That one, your one uh, is a book, bro. This episode is a book already, you know. Yeah. You're the autobiography. <laughs> <laughs> then, then the, or then, so it's as simple as the caption. Yeah. Export captions. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Possible. That's actually quite damn fucking smart. Yeah. And and it's all like effortless one, you know. It's not it's all yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Just to oh, and I'm, I'm obsessed. Uh, and I'm still like no, I can see that. nowhere close Mr. Beast. Uh. Bro, Mr. Beast, right? Is named Mr. Beast for a reason, so la. Okay, I'm okay. I don't know where. Okay, fuck it. I just, just, <laughs> I'm, I'm secretly not secretly. No, no, no more secretly. I'm trying to get people to dub. Dub your channel. La. Imagine all the English one dubbed into Mandarin. Wow, just do it, man. That's like two hundred over episodes. Yeah, you got extra like. Oh, that's actually fucking smart. That's what he does. What he does Spanish. What. It became yeah. his biggest <laughs> profit <laughs> company. Yeah, man. The translation services. Yeah. I see. So now like every creator now wants to do it. I can do it for you. I have the ecosystem already. You want to do Mandarin for us? Uh? No, no, no. I want to create something first. Let me try it out. Hey, bro, I would be more than happy. I think that's what's missing in our context because in Yamcha sessions, we have all English speakers. Mm. It's very difficult. And no, no, but it's impossible to dub a six hour conversation. Yeah, uh. That's fucked, la, bro. His one is at least tighter. Uh, then bro. there's already subs. So it's as simple as I got the subs. I add on the Mandarin version of subs, number one. Secondly, the next level will be dubbed. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, yeah, la, shorter only. But for mm. hours only caption, no, probably. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be a whole team. So I'm so ready, right? Like my entire profit of my share for the year. You go dump it into that shit. I'm going to dump all in to build like a six person team just to do the secondary work of my primary work. Wow. Fuck, man. Hey, bro, do you play poker? Yes, sometimes. La. I feel like you'll be a great poker player. I, I, every Chinese New Year, I will just dump out everybody. I, 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 my I, sense I, is I, you will be a great player. Uh, but yeah. I think like- Correct, correct, correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you'll think maybe two, two, two layers, three layers, uh, four layers, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> think what I think, and then think uh, what I think you think. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah. <laughs> I, think, so, I, think, I think you'll be good. Yeah, so, so that also, and that because whatever I need is already settled. So I do not want to upgrade my car. I don't want to upgrade whatever lifestyle <coughs> because I need it in that level so I can go all in for bigger wins. Mm. Chances are, I think that channel will probably get, gain like higher traction because of that recurring. It's like double now, and then you probably earn back the money. Right? I don't know. So like this is the 
testing. That's why I now just got my first video out. Uh, just got it in draft. <laughs> Then the announcement till so the next week one, the release of the videos of the interview sessions, then it can be a new intro. Hey, I got a new channel. Oh, you're going to start a new channel for this? <laughs> la. Mm. So it's going to be a Mandarin channel <clears throat> of Yiheng. Then maybe if really the Malaysian property is that good, right? Indon. Bro, actually Malay language would be killer. Yeah. Bro. Mm. I think Malay, Malay would, be would be killer. But I think Malay is watching my the English one already. I know, but oh. if it's Malay, Malay. Mm -mm. Wow, that one. Majority of the country will tune in. It's so, just I think you're getting the KL folks maybe or the city folk, mm, mm, mm. but like the the rural states. Yeah, oh. so, so I just need to balance it out, lah. I yeah. need to balance between because now I'm kind of greedy where my family time is number one. It mm. doesn't look like it on social, but it does. Uh, I swimming, you know. Uh, so all these kind of things like borderline like my kid things that I don't work on. I think. Oh, that's already like a win already, bro. That's a huge win. Uh, then he wake up like, hey, where is daddy? Daddy, they ask my wife, where's daddy? Where's daddy? Because for the entire life, he's been seen daddy. Right. Mm. That's so good, man. Actually, I wanted to close off the podcast by asking you also, like, mm. what's the best advice to be a dad for being a dad in this era? You know, it's a great question. Because I feel like it's very rare. First of all, you, you are in the YouTube space, content have, creation. You know? Have it only when you really want it. Have it only when you really want a kid. You don't kind of want a kid. Mm. because kind of is not, you won't be ready for the commitments level. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, so a lot of frustration among couples is when you have a kid. <coughs> the baby starts crying, right? Whose turn is it to make the milk? Ah, oh, I see. And if you are not uh, financially sound, it's still fine to have a kid. I'm not saying no, but uh, you need to put in more effort. Long. Like imagine two o'clock wake up, four o'clock wake up, six o'clock wake up, then seven o'clock you wake up to go to work. Mm. Then when you come back home, your wife will be frustrated because <coughs> alone with the kid, right? Doing everything else, then you also tired, ma. Can you help wash the bottles? Actually, I I do a lot of that. Ah yeah, Good so company, like, yeah. a lot of people like you know I also work on right. Yeah, then you compete lah. Ah, then you then there's this. So when there's negative any slight form of negativity, right? Spark into fire one. Oh. Yeah. Why she keeps crying one? Why she keeps like that one? What is that? Hey, the, the, the kid has no right to come out one. Uh. The, the, she didn't choose to come out. Uh. She didn't yeah. choose to exist. Uh. You didn't tahan the ejaculation on you. <laughs> <laughs> so high. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> right? <laughs> Don't you tahan, just pull out a on you. Uh, so that's the, that's the unfortunate truth. Then, Initially, I thought everyone would be a uh, okay parent because there's no way out of it. Right? Mm. Eventually, time will push you through until I know some parents bail. What do you like? Run away? Having, then they just send somewhere and bail. Yeah, that's quite fucked up. Uh. Wait, sorry. Could I, I? Maybe I'm not following. Send somewhere and bail. What the send, send the kid somewhere like to an oh, orphanage or whatever. Orphanage, like. and then they bail. The man just take off. Shit. Ah, so like, oh, apparently not everyone. So then giving birth is one thing, parenting is another. Giving birth is a one-off. It's like, it can be a financial pinch. It can be a like a health, you know, mm. jaga the, your wife and the mom and all that. Yeah. But the, the, the long-term thing is your kid, mm. right? And I'm, I'm always afraid that if I have a kid, I might say something stupid or whatever, mm. you know. And the parenting, like, there I realize when I unwind and the more I speak about it, right? I notice all the things that I picked up from all my parents and my relatives, right? It's all the by the way statements. I remember the famous statement like, hey, go down and pick the rent. Why? Uh? Mm. They pay for space. When I went and visited her like two weeks ago, she didn't remember anything. She's like still very, very surprised at why everyone is kind of like worshipping my nephew. Mm. Mm. You know who taught him all? <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, when I speak to my parents also, like these are the things that sometimes when th there was a construction site, then, you know, the guy would just hold a secret and <laughs> stuff, right? Then my father would just like casually, you know, he's not really into the work. Like why? He's moving stuff. Huh? If he's really into the work, he would just throw away the secret and move everything with two hands. Then when I ask him, they don't know one. So a lot of this kind of by the way, kind of things like, uh, I never celebrate birthdays because since young, we were not really celebrated based on 
birthdays. I don't. Wow. That's why I cannot receive stuff. I'm really bad at receiving stuff because I'm not celebrating in that way. So only when you dial back, ah. So when I look at my kid now, everything also being celebrated. Yeah. <laughs> read book. Wow, so fun. I can say read book. But then I don't give by the grandparents' will. Uh. Mm, so all, so the, the moment you know all these unintentional things, right? You got to also be careful. These are the things that most of the time they will pick up. It's the things that you don't deem to be like a big event in your life, but then it could be a big yeah. thing for the kid. <clears throat> so how do I think... Uh, being a good parent is to be a good person. He will follow. Damn man! If you go and eat right, then like, hey, thank you. Eventually, your yeah. kid will also say thank you. You know, go and say thank you. Then you didn't say. Yeah, they is learn that, by example. And then the funny story is my uncle, who secret tell the son, hey, can I smoke? Ah, we die one. We die earlier. No, no benefit. Ah. How? Yeah. Right. So monkey see, monkey do. And th- I think parenting then to me it's not it's a form of leadership. But it's the border of spoiling. Yeah. That's the tough one for me. Mm. So there's a difference between giving him the platform versus giving him the privilege. Uh, not not giving him the tools mm. versus giving him the by force. I don't know how to say this, but. I can put you in a place to succeed. Meaning I can put, as a horse, I can pull you to the water. Yeah. But, can make the horse drink the water. Uh, whether can, do you want to drink or not? That's a whole separate thing. I can bring you to a platform of success. But whether you want to, do you, you want to success? So then I see, if this guy wants to be successful, he will go himself as well. Right? Yeah. So true, then true. that is become, that becomes way more interesting to me. <laughs> I don't have the answer yet because he's just like, 18 months. <laughs> but sometimes I think it's the, the nature of the person, you know. Like, mm. I would like to think that I'm a person that likes to take initiative and do things. Uh. At least I hope I'm like that type of person. So when my mom used to give me like opportunities to like, hey, you should go and intern here mm. or I send you to this place, you yeah. should learn from there. I always feel like I'm going to take full use of this shit. I take full use. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to fucking waste this chance. I even feel like stress mm. if I don't get... Don't perform. Yeah. Or if I don't even meet new people. Like she sent me to France, she was like, make sure you make connections. Well, I stress, bro. Mm. Like, oh, you, how do I meet? Like, I just go talk to people. Mm. <clears throat> then I reflect, right? I think a lot of people actually don't really have that first opportunity and even don't you have the motivation to... Mm. So now I'm you know? more curious of, does that come naturally? Yeah. yeah. Or... By nurture. Yeah. Mm. Or is it like because you model her? I have no idea, bro. I really... Because, I mean, what time are we? Six. Mm. I don't know. I hope she don't listen all the way. Yeah, yeah. So she so, got a temper, so, la, so I don't model myself after her temper. So la. sometimes <laughs> bad bad examples like I have again also we are in the same contradiction. Like I have family members where uh they laugh at me now. Huh. Like like you, you see Sean, so uh, successful, I just drive the stupid Korean car. Then he gets a <laughs> old Mercedes, right? You know I drive Mercedes uh Mercedes. Then when I get into the car, then my wife like, How much are that car? Oh yeah, we, uh, Second hand one is 70, 80,000. Nah. Nothing great. Lah. Then she, eh? Wow, the watch you're wearing is the same price as the car. More oh. expensive. More expensive oh. than the car. And then like, yeah. Yo, what a... Eh? Then, then I, I yeah, family. Ma. Yeah, hello. Yes. Like maybe 20 more years to live only. Let him be happy. Lah. It's <laughs> true. I actually have the same feeling. I, yeah, yeah, definitely. Then, yeah. then, then when I go back, like Chinese years sometimes, then the three uncles sit together, then they laugh. You, Sean, you see, pamper the kid so much. I think he will be spoiled, lah, whatever, whatever, right? Then my aunt, because I told, tell my aunt everything, so she look at the three gentlemen and say, hey, you know he one person can tap out three of you or not at his age right now in terms of wealth, experience and everything. I don't think anybody in my family stands up for me like that, to be honest. But and then, uh, <laughs> and you all laugh at him, hey. Then then uh, yeah, let's keep quiet. Like I was chasing my kid because my kid can run. Uh. He can really run, man. He just jumped out of the 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 daycare. That's this baga thing. Uh, yeah. He jumped out. Uh. My God. <laughs> then then the teacher like, why is the floor <laughs> outside? <laughs> Are you? Uh. Yeah. Like, so so for parenting wise, I think. If you really want it right, and you really love uh, him, right? Then 
anything else is like, like, during fevers right? when he's sick right yeah. how I wish I take the bullet for him right? that level mm. yeah. yeah so that's the tough part but for me lah. I don't think even mom or dad gave a fuck when we were sick bro honestly speaking my dad was just like locking me vomit all my watermelon out he's like Tai say yeah no the two ways lah. so like last time <laughs> it was virus also not as advanced lah, I think Mm. And now the amount of diseases, right? Probably lah. Mm. Yeah. Now you'd be more concerned though, mm. right? But then I, I'm very fortunate that like, my wife is a pharmacist. Oh, okay. That's, that's fantastic. Mm. So like anything, like, it's like all the medical terms, right? She knows. Uh. And know how to explain. Yeah. So you can just get this medicine, get this medicine, the body is the reflux or whatever. Right? Wow. Is this like sanitary? Then Yeah, so I'm, I'm grateful like that. So, but the kid comes out in a very, uh, then uh, ma- this came out from my mom, mother-in-law. When the relative comes over, then, wow, this kid, why so fast can talk? Why so fast can this, right? Then, because he can count, he can almost do addition really. Wow, what? dude, that's- Bro, that's it. mad. No, it's- because addition is just next number. So that's how, in, in Kumon, that's how we teach. What's after five? Six. What's after eight? Nine. But he don't like seven and he don't like, he don't even say seven. Yo, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, eight, eight. <laughs> eight. just drive through, you know. Then sometimes he accidentally say it. Then like, six, seven, eight. <gasps> then he will shock himself. Like, why? <laughs> he don't like, so, so these are the fun things. But then like, he can almost do, he knows the next number, the next number, the next number. Then the, you know, the song, what music would he have? The sound of the music. Some of music song. Uh-huh. Oh dear, female dear. dear. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, he no. Sing, After a week, he can sing the song. Like right? so, when I start singing, he will start do, re, mi, fa. I did all the recordings, but he was in diapers. Uh, then they put it up. No way. I, I've actually wow. read studies about this, like mm. short articles about how if moms listen to music, mm. then the kid will understand rhythm and understand yeah, yeah, the yeah. pace. So, so I'm not important. Like, like, Why is it beat? Uh, uh, yeah. So like, when we read numbers one. Two. Uh, then he will take toys. Now he take whatever. Pop, 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 pop. I see him knocking on your instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. So these are the. So it's to me, it's fun. So like we have only so much toys. Then you have to make fun of the toys. Yeah. Which is uh, good like, because sometimes I think they, they are submitted to like the iPad or the iPhone. Mm, mm, mm. And then it doesn't really teach you how to be creative mm. anymore. Because it's just one way linear entertainment. Mm. Like before this, I think Andrew and I, we were like, my we were not that smart. La, so my mm. dad would run past all our games and shit. Yeah. We just started imagining shit in our mind. Just mm. like play yeah, imaginary yeah, yeah, yeah. games, yeah. sitting on the couch. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's the, I think the amount of time poured into them will be the difference. La. Because I've, I've seen men choose to stay at home. Eh, no, stay at office. To not go home. I, 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 it's like yeah. escaping lah. Because you don't want to, to go back. You no, stress out and go a responsibility, you know. But then from the, like, I try, so now it's a, like a person, personal mission that I ask my wife to go and hang out with her friends. Go omakase with your friend. Go work out. Go whatever. And then like, you spend time with your kid. Huh? Then like, I just take over the kid for a while. Because the only reason I go out, right, is for work. Man. Like this. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so like, the only reason like they will go, why is Sean always not around? The only reason I'm not around is for work. Yeah, no. Mm. So like the uh, again the mother in law joke is uh oh besides this friend Sean got no friends with you you're my friend mom no 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 I was gonna say yes. so it's like no one no one can possibly ask him out besides tough, la. besides this friend yeah. nothing like whatever you say right unless it's a Ro- Rolex event no? that's all <laughs> she saw mm. that one, no choice uh, right? no choice yeah. right but that one gotta go la. then. Others, right, like Omar Kase is a restaurant or whatever fancy things, right? He don't need. He can just eat Coco Crunch and with milk, then that goes. Like that day, whole day, like that day. Bro, I think you should uh. consider the, you know, balance. I, I thought of it. I thought of it like then, like, I try. Like when friends ask me out, then I go and hang out. It's so dreadful, bro. Oh, you cannot. Uh, wrong circle of friends, I reckon. I think so. I yeah. think so. So in, now it's that, it's that mission to find the right ones. Yeah, yeah. Very rare though. Mm. Then like, go there and everybody talk about, like you are, I'm so confused. Then like, what are we talking about? Like, why are we talking about this? Is this going to somewhat result in a better thing or is it just uh, gossips? Mm. That's the the conversations you, you have. Uh, so like, are we going to sit together and talk about how great last time was? Not interested. 
Oh, I'm going to talk about hey, how are you now? Not interested. Everything's on social. <laughs> Got harsh man, but I love, harsh. It. I love it. Mine is a Fucking mixture lah. When I have my, uh, so, my group, so when I like, when I said, now lately I meet a developer friend. We're going to talk about NFT, like how to implement NFT in the uh, apartment designed to rent out only. So you can only rent it if you buy the NFT. So oh. so then the the NFT is um based on a crowdsourcing method. So instead okay. of getting money from the bank, now everyone <clears throat> now everyone can own. Now everyone can be a developer and own a building. Ah, I see. So you fragmentize ownership. Not oh. only you own a whole unit by itself, you can own a tile or two based on your... It's like basically turning the whole building into a company and everybody owns shares. Yeah, yeah. part of it. Lah. And then everyone becomes shareholders, but there will be a CEO that runs the show and rent out. Then oh, everyone then gets get the cut. return based on the share that you oh, own. That's, that's, genius, that's fucking smart. Mm. A genius way. Yeah, so instead of going to the banks though, then like yeah, I do it in the NFT form lah, so I can transfer ownership via NFT. Mm. Oh damn! Actually, that's a lot faster as well. Then the CEO or the owner of the building will be incentivized because if the building keeps making money, people want to buy your share. Yeah, because they are like, oh my god, it's earning right? so Yeah, because the dividend is higher. Yeah. Yeah, no. Then every time I buy a share, there will be royalties paid to the Correct. main Correct. owner. Oh. Then you are incentivized to perform really good. And in genius. In perpetuity. Yeah. Wow, maybe that's the future way. I feel like it's moving in that direction because there's so much paperwork and there's so much like ownership mm-hmm. and all that. But if it's yeah, yeah. easily transferable, wow. There's low, low barriers to entry. You don't, the banks don't have to make interest. Yeah. Mm. CEO, you the, cut through the middle guy. Yeah. Brilliant, yeah. actually. Very smart. Yeah. Mm. We haven't talked about like renting out yet. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That's true. Mm. The additional. Yeah, no? So those are like. Oh, you asked me to talk about this. Oh. So I finish edit at seven something. Then I finish bathing my kid. Then okay, eight o'clock you want to meet? Okay, meet. Then we spoke about spoke on the one about this kind of thing. Of course, involve some watches lah. <laughs> of course lah. Uh, then then yeah also So that is the then suddenly it clicks right. Then oh, how do you do marketing now? So like, do we not uh talk about MOT anymore? Do we not talk about free SBA free all this? All we charge back because ultimately I give you all this free stuff right. It comes from the selling price. You think developer will take a loss, me? Yeah. yeah. Indirectly, I'm lying. All the free stuff, ma, free, 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 all but right, all right. priced in, ma. Yes, yeah. it's all about the cost, really. So if I would do, just take all that out to reflect the actual. It's probably much less. Much less. Then will you be interested in buying this instead? Sure, attractive offer. One. Actually, that one all gimmicky shit, man. Yeah. The rest all gimmicky shit, man. So this is all packaging, also we talk yeah. about. So everyone now is, Sean. If you are a developer, what would you do? This question is really popular. If you are in my position, what would you do? And I'll give straight up all because I don't get to demonstrate. Mm. So they are going to take all this advice and then now, hey, then they will have a phone. Hey, uh, tomorrow we have this meeting, urgent meeting. I just got this <laughs> idea and whatever, yeah. whatever. Uh, then like the now they want to change the ideas of a salesperson. So now I'm kind of encouraging videos for internal usage. Like within the property. Uh, so, yeah, so these are the things that I'm very excited. I really mean, want to talk about ideas. Whoa, like now I don't feel like I can go another six. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. But, but, but if you talk about family, I house your sister, why she didn't do this? Huh? Like, 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 hmm. Meaningless, la. that's the thing. Mm. There's no value. So, so of course, when it, it's borderline rude, when we speak to family members, like, hey, what are you doing? Huh? You know, you just post about it, but she's not in the audience group so you okay kind of answer lo. then you cannot be too straightforward with too it. straightforward with it. like oh uh, hey you know uh, oh, my kid uh, don't know what happened need money la. you know you go and do a lot of things for 8,000 bucks and you call me I give you la. maybe I see it very differently la. I kind of mm. because uh, so recently a lot of my friends have been getting married mm. then after that when I have conversations with them and then I it, it, I mean I don't verbalize it but in my mind I'm just thinking wow actually just a few years ago mm. We were all just like taking SPM and shit. Yep. Yep. So in my mind, I'm thinking that I'm just like, so the the, the conversations with my friends at least mm. is always the, oh, how much did you get your ring for? Where? Price? And then where did you propose? Oh shit. Because some of us, we don't post on social mm-hmm. for that. I'm the, oh, I'm the only guy who posts fuckload on social lah, to be fair. So that's why a lot of people don't really ask me. And, yeah. I, that, I, and I guess that is part of the problem of my social pattern. 
because like uh, now I want to talk about things that's not on social. Mm. Hey, you have seen this Instagram right? that so like despite me spending so much time editing, right? A lot of things also like show me I know. Yeah. Because yeah. I can do two things at once, lah, right? The first take and all that, some more podcasts about editing. Bro, I don't know how you do it. Like, I cannot. So you're living two lives concurrently. You kage bunshin, then you like double even <laughs> certain podcasts. I don't know how. So, like, so, yeah, so, so that is like, but but something about the, I just thought of it, maybe I think I should share, right? Like the amount of care. A lot of people think that, oh, Sean is so cold-blooded, right? Like you, if you remember the story of like, I was so broke. Yeah, yeah, I do. You so blood, then, uh, no, no. So he considered, <laughs> considered. So I, 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 I go donate blood for biscuits, so I can eat. Wait, you did ah? Uh? I thought you considered only. No, no, no. Oh, I, I really donated. Did, uh? I, I actively search for blood campaigns. I donated blood, so I can eat biscuits. So I save money for one meal. <laughs> Them cheap on my blood. A B one. <laughs> blood. Then, then uh, sometimes they oh AB mian jangan baze packet lah tak cukup packet. Wow. Uh, like, Yo, I can't even eat the biscuit. Oh, uh, so I was like a month, a month I like donate twice or three times max. That's the maximum lah. That month I donated three times. That's fucking insane. Man. Just to save three meals. Yeah, right. And at that time I was trying to fight sales. Then my brother in Singapore, I, I so that time I was trying to sell things in Singapore, meet my friends or whatever, sell protein powder, vitamin C, whatever. Uh. I go over. Uh, the intention is if I don't sell everything, I don't come back. <laughs> mm. uh, because I cannot afford to. Oh, okay. The train, the, the, the bus fares, everything. So that was like, then I, borderline nighttime really, then I, uh, my brother just, oh yeah, this 25 bucks, sing dollar, what is it, right? I give everything lah, pay finish, then he take everything, right? Until today, I still carry that. And it was unintentional for him. But then, I recently uh, do a lot of things for him, but I don't show it lah. So that's my <clears throat> my goal, like in you, you being in abundance, right? That gives me the ability, right? To really shower the person we love. Right. So like now, like I did a renovation for his unit. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. And he wants to pay me back, like, don't need, don't bother. Uh, and then I need to show him my watch so to really tell him, don't bother. Take it as a gift. For that 25 ringgit uh, or 25 sing dollar kind of gesture. Uh, that meant so much more. And to me, that 25,000 or 30,000 renovation fee, right? It's not even close to that. Yeah. Mm. If you look at it as a percentage of impact, yes. right? That was... 200% impact. Yeah. This is not even 10%, bro. Not even 5%. Yeah. And then, the, the, so the story is also like, when I give you 10 bucks, and when he gives you 10 bucks, or when he gives you 20, right? Suddenly you will appreciate the 20 bucks more. Because to you, it's 20 bucks is higher. Yeah. But you don't know that I, I got only 11, I give you 10. Yeah, man. That's but, that's what Jen always says. My, uh, my girlfriend always says that. Yeah. Versus a person with 100 give you 20 only. Yeah. But you'll be so grateful for the 20. Yeah. yeah. You know. So like now, after it's all boils back to the friends of that circle. When I was not really anything, they didn't really. Mm. Maybe that's why also la. Right. So so then like suddenly like you hang out. So I get to hang out with you and keep taking picture for what. My friends were always there for me la, To be fair, mm. so, so I'm very 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 lucky yeah. So so the audit part of friends because that forms your habit one. It does, man. And then you are like what? Yeah. You are the the sum of the people yeah, around yeah, you yeah. as well. So that's why between family. So now I only go out for work. Definitely. Ask me to see property. Confirm that one. <laughs> <laughs> then podcast. Okay. Then uh, watch. Then work out. Chicken rice. Chicken rice. <laughs> <laughs> <I saw. laughs> that's about it. Then the rest, I need to balance. Like, okay. Between my kid. Yeah. yeah. Two hours with my kid, right? It's going to be so much more fun than two of us talking about other people's kids. Right. And a lot of people spend time observing other people's life. I, I, I swear that is a thing. I swear that's a thing. Amongst adults, like when I was a kid, I always hear that shit. It's mm. always like where your kid's studying. It's always like a thing. Yeah. I don't know why. It's a flex la. Flex is shit. Yeah. Then like all the people, like you, you look at social, right? Everyone just post what they do, right? Everyone is, op- like if you spend your day looking at a person's living through his life throughout the day while you are spending your day, right? Isn't that very, very sad? Yeah, man. Hey, you see this person is here. Hey, you see this person is there. So and nice then you also. compare. Oh. 
Yeah, yeah. Then what about your life? Yeah, man. You really have that opportunity to do whatever you want. You know, it's just whether you like want to compare yeah, whether yes. you want to do it. So I hope that a lot of people watching. And that's why in my idea, I don't share like what I am doing. I try not to share what I am doing. Eh, no man. I thought you were like minimal like oh. events. Okay, like yesterday one. Okay, but the rest is like <laughs> the the like the post the, the gratitude notes are uh, the topic base uh, I reply answers are. Uh, Oh, that's the thing, man. I think I after I reply that post without the names, right? That's so great. That's so useful for a lot of people. Mm. Mm. Now, I, if I can just hire a person to turn all that into articles and put it in our website. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> SEO boosted. Yeah. Monetize everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Wait, wait, wait. Before last, uh, you have the last question. Huh? So we're doing this thing where the previous guest will ask a question to the next guest. Oh, continuity. Yeah. Oh, continuity. but this one is at hour six. <laughs> I mean, if they have reached six hours and seven minutes, lah. Mm. Jesus fucking Christ. Are you serious? This is the fucking question. Of all people we're asking. <sighs> oh my God. This is quite a wasted question, lah, bro. In a way, lah. You want to rephrase it? Uh, there's no way to rephrase this in the best possible way. <laughs> If you were a girl. Mm. <laughs> Who asked this question? Mumu. Okay. If you were a girl. Mm. Okay. Is this guy a 10 out of 10 for you? Himself? Is he himself? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. That was the question. <laughs> okay. More importantly, you have to write down a question as well. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Chuck will pass you his phone. You write down a question for the next guest. Mm. Uh, who's the, We don't have a next guest yet. We don't yet. have a next guest yet. Mm. So, yeah. So think of a question, then you put it on Chalk's phone. Then after that, we'll ask that question to the next guest. Why don't uh you put it, record it, then only you? Oh, oh, that's even better. Can you record it on Chalk's phone so that we can I can ask that question later on for the next guest? Yeah, no, I think that would be better when then you play it on like now. Yeah, like yeah, imagine. Yeah. I don't know actually. Then, the then it eliminates a lot of the silly questions. Yeah, you are so shy to even say it. Oh, that's fucking true. Mm, that's maybe. a good point no actually initially we wanted to do it into a book so the book would be a compilation of every single question oh it's cool like putting a blog bro <laughs> what is this first? guy <laughs> uh, that fucking <laughs> champion dude then you monetize <laughs> NFT every question or whatever fuck la, right screenshot is a Twitter and then, you uh, can own a question yeah imagine and imagine that question. guess right imagine like if this episode really were to the, be the best and that clipped mm. That, that was a, that question. I don't know. Very no. So if the <laughs> if the question that I ask next just need later is going to be so good, right? Because of the outcome of this video uh-huh. being one of the top again, beat I think I high hope lah, right? Then this clip is turned into an NFT. Wow! They can be owned by ten people. Then that ten people coined that the ownership of this right. episode. Okay, so uh, what's going to happen is uh. we are going to end the podcast. So mm-hmm. thank you for coming. But then uh, later on you will record your question, Andrew and I will just go plug our ears in the back. Mm. You record a question, Chuck will save the question. Okay, well, I think it's fine that you guys listen to so what? Because what's valuable is the reaction when he plays, like let's say now you play the video of me uh. asking. Then the, oh, this reaction is like that. Because you guys know already. Can Fair you? enough. Okay, you've okay. swayed us. <laughs> What's the question for the next guest? Oh, have you, we can think about it. Yeah, I gotta just ask you as a camera right now. Or Whatever, man. You look at me, you look at the camera, up to you, man. No no clue who. No clue. No clue. But that's the beauty of it also. Huh? If money is not going to be the concern for the rest of your life, what would you be doing rather than what you do now? Fantastic Sol- question. Solid fucking question. That's top tier right there. Yeah. No offense to you, Mumu. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, also Mumu, right? Just for context so that you know, uh, uh. he was talking to an Apple technician mm. to get his app released. Mm. And the person that picked up his phone call and he got mad at, his name is Sean. Uh. So in his podcast, in the comment section, uh. there'll be a trending podcast. It'll be a trending text that says, hashtag fuck Sean. Uh. It's not you. Okay. <laughs> in relation to the question. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should know that. Yeah, I yeah, should yeah. probably tell you this. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, you so, know, suddenly that anger. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so the fuck Sean, that tag, the hashtag is in relation to the Apple technician somewhere in Cupertino. So uh, it's not you. Okay. Or India. I don't even know. Like, whatever. Apparently it got approved, by the way. Yeah, it got the app yeah, finally yeah. got approved. So, mm, yeah. So. Interesting podcast. I feel like Mumu is a very... Wait, wait. 
I think he just wants to give back to to life. I think you, you think you enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, thanks, thanks, guys. For thanks for listening. Oh, thanks thank you for, for coming. Thank you for for yeah. coming and breaking another record. Six yep. hours, eleven. It's very hard to break, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Not that he needed breaking, <laughs> up, but. Thanks for coming, man. <laughs>